say, say something. Damn it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Hi. Hey, Hello. guys. Hello, Dr. Dan. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, what's up, gamers? It's Thursday, and we're playing D&D. &D. Ain't that something? Ain't oh that God. something? Who are we? Uh, yeah, what are you supposed to do discourse. on Thursdays? We're coming for your True. critical role. We, we, we normally have a discourse. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> I mean... Uh, Give us 40 video. years. You say that. There's some videos out there, I'm sure. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> you know, repeat that. Say it with chest this time. Go on. <laughs> so special effect. <laughs> We're here today um, with um, to perhaps some uh, less familiar faces for you that that watch Dungeon Select on the regular every Sunday. Um, we are here to do a special one shot inspired by uh, The Witcher, specifically The Witcher game universe, because the game universe does divert a bit from the book canon. Uh, and because I know the game universe way more than I know the book universe, I decided last time we did this um, to, to just base this in the world of the game because that would just make it easier for me to write and easier for me to, I don't know, to, 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 to draw inspiration from things because I already am very familiar with it. Uh, we're here for our second ever Witcher one-shot. Uh, last one we did was, I think, a year ago. Was it all? Was when did we do March. Rad? Was was Rad the last no, one or not. the one before? It was Rad was spring, and I think spring. it was okay. this year. So yeah. it was about half a year ago. This year in March. Then. Yeah, because the video ago. went up on YouTube seven it's months seven ago. ago. Okay, so about a, a little over half a year ago, uh, where uh, a group of Witchers uh, were students from different schools uh, all around uh, the world uh, were kind of. Recruited to work together, which is something very un uncommon among witchers. They tend to be lone wolves, and if they work together, it'll be with people from their own school. Um, but we are here to raise money once again for charity. We're raising money for Special Effect this time. Special Effect is a UK-based charity that may is all about making gaming accessible for people that have disabilities that makes it so that they cannot enjoy video games the way most people can, uh, by providing them with, with custom-built setups and, 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 and controllers and whatnot. To basically they do non-gaming so applications as well, do. like voice control, well. eye-tracking software for non-gaming purposes. Yeah. But they do have a very large passion yeah. about making gaming accessible. Uh, to make it so that they can circumvent their their uh, disability and enjoy the things that we take for granted. And a big part of that being video games. Because uh, I'll be honest, I'd be miserable if I wasn't able to play video games. I don't know about you guys, but goddamn. <laughs> so, which is why I, I personally and us at Level Select are very passionate about our, our uh, this charity in particular. We've raised money for them three out of the four times we've done charity uh, campaigns so far. Yep. Yeah, I've met some of the, the, um, I guess the uh, special effect guys at conventions. Lovely yep. people, all of them. Yep. And like even got to use some of the equipment. It's fucking incredible what they do. Yeah, and they did, because uh, Microsoft brought out this like drum pad type controller for Xbox, uh, which was made in, together, like in partnership with Special Effects. So they, they do great work, and uh, they're finally getting to a point where they're, they're getting the recognition and, and the partnerships with bigger brands that they deserve to, to make it even more widespread, uh, what they do. Uh, and we love to see it. So, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, for today's one shot, um, I'm implementing the rule that if you want to donate money to charity, if you, you know, Chuck a fiver towards uh, the Tiltify, which you can get access to by typing Expedition Mark Charity in the chat. Um, and go to the Tiltify link. If you if you chuck a fiver towards our uh, fundraiser, you can choose to give any one player or DM uh, inspiration. Uh, just a little something, something to help them in the game. Um, DM doesn't need inspiration. I'm just I'm leaving the choice there, man. Like, I was just saying. But it's what only they want to see a TPK, and it's about charity, not about us. Oh. <laughs> um, but before we get going, uh, for those of you not familiar with uh, everyone here, um, obviously if you're uh, people people that, that, that watch Dungeons Select, you're very familiar with myself, Laura, Beanie, and Koiba. Um, but there's two people here that uh, have been on the channel before, but uh, definitely not as much as the others. So I want to give these two individuals uh, a little little moment to kind of introduce themselves, highlight what they do. Get themselves, you know, a little bit of self promo if you want. Uh, so, uh, Denny, if you want to go first. Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Denny Dicely. I run the uh, Dicely DD and Play Dicely YouTube channels. Um, we've also got a Twitch channel here, Dicely DD, where I run a bi weekly DD game, Play Dicely, uh, with a fantastic group of people, and uh, it's a lot of fun. If, uh, 
if you like what Dungeons Like does, perhaps uh, we're a little later, you know, watch their stream, and then right after them, hop on over to Play Dicely. We're usually uh, yeah. in the evening on Sundays, and I guess for the folks across the pond there, because I'm Canadian, uh, it might be a little late for you, but... Uh, yeah, because we know. end at, like, midnight my time, and that's yeah. typically when you guys just started, or are... Like, but that's what like your that, YouTube so. channel is for. Watch True. them on your own time on the Dicely that's... YouTube channel. <clears throat> That's exactly right. We're almost at 40 episodes now. All the VODs are up on our YouTube channel. Go check that out. Hell yeah. Uh, what is oh, it love overnight it's... D&D? True. Right? Just, just like an all-nighter just <laughs> watching D&D. I mean, D &D. Hell yeah. Well, sorry, I can't do anything Sundays or Mondays. I've got lots of D&D to watch. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Basically, well, from the moment we started Campaign 3 was when you guys started. Campaign 2. Through. Uh, relax. Relax. Yeah. Calm down. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's like, Calm where down. was that? Right? Campaign 2. You know what I meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, us over here, we we love everyone involved with uh, with the whole Dice Leap production. They're great people, and uh, I don't get enough time to spend in their Twitch chat and talking to them. Uh, but they're great people, and uh, love them to bits. So check them out uh, if anyone wants to. It's okay. Chuck some links busy. in chat right now, uh, <laughs> Denny. If you want to chuck some links in there uh, for for all the play Dice Leap stuff, you can also you do the new the new slash four slash shout out, and then Dice Leap D and D in the oh, Twitch true. little. Uh, is Dicely D&D &D one word or is there an underscore there? I forget. Uh, it is one word. Dicely and the D's D &D. are all capitalized, if that matters. I don't I know. It doesn't. it doesn't matter on the Twitch shout out one. Does that work? Yeah, because he says there shout out was given and then anyone oh. who isn't following, it'll be like, hey, click here, follow them. Woo. So it turns out I'm not following. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw a YouTube channel up there as well. Yeah, go for yes. it. You should be able to put a link in chat, I think. Oh, no. Ah. Wait, are you? Oh, Rip. shit. I, uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have been warned. <laughs> I, I made you a VIP, so now you should be able to. But there it is. Anyway, oh, sorry. Ethan thought, and OSG got your back. I thought I already uh, VIP'd you uh, ages ago, to be honest, but I guess I didn't. My bad. Uh, yeah, okay. Check them out. We love Dicely over here, so you should too. Smile. Uh, is Mera? You Me? want to have a little, a little, you know, take your, take your, what's that, your five seconds of fame or whatever? I'll just leave fame. myself a mystery. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> I am also returning, um, for this lovely one shot. I had so much fun last time. Um, I'm on team side quest with Laura and I think this one shot is actually how I met the rest of y'all. Um, yeah. so Yeah. Cool. So I think I, the Dutch was looking for players, and I was like, I know someone. <laughs> I know someone who's been begging for a DD &D game <laughs> endlessly since I met her. Um, but that's me. <laughs> I love DD. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mostly play right now, I guess it's mostly wildflowers and Animal Crossing on my channel. Um, but I consider myself an ESO streamer because that's how I started, and that's what I want to go back to just as soon as I don't have a computer that's falling apart. You've so, also been playing Hades. I just started playing Hades yesterday. I haven't been playing Hades, okay? <laughs> but I'm really excited. I actually really like it. I've never played We're all a Hades game now, so. like Hades, Hades great. before. It's a good time. So, it's so good. Um, it's so good. I was excited. Yeah, the art. I really like the art. That was what appealed to me first. And then, uh, I don't know. I just decided, like, my partner got it on his Switch for, like, 13 bucks. So I was like, I could do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I like it. It's fun. I like all the hot people in it, which is mm -hmm. all of them. Right. Yeah, exactly. literally not a single ugly person in that game. game, I'll be honest too. So yeah, it's um, been fun. You know, we love thirsting over video game characters. So we play <laughs> D D together more often now because we, we play do. A, a campaign that Laura runs on, on, on her channel whenever oh, the group can all meet. There's no real schedule, it's just it's as Saturdays, long as it's Saturday, and sometimes it's two Saturdays us. back to back, and sometimes there's a month break in between because scheduling sucks. But we do we do play D and D on Laura's channel as well. Play you we play um, uh, Call of the Nether Deep, the uh, critical role critical role uh, campaign. Uh, it's a good ass time. I'm enjoying it a lot uh, so far, and I can't wait for the next yeah. session, which is November twenty sixth. Question mark? Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. twenty sixth. Correct. <laughs> yes. If you so if you want to watch all the episodes are on now. my YouTube in a convenient <gasps> playlist, so you can always go catch up and check out our campaign. We're only six episodes in, so there's not tons to catch up on. True. Yeah. And some of the episodes are a little shorter as well because they were like super late. Yeah, nights. we had the yeah we had a couple time hour episodes, nonsense. Yeah. So uh, good, good times, good times. Good times. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, obviously, the rest of us, you, most of you will know us. If you don't, uh, we uh, play D&D every Sunday over here. Uh, currently uh, working through our second campaign. Uh, we've been doing this for about three years now, a little, little over three years. Uh, what, three, right? Yeah, three. Four. Three. Just four, four. four. Yeah. Motherfucker. Just four, Fuck me, dude. Motherfucker. Just four, four, Jesus Christ. Damn. All right. Fucking hell. Four years. Um, where has the time gone? Um, and we, we do that every Sunday. We also have a show that we normally do on Thursdays, but obviously today we don't because we do this. Called Dungeon Discourse, where we basically take a behind-the-scenes look uh, of the of the last episode. And we have two of the players on to talk about some of the decisions their characters may have made and, and all that stuff. And uh, we also play video games here on occasion. Mondays, we try to squeeze in some video game time. We played the Baldur's Gate early access, and we're now currently... Working towards the end of Divinity Original Sin 2, but all, all games in that same like vein, that like RPG uh D esque vein. Um so that's what we do. Uh with that out of the way, does anyone have anything that they want to say before we get started? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Just uh. that we have tons of there's only four, five days left in this charity campaign, but we have a lot of incentives left that we can still, we're still shooting for within those five days. Um, we Since we just hit a thousand, for example, in the incentives, I have to try and guide uh, a streamer, Bowdy, through Sekiro while he wears a blindfold, but I can see the screen. <laughs> That's and gonna I have be to tell so him what fucking to do. insane, dude. <laughs> and it's gonna suck God. for him. Uh, there's tons of crazy incentives like that that are game-related, D&D-related, um, giveaway-related, so... Uh, not only if you donate today, are you helping a great cause? You can unlock some cool events or cool stuff. So I have to eat a out. spicy pepper at some point next week. He does. Oh, me me and Ethan have to pepper. play Hades. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I spicy have an, a, an incentive uh, command set up for this channel, which is I'm a bad streamer, I guess. It's fine. Uh, I'll just put the link. But, um, He's a bad man. I just, I suck, man. Oh. I, like I said, I, I literally, dude, I, I just coast my way through this shit. And... <laughs> yeah, quite Improv well. Improv best game. Oh, yeah. Throw throw a coin to or at your Witcher, whichever you prefer. <laughs> oh, Don't forget at me. I, oh, stream, I prefer. Guys. If you can dodge a coin, you can dodge a ball. Throw <laughs> a note at your Witcher, because paper money tends to be more effective than coin money. <laughs> Two more. Ah. Oh no! I paper cut some checks. <laughs> but it's a lot funnier just to pelt fucking like pennies at people, you know, and just watch them run. Making it rain in D&D is a horrible, oh, horrible yeah. experience. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's that? Uh, f never mind. We're going to go off on a fucking tangent. Let's, let's not do that. Never, that? Mind. never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, all right. We all ready to, to get going? Oh, one more announcement. On <laughs> November 15th, because it's the last day of Charity Select, a bunch of us here are going to be doing a group chaos among us stream where charity donations you can oh, yeah. choose like imposter has to kill this person first everyone can only lie for a whole round etc etc like it's gonna be silliness and we also have two yeah. slots open by the way uh that i still have to fill so and denny i know we we we, we still have lingering beef from last time we played among us oh, but no. i will let you join in <laughs> oh, if you no. want <laughs> What's this oh, drama? God. <laughs> it's one of the most difficult clips oh, of my channel where I... Teddy marinated me long and hard for a whole game, and I was so convinced of his safety that I then stuck with him and he murdered me and got the win by killing wow. me. Wow. Or just doesn't have a great experience with deceit based games. I literally I retired from Among Us because I didn't like the person I was becoming. <laughs> Oh my god. Would you oh, like to come out of retirement? Like neither did Laura, so maybe you made the good call the right call there. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, on November fifteenth, um, I think we're starting at seven PM UK time, which is the same time as this. So yeah, if you want to see absolute chaos uh, for our, and help us wrap up our charity month, then that'll be on all of our channels. Everyone who's like a bunch of people who are playing, it'll just be on a bunch of our channels. Those who want to stream it will, like I'll be streaming it. Uh, I don't know who else will, but it'll be a it'll be a good time. Um, quick. Yo, I missed a thing. Like, um, okay. Throughout today's session, I'll describe certain people or creatures to you, and to give you a little more of a visual, I'll be sharing an image on the stream overlay. So for my players, because obviously with Discord being full screen for cams and stuff, um, y'all want to have a better look at what you're looking at i'll let you know when it's on stream and you can just quickly look at the the stream and be like oh yeah. look so that way you have a better idea of uh, what creatures you're looking like, at and dealing with 
What's up? One of those like choose your own adventure books was at the back has all the pictures of the monsters is like look at Glossary's <laughs> Gen Z and it's like <laughs> pretty much yeah uh, but okay without any further ado let's get into it Dun, it has dun, been dun. roughly a year after our band of witchers parted ways after they came together to fight a threat too big for just one witcher to face and it seems that fate has more in store for them this time as they're all preparing to travel back to their respective schools to spend the winter there as is customary for most witchers it seems the word of their joint venture spread, and they are summoned before Bran Tursich, king of the Skellige Isles. The Skellige Archipelago is a home to fierce warrior sailors whom continentals regard as pirates, and not without reason, for the isles are barren and their inhabitants' livelihood comes mainly from plundering the seas. The land on these five large isles is divided between its clans, the heads of which are called Jarls, and all are united under one king. The adventure begins when the Band of Witchers all arrive at the docks of Kaer Tolda, the capital city of the Skellige Isles, and home to King Bran Tirsich, um, who is also... Um, <clears throat> this takes place on the island of Ard Skellig, which is the biggest of the Skellige Isles. The party of Witchers all arrive on separate boats, but all meet up and see each other after not having really seen each other for about a year, as they all disembark their ships and they arrive at the dock. And you look at each other... And you, very surprised, you didn't expect to see each other uh, again. Um, the docks, it's, it's not a very big port. There's roughly like maybe six or seven like little piers made out. And, and the ship, the ships you, you are used to get here isn't very big. It's probably big enough for maybe three people. It's like a small sailing vessel. It's, it's not very special. It's not very, uh, it's nothing really to write home about. So you all disembark your your respective ships and see each other and and, and a look of recognition kind of and, and in the back of your head you kind of think again what do you guys do as you all see each other for the first time in a year i i see ari i'm like oh my god hey girl and i go and just give her like a big hug <laughs> uh ari mc definitely like freezes not you know she doesn't not like the hug but you know she's she's REMZ she's just like it's happening also make sure that set doesn't get squished wherever he is and then also feed I feed set a piece of cheese oh he's all about it he'll like snatch it with his little red hands <laughs> forgot how sociable as hello to all of you again or <laughs> oh Wilhelm please I don't don't greet me the way Brianna did <laughs> I'm getting better I had a shower like three months ago I'm proud of you that's fantastic to hear oh because it was raining yeah. though does he indeed smell better make make a perception check. we will have heightened win witcher senses First roll. Yeah, make a perception check. Like a dog or a cat. Do I take a, a perception or? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, just, just wait, just wait, just wait. Would this be considered <laughs> identifying or learning about a monster? No, a no. monster. <laughs> Almost, but not quite. <laughs> okay. uh, perception. Mm -hmm. The smell is its own creature. Fourteen. Well, the, it comes to a point where the human body cannot produce a stronger scent than it is and that is kind of the point where he was last time and most definitely where he is again this time regardless of the <laughs> shower he had three months ago <laughs> it's like the the shower removed maybe like a layer or two of the grime but when it's built up for so long yeah, exactly. it's like you need a, anything, like multiple different if cleanses. anything the caked on dirt was trapping the smell in yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right right he's just released it no you can like, see like he, he's he can increase you can tell you sort of maybe trying to be a bit better. It's like really old, like herbs are like sort of on there. It looks like dirt, oh, no. but they're like old. <laughs> they're like, he had this idea ages ago, then forgot this idea existed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Great. So we're all back together then. That probably isn't good. Well, I mean, what do you mean? That's Seems such a so negative attitude. About it. I'm I'm sorry, but I am quick to put the math together. So we get to kill some stuff again. Like like that's not our everyday. 
Yeah, but like it means good kill big stuff. That's why there's five of us. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So I'm glad we're all on the same page. Um, great seeing you all, I suppose. But uh, perhaps we should get to the business of whatever we've been brought here for. Yes, we'll have time to catch up on the way, hopefully. And you all were summoned to um, the keep called Kertolda, which uh, you can already see. Uh, the way this city kind of is designed is that you have the port, and then you look up, and there's this this large twin peaked mountain. And you can see just this large wall and stairway, kind of like gradually going up along this peak, till you get to the very top. There's a bridge that connects the two peaks, and on the opposite end of the bridge is where this larger than life keep just kind of sits, half resting in the rocks of the mountain peak itself. And it looks impressive. It it uh, it gives a great that the positioning there makes it makes it that it's a great vantage point in case of potential attacks on the city uh, and it's also it also kind of functions as like uh, the city's last like bastion in case of an invasion people can they can flee into the keep and they can just raise the bridge and it's very hard to reach from that point on um a very very uh, defendable position uh and you make your way as you've all been summoned to Kertolda. Uh, you make your way along the paths, and obviously your uh, gathering catches the eye of the civilians around. Um, once, Because again, seeing one witcher on his, on his own is already an oddity to, the, to, to most people, but seeing five of them in the same spot, that is both terrifying and it, it, it terrifies people, but also intriguing. Like, why there be five of you so as you walk you can definitely see people from all kinds of of, of 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 backgrounds whether they're guards whether they are the local baker whether they are just some some town drunks they all kind of have the same look of what the fuck and they kind of look at each <laughs> other and uh the occasional you know <sighs> as you walk by um but you're used to it you don't really pay any mind and you make your way up up the wall and you eventually get to the bridge which uh, there's some guards there uh, that look at you and, and one of them kind of what is your business here then you say we got Larry is nowhere in sight yeah. <laughs> yeah you got uh, a letter I, that's summoned then, that bit from the from the king then I'll just hand, hold out the letter he, he kind of takes it and, and, and looks at it all right, fucking world must be ending then if five of you have been summoned at the same time. Cross the bridge and uh, just just ring the bell when you enter the keep proper and uh, one of the squires will come fetch you. All right. All right. So you cross the bridge and you get to the keep and, and the, this massive gate that would normally... Um, the massive gate, like, like portcullis is the word I was looking for. Um, is open and there's more guards there. Um, from experience, you're used to a little more guard presence, is, especially at places where there's like royalty living or like like leaders. But um, you get the sense that due to the nature of of the way the Skellige the Skellige Isles function and and the the fact they are all uh, all different isles are united under the same king, there's not much need for extra protection because there's a lot of trust there like no one is going to try and fuck with the king um because that would bring way more issues to all the isles than it's worth or than it solves so you eventually make your way into the keep uh, into the, the, the sort of like the entry hall um and immediately as you as you enter this this younger uh man comes running at you um Young, younger man, like maybe early 20s, uh, auburn hair, kept short, wearing a blue shirt and brown leather pants. Uh, hello, my name is Johan. Um, I'm one of King Tirsich's squires. Um, I'm assuming you are the witchers that have been summoned, judging we'll by... We'll give it away. Well, you know, and he kind of like points at his own eyes and looks at you. Be a bit more direct. Yes, we are the witchers. 
all right, follow me. And uh, he immediately, like, kind of, like, turns on his heels and, and guides you across the hall into uh, this, this large, for lack of a better word, this large, like, mead hall, you know, very Viking-esque. This is very open chamber, three long tables that, that fill the room from top to, t from top to tail, uh, a large chandelier hanging down from the ceiling lit up with over 100 candles and torches that just lights up the entirety of the room. Around the room stand some guards all wearing this the blue colored clothing under well-kept leather armor and large swords sheathed down their side and at the head of the chamber a large throne sits and upon it's an older man a proud slightly fat um but fat as in not fat as in um slightly bigger but definitely you can see his arms are, are very swole and he's 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 seen a fight or two in his time uh, but he also enjoys a good celebration with a lot of meat and a lot of good food after a, a, a fight, if that makes sense. Um, Vulcan. He's got like a, a Thor in God of War build. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, wearing fine blue clothing, um, under also very well kept and, and decorated leather armor, a large sword kind of just not sheathed or anything, but just kind of leaning against his throne on the one side and a large shield leaning against the throne on the other side. Um, his face looks slightly worried, but it's mostly hidden by the stoic look on his face, accompanied by a large grey beard, long grey hair, and on his head rests a silver crown. And I'll quickly share an image on stream to have a better reference of, of what you're looking at. Exciting. Is he pretty? <laughs> no, no, he is oh. not. Oh, he's hot. <laughs> so that is... is that uh, Will uh, dad? <laughs> <laughs> so that is... Uh, dad <laughs> That is uh, King Tiersich, King of the Skellig Isles. And just quickly put that away again. There we go. <clears throat> he, as, as soon as you approach, immediately kind of gets up from his throne and, and looks at you all. Welcome, Witcher, Stard Skellig. My name is King Bran Tiersich. Hope your travel here went well. I'll, I'd like to cut to the chase, if that's all right. I heard of your efforts at the village of Yantra near Novigrad, and well, to be quite frank, didn't know you guys were together like that, but um, to be honest, a partnership like that sounds just like what I need for this job. Uh, do, 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 do. As he says, I kind of look forward to the group like, oh my god, guys, we're famous. The reason why I've requested your presence is because um, a threat looms that could very well not only cause the end of the Skellige Isles, but also the world as we know it. Um, I have a question for you. How familiar oh. are you with the wraiths of, the wraiths of Morhawk? And uh, I, I have a question, would, Jim. How familiar are we I would like... Uh, <laughs> any of you proficient in history? I believe I am, yes. Um, yeah, I am not. No. So just Laurel but and Brianna... I remember oh, correctly. Yeah. I think hmm? my parents were killed by wraiths. Yeah, but not these kinds. But there's lots of kinds of wraiths. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, make a history check, then, Brianna. Bam! Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm? Not a good starting roll. That's an eight. Okay. My viewers, where's that inspiration at? Yeah, you can remember, <laughs> reminder, this charity, you can donate to give inspiration. To it's anyone. Fun DM to DM Five bucks. <laughs> what I'll do actually is I'll give you advantage because of the fact that uh, you are proficient in history and, and normally most Much witches will, will will learn about this, but I'm, I'm making you get the role because of your proficiency. So I'll give you advantage. Okay. Um, 19 with advantage. Okay, there you go. Much better. Uh, you know that the Wraiths of Morhog is one of the many names given to the Wild Hunt. During the conjunction of the Spheres, uh, a, a very important event in the Elven history. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the elves from the main world, uh, later described as End Seed, left their kin using portals and went to a new world. They took the mm -hmm. new world for their own and started to call themselves and fell the, the Alder Folks. Um, this world was inhabited by two intelligent species, humans and unicorns. The elves started unicorns! to wage <laughs> yeah. Elves started <laughs> to wage war with both of them and eventually they completely eradicated all the humans and their settlements. Who the fuck would kill a unicorn? After some time, the elves That's wanted rude. servants, or better yet, slaves. Uh, the only other sapient beings on this world being unicorns, <gasps> they didn't really function well as slaves, so... They managed to um, 
for some of the unicorns to open the gate of the worlds, giving them access to all possible worlds to massacre as they pleased. The elven king, Oberon, ordered the creation of a cavalry unit with a single goal, invading alien worlds and capture young humanoids to serve as slaves. The cavalry was named uh, the Red Riders due to their red cloaks, uh, and the king appointed a general Eredin Brickglass as their leader. Uh, he was an efficient and ruthless soldier with, a str with strong magical abilities. And these Red Riders um, began their invasion of other worlds to intimidate the local people. They wore skeletal armor that made them look extremely threatening and used exclusively black steeds. On some occasions, they would also use a powerful ship known as the Nagalfar, which is said to be able to float in the sky. And on top of it, of it all, they used projections to appear more spectral, making people think that this was a group made up of wraiths and specters. And they've okay. gone through many names, but on Skellige, the Wild Hunt is known as the Wraiths of Morhog. Ah, uh, okay. It's a lot of more so there, there, but this, you know, this... there you go. <laughs> so, I yeah. will cast Exposition and recount yeah. that. And when you, when you uh, say the group. Wild Hunt, <laughs> for the rest of you, you also like, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we heard of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I knew that yeah. one! I know that yeah, exactly. I understood that reference. <clears throat> <laughs> Interdimensional world traveling army looking to abduct people. Exactly. All of us thought these Got wraiths it. were an urban legend, a scary story, pure fiction, but recently that changed. They were spotted on Art Skellig, southeast of the town of Fierzdal. Uh, there was a small port there with a tavern, but now there's nothing left but ruins and snow. Survivors of the event said they saw dark riders descend upon the place from the sky and they murdered anyone in sight. They seemed to be looking for something or someone. Um, normally, as the stories say, they, they look for slaves, but they murdered everyone in, 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 in the vicinity. So, they're looking for something specific. The reason I asked you to be here, Witchers, is uh, because this wild hunt, turning out to be very much real, and being present on Art Skellig, uh, we'll need more than just one Witcher to travel to the remains of that battle and figure out why they were here. And, um, well... You know, if they're still about, you get him to leave, really. Whether that is willingly or by force. Obviously, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Uh, you will be rewarded with a reward of 300 crowns each. And in addition, your names will be forever mentioned in our halls and celebrated. And you will always be a friend of Skellige, which might prove useful in trying times to come. Okay. Sure. You got any questions? Are there, any mugs? <laughs> are, are there any mugs of ale out on this very long table? Or is oh, yeah, there's there's three of these very long tables, and there's just, like, horns, kind of like, these, like, mead horns hanging along a barrel that is completely filled to the brim with, with, with drink. And, yeah. I'm just going to go walk and get a drink and then walk back over. This, um, yeah, this don't blame you, to be honest. This is a lot. Well, I can give I'm you the, uh, the short version. Is uh, Wild Hunt, uh, urban legend, turns out to be real. They're killing my people. I need help getting them to fuck off. Yeah, you right. got that. I want to intimidate Just... the Wild Hunt. Sounds like a good bit of fun. Um, uh, how how far away is the uh, the site we will need to investigate? It's uh, about a four to five hour uh, journey on horseback. It's uh, okay, so... towards the southern uh, beach of this island. And how long ago was this? This attack happened a few days ago. One of the uh, people lived to tell the tale. It's uh, how we knew, how we learned about this disaster. Um, he's, he's named Harvin. He was a dock worker there. Uh, he's been provided bedding at the local tavern, so if you want to get more information about the exact specifics of what went down, you could always pay him a visit. That's not a bad idea, actually. I'm sure mm -hmm. he'd love that. Uh, Five witches coming to interrogate him. Probably not, but to be quite frank, I'm going to give it a task. If it means getting these pests off my island, then so be it. Well, then I guess let's go talk to him first. Do you have horses that we can use? Because we, we came here on a boat and we didn't really bring them. 
Hey, I can send word to uh, the stables on the edge of town to get some horses ready for you. Hope you're not too attached to them, because God knows what we might find. It'll be alright. So, I'll go then, I guess. And Wilhelm just fucking... 180s, walks out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? He seems a lot more excited than the rest of you. Is that... Is he... Is he alright? Or does he have a death wish? Quite possibly. possibly. Um, he already smells like a corpse, so... Yeah, the lack of personal hygiene was strong with this one. Mm -hmm. The roast. <laughs> Seven months in the making. <laughs> <laughs> He, had a shower yeah, yeah. he has been weeks. seasoning for seven months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> marinating. Mm. <laughs> any of you have any questions before uh, you join your friend, or? I Ari's think just so. gonna make her way out. Pat set a little bit. <laughs> just follow the smell. <laughs> Which is hard because it's like all around you, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's seeped. <laughs> I've got, you know, Set's little nose is pointing oh, yeah. for it, you know. Like a pointer <laughs> dog Set. for Wilhelm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Sam is going to very flamboyantly and over the top. Bow. <laughs> and then... Is he trying to emulate uh, Corneal? <laughs> the most cordial I'm... of us all. <gasps> cordial Corneal! <laughs> <laughs> I do... A bow not quite so deep as the exaggerated one Devin <laughs> did, and then just turn heel and begin walking up. <laughs> Good luck! He kind of like yells uh, as you all, one by one, trickle out the uh, the, the hall. I'm going to put the empty uh, meat horn in my pocket as well as I leave. Sure. Like very blatantly <laughs> and obviously. Part of your payment. <laughs> yep. You're like, he can spare this, it's fine. Off to find this the survivor. Yup. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, do, 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 do. That would be uh, Harvin. H A R V I N. Harvin. Sounds like a nerd name. What the <gasps> fuck? That was a bitch to me. That's rude. <laughs> but he plays D and D. True. So as you all kind of leave the um the the keep you ha are all, fam all familiar with with some of the stories surrounding the wild hunt but again none of you have ever seen them in person and besides a couple of stories told by um actually which one of you was called the wolf again oh that was brianna, brianna. oh that's great uh you do know that a few a few years ago um when you were not present, but you were told by your your fellow witchers that were present, uh, Kaer Morin, the, uh, the the school the school um, where 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 you're where you're from, were attacked by individuals that later on turned out to be the Wild Hunt. So you were probably the only one of this group of witchers that that knew Ooh. for a fact that they were real. Uh, the other hey. ones only heard stories and, and were kind of in yeah. the same vein of like, oh, it's just an urban legend. When they did, when I was told of the attack, was I told of the, like, the casualties or the success of the attack on Kaer Morin? Like, did they um, fight them off? Was it a massacre? Like, they fought them off, uh, not without losses, of course, but uh, yeah. at the end of the, the, at the end of the battle, your school did yeah. stand victorious, but it, it, okay. it, did came, it did come with some losses, yeah. Okay. Then I'll also, while we're walking over to find Harvin, tell the, the group this and be like, so, I mean, we're totally going to be fine because they attacked a group of witchers and they were fine. We're a group of witchers. We're going to be fine. And we know what we're up against. They caught them by surprise. Like, this is, this is going to be fine. So, Do I believe me... she's telling the truth? <laughs> Make an insight check. And let me get this straight. So they attacked a school of witchers, but five witches are going to be fine. 
there's never really that many of us at the school because like you know people are out and about and doing their thing and like i've only ever seen i think like seven of us there at once and that was crowded like that was that was a busy night all right fair. 15. 15 15 um i mean she, she's telling the truth and she's not really like hiding it i don't think so uh yeah no you seem convinced Not every day you get to kill an urban legend. I mean, not or attack it up. You know what I mean. You probably won't kill it. <laughs> but, you know. Scare Isn't it off. Job? Yeah, but there's a lot of them. Just probably. Put, uh, Wilhelm gently on the shoulder and just... <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. You're going to say something? Find this Harvin kid. kid. Um, Brianna, I'm I'm curious. Um, seeing as though there's that you have at least connections to first-hand experiences, um, was there any information from that attack about about these individuals? Like, were they just good warriors? Was there certain weaknesses? May I make a check to remember, like roll make to remember any details? Check, please. Nine. 19. No, Ooh. dirty 20. Okay. Better. Um, you do remember that um, they use this this magic to kind of make them look more ghostly than they are. Um, mm. They very much bleed, and they very much are humanoid in nature, okay. uh, so are definitely killable. Yeah. Uh, and they... Uh, Their soldiers mainly just use, you know, weaponry like swords and, and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, but the more higher ranked of them do possess some pretty uh powerful magical abilities as well okay. for the most part they are very much like all oh, all show no substance they kind of do this thing or like oh i'm such a spooky ghost but they're really just people you know it, they're people that hit pretty hard but they're just people the really like high ranking ones can be a bit of a problem because they have you know like crazy magic and stuff but don't just don't buy into the whole mystical ghostly facade thing when we run into them because it's, it's totally not true they bleed like everything else all right very good to know okay so you make your way to the one tavern that this town has uh, which is back down by the docks where you uh pretty much straight across from where you uh dock your ships so, you, you know, you went up a large set of stairs to get up to the keep, and now you're going back down those stairs again. But you're witchers. You guys are trained are down. You're fit as fuck. So, we you don't know, skip no leg day. Three quarters of the way down, day. you hear the heavy breathing of Wilhelm because he is in fucking heavy armor. So it's like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's not even like, fuck shit. It's just his <laughs> eyes as well. Probably weighs an extra 30% compared to someone yeah, else's exactly. heavy armor. <clears throat> clank, um, clank. But eventually, you make your way to the tavern. And when you enter the tavern, you look around and you can see uh, in the corner, you can see and hear some music being played by a bard going at it on his lute. Uh, the scent of baked cakes fill the air. And um, you look around and you can see a couple of tables have a, have a small group of people <laughs> sitting at it having drinks. And you spot in the corner this, this one alone individual buried in his drink and you get a good feeling that 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 might probably be who you're looking for um the barkeep approaches you and says, good afternoon can i uh can i get you anything i'm going to um, walk past her and go sit at the table with the dude that's deep in his cup and just put my feet up on the table all right and, and i just else? i just point to the dude where was like what whatever he's having and and one for, for all of us, and another for him. Pointing to Harvin. Could I? <clears throat> all right. Could I, could I also get a piece of cheese, please? Of course, of course. <laughs> and uh, just, just just take a seat, and I'll, and I'll bring it all to your table in a few seconds. I'll also sit down pretty, like, like heavily next to, uh, next to Harvin. Just... <laughs> um, and you all make your way towards uh, this this alone individual. And when you, uh, Demond, when you approached him, like, he noticed you sitting down, but he's just, like, he's sitting at his chair, kind of, like, his, this large mug in front of him. Like, he's, like, 
clutching it with both of his hands, and he's just staring like into the cup. Notices shit that's sitting down, doesn't really pay you mind, but then when all the rest of you also join the table, he kind of looks up and just... Oh, um... Uh, what have that I is. done to upset... Uh, what have I upset nope. enough to have not one but five witches at my table? You hmm? have not earned that. Oh, okay, that's good. We're we're actually we're we're buying you another drink. It's on the way. It's it's fine. It's chill. Well, in that case, feel free to have a seat. Um, well, as he says that, I try and do the like the like girly hair flip, forgetting that I just recently like cropped my hair into an attempted really cute pixie cut that actually looks more '90s boy band. And then I realize that I've done that, and I'm like, oh, and just then try and like sit back and look. <laughs> like, as you all uh, kind of sit no, down, noticing um, that Brianna's done this, I'm just gonna flip my my blade at the back. <laughs> yeah, you're super long hair. <laughs> the barkeep comes that comes over and puts your drinks on the table and hands you a small little piece of cheese. Um, REMZ. Um, if you need anything else, just give me a shout. And and Harvin kind of looks at you all. Um, well, not that I uh, uh mind company, but why are you here? You've got information. Do I? Very. Yes, you do. You've survived an ordeal, we've been told. And we are oh. meant to go and deal with that. As you say that, his eyes kind of like... Like, like, just stare at you. Very, very big. You, 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 you're going... You, um, okay. Um, what, 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 what do you want to know? We should... We're so rude. We should introduce ourselves first, because, I mean, like, we just kind of sat at your table and didn't even say anything. I'm Brianna, this is Ari, this is Will, this is Drem, and this is Corny. We are... Corny. We're witchers. When you, oh. when you said Will, Will Hunter gives you this, like, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, Everybody for, needs a nickname. Nice to meet you. My name's Harvin. Um, we knew that. But hi. Right. You go for Harv or Vin? Which one is it? <laughs> I don't I care. I like Vin, thing. personally. I don't care. I really don't. Um. So what? What do you want to know? Ari's just so, staring at him as she like takes a bite, gives a bite, takes a bite, gives a bite with <laughs> cheese. That must be the most. And like, like every now and then, thing. takes like a big old mug and just takes a slow sip from it. Like, you know. Really roast with this piece of cheese. Yeah. yeah, but staring at the guy <laughs> the whole time. I just like to think. I like to imagine unbl like unblinking as well, like proper, like full, like <laughs> yeah. <creeper>. God, <laughs> almost like a lost kid expression, though. Not that. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. It's not. I'm gonna fucking follow you home tonight. Expression. Oh, okay, cool. Good to know. <laughs> so. What we would like to know from you, Harvin, is the uh, the details of what transpired, um, the the numbers of the forces that attacked. What 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 did they look like? What were they using? Um, um, so we'll start there. Well, um, it was uh, it was there's a small dock to the south of of the, the town of Fierstal. Um It's not attached to the town. It's like a small little village, I guess. Uh, there's a few houses there. And, and a dock and, and an inn, but that's about it. Um, and uh, three days ago, the dead of night, I was drinking at the dock on my own. I don't have many friends. Uh, the attack started, and it started with it, it started snowing very heavily, which is odd for this for, for this area because of the you know we get a lot of warmer wind from the ocean, so it doesn't really snow here that much, and um, or at least not on the, the coastal uh, parts of the islands, and. Um, it, it just started snowing so hard, and it would, I, can, I could feel the temperature drop insanely fast. And then I looked up, and there was all these, these, these this large green portal, a uh, floating ship came through, made of metal and bone, tattered sails, and six knights with black skeletal armor rode down from it upon dark horses, but they were floating and flying down, and they started slaughtering everyone. So I ran. That makes a lot more sense now why you're still here. Okay, got it. I don't know where they went. I don't know if they're still there, but that's what happened. And I decided that I liked being alive, so I I, I booked it. I, 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 just, I could have stayed to fight with people, but I probably wouldn't have survived. And 
my fight or flight kicked in and I just started running and I didn't stop until I got to cut the fear style, which is the next town over. You did as, the right thing, as honestly. Saying this, Don't like his hands are like it. shaking the cup around and you can tremble in his voice. He's he's traumatized. This is not something that he was was built for. <laughs> I don't know if it was the right thing, but um, you're alive, and that allowed us to get this information, so that is something. Um, we've reason to believe that they're searching for someone. Did they have a first stop when they... Um... No, they just kind of came down, and, and there were there was a small group of people, kind of like just just, just uh, in front of the tavern, you know, singing the, probably on their way home, because it was in the middle of the night, and and they just they just rode down, and and before they could even let out a scream, they killed them, and and they started to kick down the doors, to break down the houses, and that didn't really look like they were looking for anyone in there in particular maybe i don't know it's maybe they could like i don't know man is is there anything that that town is known for any any fuck all legends to be honest about that locations no i have i have no idea anyone maybe that wasn't a local come to the town lately or anything in the days leading up to the attack stood out as something different. Maybe they were looking for something that wasn't normally so there. He starts to think. That's a fantastic and... question. Sorry? I was just commenting. Uh, okay. It was a fantastic question. Uh, it's a shit question. <laughs> now that you mentioned it a few weeks ago, this, this, this white-haired woman rode through town, stayed maybe for a night, and then moved on. It was weeks ago. I didn't even. I didn't. I don't know who she was. Did she? Did she have 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 this going on too? You I know? don't know. What's it's. I only. Know? I didn't. I only saw her from a distance. I didn't really walk up and talk okay. to her or anything. She just. Did you hear a name to... from her at all? Sorry. Did you hear a name from her at all? No, not I've read it. No she, one knew. She kind of kept to herself and just got, got a room, went straight to it, and was gone early next morning. Both. Sorry? Hmm? Close. What was she wearing? Um leather armor over some some like a like a white shirt and some leather pants and two swords on her back? Mm. Any idea where she went? The moment he says two swords, I glance at everyone else. Mm-hmm. I have Our no idea. I, she she was gone before the sun came up. Was more cheese in her mouth. Maybe she left some. Now I'm saying this like to the group, not really looking at Harvin anymore, like not, but not like trying to hide it from him, just not addressing him. Maybe mm -hmm. this this person was one of us, and she had maybe some sort of like item or artifact, and that's what these people were after. They weren't actually there for this, you know, kind of middle of nowhere town. Maybe she left it there if they didn't find it, and we can go look at the room she stayed in. Ariamzi turns to Brianna and very quietly is like, she passed through, right? Like, she didn't die doing whatever she was doing, right? Not from the sounds of it, but then all the more reason why, to me, it seems like she might have left something there because if they were chasing her, they would have just attacked her. But they attacked, what, a week or something after she was there. So maybe she well. left something there. It could be, or it could be a matter of intel reaching specific ears, right? Information Maybe they thought she time. was there, and then she wasn't, and they were pissed. Or perhaps... Oh, thanks. Or perhaps it's a combination of things. She left something there knowing it would cause this. In wow, any case, bitch. it sounds like we'll need to find this person. Um, it, she might even be working with them, and it will set a way to... For them to come in people like us do not work with those people mm -mm. that's 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 are you saying there's no rest. are you saying there's no person who's gone rogue at all in any sort of school of one of us ever 
I think that's not uh, quite right. REMZ turns to Brianna again. Is he confessing to something? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? And I get like the like like high school girl like gossip. And I'm like, oh my god, are you? Do you do you have do you have something you need to tell us? Will like is there a story? No. Also, stop calling me Will. I, I Will to, I told you. I turn to Wilhelm and I just look at him and deadpan. Not usually for long. Ooh. Sense of hostility okay. today. <laughs> Did you all wake up on the wrong side of the bed or something? I feel the only one who's ready for an adventure. It does all seem a bit. I calm. woke up with like a little bit of a twinge in my back. It wasn't really. I don't great, need to hold on. Like, I'm... I don't. Well, fine. Okay, you asked. So. <laughs> I was being rhetoric. We should probably go to this there, town, right? Kind of like, um, <laughs> I know. And uh, as well, much as, as you're, we're just surrounding this. As, as much as this conversation is very interesting, I don't think it's any of my business. So if you wouldn't mind, thank you for the drink. I appreciate it. I will give him an overly hearty like pat on the back, like proper. Like, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, like shove. It was it, like a uh, like. Well, you did well, lads. Just rest yourself up. You'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Drink some water. Yeah. Where he just scoops out of the booth. As, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, it's a sort of. It's like it's like a like a table with like a, a bench kind of like attached to the wall on either side of the table. As Will Wilhelm stands up, does that thing you know, like you knock your knees against the table as you stand up because you like didn't realize it was quite as far close as it was, and just kind of stands up and just fucking knocks the fucking table. <laughs> yeah, proper one of those. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Well, sorry. 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 We have some. Some more intel. That's great. Yeah. We'll get our horses then. That's a great idea. Mm -mm -mm. Fantastic. We go. We go. We go get horses. All right. We go. We, we go. go. Am I oh fucking guy? Uh, so what happens? Um, I listen to okay. Valley Go like some too. Stop imitating yes. Brianna. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god. So you uh, you make your way to where the stables are, which is pretty much like the by adjacent to the uh, the docks, is where the road that leads into this town uh, also sits, and, and the stables are right beside it. Uh, and as you approach, there's already a soldier. All soldiers here are wearing the same like outfit. It's it's this blue shirt with with brown leather pants, and then some leather armor over the shirt. Uh, and there's like these like rounded helmets on their heads. Uh, and looks at looks at you five. Suppose you're the five witchers that I had to uh, get some watches ready for, or have you seen uh, another group of five witches around? Uh, you're funny. That's that's funny. Thank you. I'll be here all another week. Group. Well, if you'll be here all week, um, should a woman with white hair come into town, keep close observation. With two swords. Because we, we're not just we're not just being ageist. Like she needs to be, you know, uh, kind of badass looking. A woman white with hair. white hair You're and right. two swords. That's uh, hey, yeah, sure. Um, what has she done? Potentially dangerous, needing for questioning. Provided we don't find her first. All right. Fair enough. All right. I'll uh, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll spread the word. Is yours is. Try not to get him killed. Go home. They have names. Scoffs. <laughs> Whatever you want them to be named, to be honest. Horse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got Teddy. I got him. He cracked. He cracked. <laughs> cracked. <laughs> and he, uh, he hands you all, uh, you know, like the reins of a horse and... Um, they're all these 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 like light brown colored horses with some white spots kind of like uh, uh, dotted about their 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 uh, their body. Uh, all very well, like very big and uh, pretty like broad, like they, they 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 lift kind of thing. Like they're very muscular horses. <laughs> big babies. Very big, very broad. Mm. Um, and you were told that this is the um. You need to go to the docks, the sm a small dock village mm -hmm. south of Fearsdal, and Fearsdal itself is a uh, a town, roughly a four hour ride on horseback away. Let's go. It is currently 
uh, early afternoon, so you'll you'll get to Fearsdal, uh, but more specifically, you'll get to the the small port past uh, Fearsdal, roughly towards uh, like five six in the afternoon, uh, you know, okay. close to evening. At um, one point, while we're riding there, because mm -hmm. um, like last time, I tried to force the group to play icebreakers with me, and I learned my lesson, <laughs> and that's not going to happen again. So this time, uh, at one point, she does the thing where it kind of like gathers the reins um, under like one hand and like around her wrist, and with the other hand reaches into her little, um, for lack of a better word, a much fancier, cooler looking fanny pack, but like medieval style fanny pack, and pulls medieval out style a small. Fanny pack. A small bottle uh and then takes the lid off and just starts painting her nails while on horseback with some <laughs> bright red nail polish <laughs> and being very very careful about it and taking most because on horseback one-handed very hard to do but like manages to get it done and it looks pretty good very good yeah so it's about a four hour ride to get the fierce doll and then like another hour uh, is there anything you guys would like to do or discuss while you're uh, making your way yeah. down I'll offer to paint Ari's nails if she wants them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe after stuff, after everything. Also have a purple if you don't want the red, but the purple, the red's way cooler than the purple. And like, I'll, I'll show you later. Purple's just the kind red of would purple. go with my hair. That's true. Oh my God. And so I, I pull up my horse next to hers. And at some point I do her nails. <laughs> <laughs> While right. we're riding, I'm going to ignore everything else that's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, now, my Witcher lore is not brilliant, mm -hmm. but if I remember, the School of the Viper was educated quite heavily on the Wild Hunt because it was part of what they were formed for. Um, yes and no. Because <clears throat> the way the School of the Viper um, was was formed um, like was... an offshoot of an offshoot, right? Yeah, exactly. It was like an offshoot of an offshoot. There was a lot of splintering going on. Um, uh, they were previously uh, part of the School of the Bear, and this was like an offshoot of that school that kind of went a different way. Um, a very, a very deadly... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> splintering. Oh, yeah. By the way, it wasn't it wasn't very friendly at all. Um, the reason being mainly uh, because the school of the Viper was made is because they were the first Witcher school to 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 accept contracts on humans as well as monsters. Oh yeah, which rubbed yeah. Uh, a lot of the other Witcher schools the wrong way. Naturally, the reference to Wilhelm about no one goes. Well um, and like but. like the Nilfgaardian army publicly has tried many times to eradicate the school of the viper specifically uh, they are Which is they hilarious are not very loved um you um, also know that um uh, 2 years ago and in, in the year 1270 um a group of viper witchers you know? did encounter the wild hunt um, accom accompanied by, by, by a sorceress, um, you guys were arrested by Nilfgaardian, or your, your school was arrested by Nilfgaardian Secret Service, um, oh. and were forced to assassinate a few kings in the Northern Realms. Um, so yeah, the, the track record of the School of Viper, not that great. Uh, they've had encounters <laughs> with... The Wild Hunt, uh, but, you know, I, I, you personally, you, you personally, not not per se, but they're, they, yeah, they there no, were en I, encounters. What I'm trying to remember, I, there were, if I remember, there were rumors about the Vipers, the School of the Viper being set to combat the Wild Hunt. So is there, would I have any suspicions as to what they're looking for if they've looked no because um because normally they just come and take people right make a history check for me a history check yeah i'll Ooh. fucking win these historia 14 14 you're not too sure you know that they've encountered the wild hunt before 
uh, which led to them being arrested. But you don't know whether that was, you know, they were they, they, they were fighting the Wild Hunt or that was just, you know, they were there for the Wild Hunt or that was just chance encounter. You're not sure. Um, so as far as your knowledge about the Wild Hunt and what they want is the same as what, what, what Brianna told you is they scoured the realms to look for slaves. Um, but that would mean they would take anyone and any any able body human or elf so or whichever so there, them just outright slaughtering to... people without taking any prisoners that, that that's a whole new a whole new yeah, concept to okay. you that doesn't give me any that doesn't like that that, that, that doesn't for. um match with the idea and knowledge you have of, you possess of the wild hunt at this current time okay um towards the end of the journey mm -hmm. I would like to take the time to apply poison to both of my weapons. I don't know why I thought you were going to say apply poison to both of our witchers or something along those lines. And I was like, please to, don't. To both we need to be alive. Kill everyone. To both my least favorites in the group. <laughs> Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> uh, is there anything else anyone would like to do or discuss or, or whatever on the way? Uh, I don't think so. Yep, I'm just keeping to himself a little bit. Enjoying his own scent. I, I mean, there's that as well. It's like... Dutch, he's... this is kind of weird, but could, really, can I ask Ari MZ to roll a perception check while I'm painting her nails? Sure. She's pickpocketing you or some no. shit. She's drawing a penis. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, Nothing not with that. Penis. Okay nice sheep. nails. <laughs> oh fuck! It's a thumb. Perception. Oh good, a plus zero, so eleven. Oh. <laughs> okay. Woo! Um, uh, let's go. What is this? What is this madness? <laughs> at it, uh, at one point, while you're you're looking, because like you watch your you watch maybe the first day, and you're like, all right, whatever. It's like, she's painting my nails. They look fine. And you're like more keeping an eye on the horses, but at some point you look and you might notice, like that there's a bit of a a, sh a shimmery effect to the polish that Do I have cat seems claws now. It seems more than just like you know, like glitter or something that could be in there. It's like that seems a bit interesting and not like explainable by the actual formula of the polish itself. Like there's just occasionally this like. Out of your peripheral vision, when your nails hit the light, there's this shine that doesn't look natural. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna be like, what? What? What is this? Oh, so uh, this is my one of the prototypes I'm testing. Do you know how, like, in our letters we've been exchanging, I talked about wanting to make my own line of magical beauty products because the ones I bought before are really cool, but like, I just bought them, right? So I'm working on some magical nail polishes. And this one, it's, you know, do you notice that the red looks familiar at all? It's like the red of a healing potion. Yeah, <gasps> yeah, right? You see the vibe? What? Wait, so what does it do? Oh, this valley girl like, shit is killing once... me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, it's like just a little extra little, little pool of health, like in your nails when it works. And you can just like pull on it when you like get a bit banged up or something. Mm -hmm. Will I have to ruin it? Oh, uh, I haven't really explored it too much. Uh, I've gotten a little bit scuffed and it's been fine. I mean, it's in our line of work, it's pretty impossible to keep your nails looking great, you know? So that doesn't seem to really affect it. Okay. Well, cool. But I'm still testing. You're kind of, you're kind of, I, I maybe should have asked first, but you're kind of helping be one of my like testers right now. If that's what at... they do, you can, she looks do, at you can do my nails. Hands to see if there's like <laughs> nails on his hands at all. But on whose? I don't think rats really have nails. <laughs> <laughs> there's a disappointed look that goes over. <laughs> Ari, Such a face, shame. But... <laughs> Welcome, Brianna, to try to make a uh, pyramid scheme. <clears throat> a pyramid scheme for this shit. <laughs> oh my god, guys. No. It's, so, it's been so long since we've so been like, together. The three the three of them. And like. It Bitch, no, only I sell my nail polish when it's yeah, ready. No, her not next, a, like, next one shot, shot, she'll have another genius business idea, which is, uh, it's a timeshare. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, like... Scala Giles and sell so them to, like, ten different people. 
but yeah. you want it to other people. <laughs> it's like super awesome. There's like three of us together already, and then it you get in now, get in fast. <laughs> Anyways, uh it's Mira, I'll send you the link to the the item so you can see what it does if you choose okay, to cool. use it from your nails. Well thanks. <laughs> um all right, and you guys kind of kill the time that way, you know, the, 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 you two doing each other's nails and the rest of you, you know, in-, in Talk about in, some failed prototypes that went very wrong. <laughs> the rest of you in, in very, uh, you know, very much common Witcher style, not saying a fucking word and just going. Um, you notice that the closer and closer you get to this, this, this small port village, the colder and colder it gets. To the point where it's it's very cold. You start to like kind of shivering a little bit, uh. and winter is it's as if you just rode into winter properly. And the closer and closer you get, um, it just transforms from a sunny but windy day into a cold winter day in the span of, like, a couple of hours of travel. And when you get to the small port village, you can see the village is completely ruined, buildings destroyed. Um, the one big building in this village, uh, which you assume would be at the tavern, completely ruined. Some of the ports and docks completely smashed. But one thing that strikes you as very interesting is that as soon as you walk into the, the like, I would say, the, like, border that makes this the, the, the town or the village, there's just a few inches of snow just layered on the ground. And there's no snow anywhere else. Just this specific location. This this village, this small village. In the snow? Make a perception check. I don't like these. <clears throat> We get anything to tracking? We do when it's monster specific. If you're tracking a person, it might not apply. So I guess yeah. I'll have to find prints first and go from there. Uh, perception? Mm hmm. Ooh, that is a 25. Several sets of tracks going all over the place, most of them leading okay. to bodies of dead people, uh, completely caked in blood and blood smeared through the snow. Uh, people that tried to run, but didn't get very far. Uh, you do also see sets of heavy footfalls uh, surrounding it. A uh, lot bigger and a lot deeper uh, than the rest, uh, which you assume must have been from you know, some heavily armored individuals. Um, you also, kind of towards the dock side, like there's like a small little beach, you hear some noises. Uh... And as you kind of listen, you just hear this like, this like gargling oh, uh, sound. And as you kind of look that way, you can see these six, 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 six? these six <laughs> fish-like humanoid creatures fish. feasting on some bodies that have been strewn about uh, the beachside of the small port I village. Uh, make a nature check for me, so since you're the one that sees them uh, first. Oh, fuck um, my. I don't know so good at nature checks. I applaud you uh, on making this a Do I have Sean advantage Connery. because I'm identifying or learning about a monster? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, shik fish like. Shik 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 Do Money I have pay. advantage Milk for like boosting shell. your knowledge because I'm identifying or learning about a monster? Yes. Cool, because I have a nat, uh, minus one, so. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> Man's what's roll zero even with advantage. That's a 15. 15? Yeah, easy. These are very common creatures. Uh, these are known as uh drowners uh drowners are uh frightful drowners? creatures of of mud and scum and they drag people down into mires and bubbling eddies uh, it feeds on young women who bathe in rivers and on occasion will pull men off of their horses or carts as they cross a bridge or something it's wilhelm's cousins uh, drowners arise from the bodies of villains who meet their end in running water or in undertows that appear after storms uh, these watery creatures embody the spirits of those who cannot rest after death and are sometimes born of fetuses aborted by magical means. Um, very oh. much humanoid looking. This like bluish skin, fish scales, uh, like fins sticking out of their neck and on top of their head. Gross. Uh, I'll, I'll share a little, a little picture um, 
on stream now to give you a little bit more of an idea of what you're looking at. This one in particular doesn't look much like the ones in the game, but this is very much that same, like, oh. fish-like, but That's also you. vaguely humanoid. No likey. Um, oh, yeah, they're gross. Yeah. I think they look um, fine. While, while you're doing that, mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm gonna do my best to sort of alert the group silently. Yeah, they have not noticed you yet. They're too focused on uh, having dinner. I would like to begin to stealth my way over. <laughs> Make a stealth I will check. Join him. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Are I get advantage on this because I'm School of the Viper. Mm -hmm. Uh, and as long as I move at half speed, I'm entirely silent. So I will Ooh. move at half speed. Ooh. That's cool. Uh, that is a natural 16, so 24. Look, scene. I can move at full speed and I get plus two because okay. I'm a kitty cat. Nice. <laughs> I got, yeah, for I those of you that want to sneak up and get a little closer, just all roll self checks. Yeah. I got 22. 21. 22, 21. All right. Okay, I that's not terrible. 14. 24, 22, 21, 14. I will stay back at least 120 feet because I'm that useful at range. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Can't wait Alrighty. for someone to come up behind us. Uh, you get closer and you get to a point where um, Corneal, you, how far away from this group of creatures do you want to, would you want to be ideally? Uh, let's let's say about like a hundred feet away at most. Okay, uh, you can be within that range. We get to a point where the rest of you are roughly thirty feet away, kind of like behind some rubble. That uh, yeah. when you look past it, you just have the beach side there and mm -hmm. uh, this group of six drowners just feasting on a couple of bodies that they probably, you know, they're chilling in the water. Suddenly they hear a bunch of death and destruction. They pop out of the water and just drag some snacks closer to home to, to have a little, little mom on. You know, um, making use of the uh, the fresh meat that suddenly got thrown their way. Uh, they have not noticed you yet. Uh, you're roughly 30 feet away. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Those of you that uh, snuck up. Ari's going to look at the others and see if they look like they're getting ready to fight. I mean, I'm straight up like great swords coming out. <laughs> Just... Okay. Mind me, how far you said those ones that are closer are? 30, 30 feet. feet. 30, 30 feet. feet. Okay. Um, I gonna... have a thing, but Ethan, you can go first. I would say I'm going to look at the group. I'm just going to. And I'm going to mime that I'm going to circle around to the other side. Okay. While he circles around, I have on my. um middle finger on my right hand there's a like onyx ring with some like purple and blue little <laughs> gems in it and just like points out towards the drowners and expend one charge from my ring of shooting stars to cast fairy fire on a 20 foot cube to like light them all up in glowy twinkle lights so that dremond can hit them better nice Okay, uh, I'll give you all, uh, you know, one one surprise turn before we get into initiative. In that case, so, so that'll that'll be Rihanna is gonna <laughs> spend her turn to to cast fairy fire. Is that that's a dex save kind of vibe? Yes, right? it Can is a dex save. It? Yes, it's a twenty foot cube. You said. Yes. So that will be three point. of them will be affected by that. Uh, dex save. And we said wisdom is our DC for magic-y things. I, our stat using uh, for the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Eight. We are wisdom casters. Uh, plus three makes it. Man, I rolled two natural three, so six and one sixteen. Thank God. So the sixteen makes it. The other two, the other ones don't. Okay, so I'll mark they are. They're lit fired. up in. We'll make it like a red to match my nail polish. Okay, so that's uh, Brianna's uh, surprise round done. Uh, what does Demond want to do? I mean, I'm so I'm coming up from the other side. I'm assuming they've all now turned to look towards the others. Uh, I they're in the process of doing that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, whichever one is, I guess, furthest away from the rest of the group and closest to me, I'm just gonna go behind. Mm hmm And I'm just gonna shank. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take two attacks with the Wakened Black Dragon's Wrath Scimitar, which also has poison on it. Oh yeah. Is this one fairy fired? Uh, no. Okay. Do I have God advantage it. on it? What are you doing? I try and help you. Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, you can... Okay. 
if you want to go to one that's verified, you can. Just let me, you know, just say so, and, and, and it will. But, you know, don't make me be the deciding factor. If, you, if you're if you like, I want to go to one that's verified, go to one that's verified. Do I have advantage for any particular reason, such as stealth, on the one that isn't verified? I'd say yes, purely because this is a surprise round and they did not cool. notice you. I'm going to go for that one, then. Sure. Okay. Uh, my first attack is a 25 to hit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much health these things have, so I'm going to roll all of my damages first. Uh, I don't have enough of those dice. Did you have like a million? So, uh... A million. It takes... That's the wrong dice. I do, but I don't have it out at the moment. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's going to take nine points of slashing damage. It's going to take uh, nine points of acid damage. Acid. Yep. And three points of poison damage. Okay. Um, as you kind of hack at him. Uh, That's my first attack, by the way. You don't really <laughs> get the sense that the poison is doing much to him. You okay. they kind of... Oh. They definitely feel the... the you know the, the slash of the blade you see like a streak of blood kind of like the flying a, away the acid and you can hear the acid like tss, into cool. their flesh that's what they react to the poison mm. okay. doesn't seem to bother them in, in comparison uh, second attack is natural 20 oh my god right. <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. Go so on, that's a, a 30 to hit yeah. Uh, are we yeah. doing uh, the, new, the updated crit rolls, uh, rules? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Okay. Um, so first things first, this thing's going to so take... So for, for the players that are here, uh, for the, for these crits, uh, I, I started implementing a rule that Laura implements in her... Uh, I think campaign. I also stole from Denny. So Denny, oh, I think okay. she's you do crits. So in your game. I'll yeah. probably... Max damage and then you roll extra. Yeah. It's, is that yeah. Hell yeah. That's what, that's what it's, basically, well. it's basically just yeah. for... There you go. So it, it all came so, full circle, guys. Look no, it's Mira. We <laughs> used it in Call the Nether Deep. So it's Mira so also uses yeah. this crit rule. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't have to explain it. Everyone is very much aware. Okay. We are all... That's funny. Before I roll anything, is communal. Before I roll anything, this crit is going to do uh, 22 points of damage. <laughs> do I need to roll on top of that? Uh, yes, you do. Okay. Easy yes, boys. So I'm going to do 10 points of slashing and 12 points of acid. And then uh, another three points of slashing. Mm -hmm. And another... Six points of acid. Okay. Uh, and then because I crit with the scimitar, mm -hmm. let me check this because fucking pog magic items. Dude, I love pog magic items. My favorite kind of magic items. I like uh, do, 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 Unpog magic items Dragon's are so wrath boring. Weapon. Yeah, like um, uh, so any of the other, any of the other enemies within five feet of this one? Uh, two of them, yeah. They also take five points of acid damage. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> splash uh, damage, bro? It's fucked up. It has splash damage, and also I could make a dragon's breath weapon if I want. I didn't know why. cool like that. Um, all right, yeah, so this this one Is that this... you attack, you, with your scimitar, you, you just kind of, like, carve across its, like, side over its stomach for the first attack, and as it turns towards you, you just take the scimitar again, and just, it, while you're, you know, you, you went for the for the underarm sw swing, and then as you bring your sword back to its original position, you just you just and just decapitate it, and the head goes flying, and the rest of, of this guy's body just. Well, the this floor. one's dead. So that one, yeah, this one is very dead. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action mm -hmm. to stab the nearest one with the flame tongue scimitar. Fucking hell! Uh, would you like to <laughs> hit one of the guys that already got affected by your splash damage then? Yeah, those sure. are closest, like either left or right. It's a 26 to hit. Yes, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let me just double check. Magic weapons. Right? Weapons. We're all shit on Kyrie today. I was checking if it was D6s for the same time. Magic weapons. Yeah, but did you activate it? Uh, five points of slashing damage to this one. 
What are you trying to say, Kogan? I mean, Activision Flame Tongue takes like a photo section or some shit. Is it? Oh, you have to like say a command word, right? You have to, 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 you have like those are just so used to it being on fire that you just assume it always is, and it's like, ah, oh, oh, fuck, hang on. Yeah, hold on a minute. Oh, wait. Is that you? Uh, uh, that's... Oh, uh, oh, the one, the second one that I hit since yeah. the first one died. Um, it has ten foot less movement. Okay. Because fuck that guy. Good to know. If it's the sucks, first one sucks. was still alive, it would have disadvantage because I crit it, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I fuck, is monster. that you done? Because, Jesus Christ, man, that was a... Yes, that, <laughs> that is, that that is, is a surprise turn and a half. Three attacks. Um, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, Wilhelm, what are you doing? Uh, I fucking, I see the, there's the big fairy fire happen. I'm just gonna fucking fuck the stealth, gonna make myself just big. Uh, come on, you beasties! And just fucking, <laughs> the nearest one that's got fairy fire on it, fucking just going in, great sword up and just going. Go for it. Wow, that is dog shit rolls. 19. Oh, that hits. Don't worry. Okay. 19 is dog shit? Okay, I have yeah, I mean, like plus, plus a million to hit, right? I have like, plus 13 to hit. You have plus 13 <laughs> to <laughs> hit? Dude. What the fuck? Well, okay. I have strength. a belt of fire kind yeah. that makes my strength 25. I then have a plus two greatsword. Oh <laughs> so, that shouldn't see, shame. He <laughs> took <laughs> strength away. <laughs> Oh, oh, magic he's items. just committing to the fucking Sean Connery bit, dude. <laughs> he he took. <laughs> fucking... Gosh, I got so many magic items. <laughs> he took strength magic items. I took. And you have an advantage, right, on this magic one? Because yeah, I have an advantage on this. Yeah, so so now, uh, fucking hell. And because I'm, uh, so this is gonna be a heavy strike as well. So I now do an extra plus two damage on this. And because I'm a bear, I roll an extra one d six on top of my two d six. I yeah. think. I think. Go on. I think it's yeah, School of the Bear is all about just big weapons. Oh, I have yeah. to hit yeah. hard. Big man, hit big hard. Yeah. Let me just double check. That is just Did one you extra. Hand, or you, want, you do two-handed two -handed swords, right? Or two-handed weapons. I can. Right? I can. But or I have to like two-hand everything yeah. to it be yeah, like, so good. Yeah. So when you um, uh, yeah. When you look at walking down the street, there's two motherfuckers with like two great swords, one in each hand. I so which sword are you using currently? What's the damage die for it? Oh, it's it's two d six, so it's nationwide. Okay, so it's it's three d six. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. I mean, I made the stroke because if I use the great axe, right, that's a d twelve. So the next damage die up is technically a d twenty. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. No, 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 Dan, no, 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 no. I talked to well, that. We like, talked about fucking this. And I was no, like, no, no. You're not doing that. <laughs> um, so not that is uh, nineteen points of damage on the first one. God damn! All right. And I'm I'm just gonna start swinging again. Do it. Uh, that's a 23. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic me rolling, I rolled two dice, and I, it's both two shit numbers that are very similar. <laughs> yeah, but with your plus 13 to hit, that... Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, literally anything will hit, pretty much. Uh, then he... Oh, oh, I'm gonna punish he... you if you ever roll a natural one. Ooh, I great... know, right? I know, right? Uh... Will make him hard. We. Oui. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's 24 points of damage. Okay. One. Also, you used to, I forgot to add the extra two on, on the first hit, so you used to do another two points of damage. Because okay. it's also heavy. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus uh, action use uh, my my Quen. So the first hit against me will I'll have resistance on it. Okay, very good. Uh, RMZ? What would you like okay. to do with your surprise round? Who ever has not been hit yet, if anyone, or if anyone, if everyone's been hit, whoever is the least fucked up? Um, there's two that have not been uh, injured yet, one of which is under the effect of the fairy fire. So there's one of them is like glowing this bright red, making him a very easy I'll target. I'll go for that one. I don't need it because I'm cool, but <laughs> I'll go for the fairy fire one because it's shiny. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, RMZ is going to reach over her shoulder. Cloak. She's going to pat set on the head on the way real quick and then reach over her cloak, take a star off of it, and just toss it up in the air. 
and magic missiles on. are gonna hit the fairy fired. Ooh. Fifth level magic missile for Just him. Just auto hit. Fifth, Fifth level? level? Fuck me. Yep. What a what a great spell or great Fuck magic me. item. That's sick. What the hell? Fifth level, ma fifth level magic missile is just like the wizard equivalent equivalent of a block. Yes. Yeah. Eighteen damage to 18 that Eighteen points of damage as these like just missiles just come out of your come out of this like small star and just 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 shoot across, just just leaving and... small like holes in this guy's body. We just had a charity donation. Hold up! Stop presses! What? Stop presses! Hold up! Twenty pounds. Hold up. Hell yeah. Uh, toss a coin to your progress. Oh, uh, that's appreciate cute. You, uh, Sammy, I'm assuming that's you. Um, for the sake of this one shot, if you want to give any of the players or me DM inspiration, uh, you can. Um, because yeah. you donated. You so, uh, or what? I was just saying, advantage roll. Not everyone knows what DM inspiration is. Yeah, just an, an, an advantage roll. Yeah. Or I think DM inspiration is more a point of luck, right? Where... Yeah. It, 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 oh, I oh, do I get the inspiration? Oh, well, that's oh nice of you. Exciting. Thank you. Oh, oh, so this is one of those. So that's going to be at your Witcher. <laughs> FYI, the next incentives right. we're working towards. If we hit eleven hundred, um, Honey Droplets has to stream. I think this is a horror game, like something called. It says Momodora stream. Momodora. I don't know if that's a game or if that's like a character. But anyway, and then Swede has to do. A gauntlet stream, which is where he has to complete like five really hard challenges across like five different games before he can like end the stream or something like that. It's crazy. And at twelve hundred, Koiba, Ethan, along with Soko from Dungeon Select and Bowdy have to do a four-way Pokemon randomizer oh race. So that's Sounds gonna be like fun. Twelve hundred is gonna be real fun if we can hit it. Right. Um, so that's thank you so much for that donation. Uh, back to our uh, Witcher shenanigans. As these these these, these Magic missiles just appear oh. out of thin air. It almost seems just completely level. just leaving these like small holes in this in this one drowner's body. It just kind of looks at you. Just <laughs> anything else you would like to do? You uh, that was your action, action. I'm assuming. Is are the improved signs still bonus action? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So yeah. it should say. Okay, so then... don't yeah. oh, it, it was. They, it's because you've leveled those instead of taking another one. They're still right. Bonus. Okay. No. Um. Then. I'm going to do my improved Quinn. So my first two attacks that I get hit with will be halved. Nice. And so uh, this is the better sure version of what, uh, what uh, Wilhelm uh, did. Yeah, my, <laughs> mine's also improved, but I for gore. That's uh, fine. fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So both of you, the next two attacks against you will have, yep. you have resistance too. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, then last, but certainly not least, uh, Corneal, what would you like to do with your surprise round? All right, I remove the shield that I've had on my back and chuck it in the mm. air as a bonus action. And it animates and floats around me, uh, preparing to defend me. That sounds um, dope. And I'm going to begin moving in. Fire conjures up my hand, and I'm going to uh, fireball at one of the ones uh, that has fairy fire active on it. Okay. Absolutely. Ooh. And that's going to be... Oh, crap! <laughs> Nice. No way, dude! All right, Hell yeah. Yeah. big pop. Hell yeah! Thank I mean, goodness shit. for the advantage. There you All go. Right. So that's gonna be twenties, baby. So that's gonna be a total of thirty-two fire damage. Mother, what? Yeah, because it's uh, 2d10 for my fire bolts. Fuck it. So hell. twenty <laughs> off the bat, and then I rolled twelve. Jesus Christ. Uh, We'll say that this happens at the same time because technically, you know, like all like a round is like six seconds. Uh, so while you see this, like these 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 magic missiles just shooting at this one um, this one drowner that is currently like lit up by this red uh, light, you shoot two. Uh, I think you shoot two fireballs, right? It's like two beams of uh, firebolts. Uh, uh, it's just one. It's just enhanced as you oh, get okay, higher okay, in okay. levels. Okay, okay, okay. So you shoot one like beam of fire, and it kind of like starts to circle around the magic missiles and they all impact at the same time and you just completely just pff, obliterate this drowner it doesn't even get a chance to utter a sound it's just this like explosion blood and 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 gross bits just kind of like raining down over the rest of these drowners but that one that you two targeted is no longer with us it's completely just they start snacking on deleted. the remains of their friends 
cool. Would you like any uh, anything with your bonus action? Uh, a bonus action to animate oh, the, the shield. The shield. I'll right, move right. In that 30 case, feet forward, and that's it. In that case, the other four drowners that still remain definitely uh, notice your presence at this time as you <laughs> eradicate a two of them right off the bat. So I'd oh, like yeah. for you all to roll initiative, please. Oh, that's garbage. Classic. Yeah, garbage. I'm good at these, hopefully. Ooh, my mm, goodness. I'm great at these. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to use the cleric dice. Fourteen. That one incoming. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I so fucking hate Backwards you. East Mara. I rolled really well, so... Uh... I did Bad not. Damn it. <laughs> They're going to have their revenge. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I know what Ethan just rolled. I think I may have called it. All right. Uh, do we have any initiative of 20 or above? All right. 15 to 20. 19. 19 um, for Wilhelm. 17. 19 for Willy. 17. Why Willy? Hang on. <laughs> 17, because I'm 12 years old. 17 oh, I see. <laughs> for Corneal. For Corn. Big lump of knobs. Um, <laughs> I've got the firebolt. <laughs> True. Uh, anyone else? 15 to 20? Going once, going twice. 10 to 15. 14. 14 for REMZ. 5 to 10. 7. <laughs> Seven, four, I like three, how Ari's one. probably half your height, but you just rolled half her initial. Natural one for Dand? <laughs> going once? Going twice? Yeah. Right. Looks like it's a major total. Oh, that one, baby. Five. five, but it's a natural one. I got the cleric dice out, and I'm like, these dice have only ever three. <laughs> and then Koi was like, not one in common. I fucking roll it. Fucking pulls a one, doesn't it? Hell yeah. Okay. Why should you kill everyone's rolls? Great. Uh, with that said... The first thing that's happening is because two of you are right in its like in this group like in the slap bang in the middle of this group of drowners uh one of the drowners there is going to turn towards uh demond and um is going to make two attacks with their claws these very sharp so I got a nat one. Can I choose to just let him fucking kill me and then? Go sure, man. Is that, is that what you want? Um, <laughs> Reroll yeah. another richer character. I rolled. I did yeah. a koiba. Do you hit your numbers? No, just do the same numbers. Uh, seventeen to hit and seventeen to hit. Nope. So these two claws just, and then you manage to kind of just like duck out of the way because of your, your more dexterous nature and your your lighter armor and your just dexterous, fast reflexes, quick on your feet. Uh, still goes last in the initiative, though. You know, I don't know how that makes sense, but here you go. Um, yeah, that nerfed. is okay. that is their turn. Uh, another one of the drowners I'm is going to do the way. same exact thing, but to uh, Wilhelm, who's also there. Really cringe, actually. Uh, that would be a your cringe. Eighteen and a seventeen to hit. Misses. There you go. Wait, did you roll with advantage for the first set because? No. DM inspiration. Oh, it's true. Well, he can do that oh, so oh, whenever he wants. He that. could be saving the DM inspiration tonight? for something else. <laughs> it's worry. against me. Why it's are you? Coming. It's coming. I don't have to use it right away. We're hey. protecting hey. you. Uh, so these both attacks also miss. So you, you instead yeah, of like die. the more dexterous ducking, you just let it hit me. I'm like brute force it. It's the claws like swipe across your armor, but because you are you're wearing heavy armor, it just it just like scratches the armor. But that's about it. Um, another one of the drowners, uh, one of the oh, two that was already like kind of like splashed by the, um, the acid is going to also turn to Demond and is also just going to make two claw attacks, man. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, see now that's better. First one is a 21 to hit. Yeah. Yeah, Second that one is. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna use my DM inspiration for this one. Okay. Uh, second one is a 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Got that that hit DM inspiration gone. Inspiration. Well, what am I gonna do about it? I'm last in the initiative, so. <laughs> True. 
Uh... You're just still getting over the fact that you forgot to light your sword on fire. You're like, fuck. <laughs> so Damage is there looking at his sword as he gets stabbed. Yeah. Proper <laughs> full on Witcher. Fuck. You take 19 fuck. points of slashing damage. Cool. Oh. And uh, you are considered grappled. Fucked. So one it. of them, one, he just. Is this is this Dutch getting his revenge for me no, playing it's a just, grappler? You know, you get attacked by the claw attack. If it hits, you're auto grappled. It's just kind of the way it goes, man. Claw. Sometimes, it, sometimes it'd be like that. What a coincidence! So it now has you like it kind of like has like wrapped one of both of its arms around your body. It just has you has a hold of you, and you can see him slowly trying to like drag you towards the water. Is what you notice? Like what he's slowly trying to drag you to, towards the water with him. Um, How dare he? But now, <laughs> Wilhelm, it's Hello. your go. It's your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> nice. So it is the one, is the one that I was attacking previously still there, or did that get one get killed as well? The one that I you were attacking for. previously? Yeah. Uh, it's still there, but barely. <laughs> barely. Well, you know what time it is. <laughs> go on, lad. Uh, I've got. I still got Levana right from. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Before you do that. Uh, because we are now officially in uh, initiative, and you uh, started your turn within five feet of a drowner, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. No bueno. Fifteen. Maybe no going bueno. last was 15? a good idea. Yeah. It's a fail. Fuck. You are suddenly you can feel your lungs are filling with water as you are suddenly beginning to drown. You are it's considered clean restrained. From the inside out. What the fuck? So at the start of your turn, you suddenly feel your lungs filling with water and you can't move. You're, you're, you're considered restrained. Oh, no. Oh, oh I no. don't like that. You know those water fountains, the way I like, there's just a, a statue, like, water splurting out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, this is Wilhelm right now. Well, so now, okay, this does change things. Because yeah, yeah. now I don't have advantage because I, I just have a rigor roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, so close to being amazing. It's only a 21. Oh, that hits. That's crazy. Crazy, dude. Uh, uh, that's kind of dodgy as well, actually. Um, actually, See, this is a problem right now because playing this while listening also to the like blood and wine DLC soundtrack, I'm like <laughs> I really want to play the Witcher game right now because I've never wait, played wait it in a few months <laughs> because there's like a, a remaster coming out in a few months. Uh, I will. Plus, like Ragnarok just came out, at, so that's that's me. Oh, done I started playing today. It's so good. Um, <clears throat> Don't tell me anything. Uh, that's 18 points of damage. 18. Yeah. As you are, you feel your lungs just starting to fill with water. You manage to like swing your sword and just knock its head clean off, and the body collapses before you. But your lungs are still being filled up. Is there any more still within five feet? Cause am I still technically restrained? Uh, yes, and there's one that walked up to you to attack you. So there's one. Well, more your, I uh... can attack that one because I can't move, but I can attack that one. <laughs> yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> Is that one fairy fired? Uh, negative. Both the fairy fired ones are dead. So I, I get disadvantage then on this attack. Okay. I mean, nineteen to hit. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I have disadvantage. <laughs> I, <laughs> rolled a, I rolled a six <laughs> and a nine. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> yeah. Very nice. But guys, <laughs> the lowest I can roll was a 14. <laughs> okay, leave me alone. <laughs> no, big smelly okay. man funny. Uh, God, you really... God fucking damn. Uh, eight. 19 points of damage. Uh, it's going to use its reaction uh, to uncanny dodge. <laughs> Oh, so it's going to just cut the damage in half. Um, so what a cunt! Is nine points of damage half? Yeah. Fucking a drowner rogue. <laughs> How about? I mean, you know, when D and Dfying monsters from video it. games, they you know sometimes they get perks that we do know from D and D. You know, to spice it up a bit. What can I fucking do as a player section? What have I got? What have I got? I don't know, man. Fuck all. Fuck all. Got I've got nothing sign. left. I could do my sign again, but... Well, uh, Koib is thinking. Does everyone want to see my impression of Wilhelm? Uh-oh. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, I hate it here. I hate it here. No, soon. that... No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. Rude. I won't quen up. It's not... I don't think it's worth it just yet. 
Does the Quen you uh, expire after your turn? It a verbal component. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What does it say? Because, uh, it's the first to it says you have to use your bonus action to refresh right. it. It doesn't say to maintain it. Okay. Um, so, for instance, if you were hit once, you could be like, oh, I'll just refresh it real quick. That's more of like, okay, no, I get it, I get it. Okay. The first hit, yeah. So, yeah, I don't need to refresh my queen. Okay. We have to wait a fucking turn to redo it anyways. Mm -hmm. it's a, it, says after... it says after you take damage, so it's not It says, it says my after curve. you take damage, you have take to damage. reactivate the power on your following turn. Well, yeah. I'm not taking damage, and I can take so two bits before I, I have to reactivate it, it. So Yeah, no, it lasts then in that case, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then okay. I... Yeah, don't, can't do it. I'm just going to stay where I am because I can't move, and I'm just going to be drowning. Alrighty. Cornel. Be drowning. <laughs> um... At this point, both of the uh, fairy-fired individuals are dead, aren't they? Correct. Yes. All right. Um, well, uh, is there any particular creature that seems most damaged? Um, none of them look really bloodied, no. Um, all of no, them have a, a few scratches on them, but none of them look more injured than the other, per se. Right, and I suppose nothing's really struck anybody aside from... Wait a minute, no. Uh, Jamond is being dragged away, isn't he? Yeah, it? one of them is grappling uh, Demond and is grappled. seemingly Demond. trying to pull him towards the water, yeah. All right, let's target that one. Okay. I'm about to get shot in the head with a nut one. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only fire. Only fire. It's another crit! Hold yeah, on, sure, hold on. Dude. <laughs> I, hold on, I've got a camera here. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Dude. Okay, you. This is this is a hard shot to try. Uh, hold on, I gotta take it off the damn thing. <laughs> Come here, you damn we camera. We believe you, man. It's fine. Don't this worry this about is it. why I took a photo of my not one. I just. Uh, I love it. The this pure is panic. Look at this. Oh look, look at that. That's not a number. Where's six? Where's six? What the hell? What? What is that dice uh, from? Is that like... Is that uh, dice? Is that, it's either Crystal oh, Maggie or You Are Wizards, I would guess. What he doesn't reveal uh, is that's actually on the 1, not the 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn Which it. Dice it's a that? fucking firebolt through the brain. Alright, well, shit. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I hold on. Let's roll that, that damage. Is. I'll, well, so I'll get you that information after I remember. Okay. Uh, so you it's going to be 28 fire. Remember. 28 points of fire damage? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hell Christ. yeah. Uh... <laughs> This creature just takes his firebolt to the face and <laughs> definitely looking bloody at this, at this point, but still has a hold of, of Demond and is still trying to just get him closer to the water. He's really hungry, I'm, huh? I'm, I'm going to move 30 feet closer to the water myself, but still kind of like strafe around the mm -hmm. combat. Yeah, yeah you, you took enough distance for you to be able to do that. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, bonus action? Great question. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't think I have anything at range I could really bonus action, so I'm good. You good? Alrighty. Uh, REMZ. So if I was within 30 feet, like in that first like stealthed group, how far is the one that is uh, dragging friend away? That would be about 30 feet away. 30 feet. Okay. That's amazing. They were all relatively close together. They were all kind of like, uh, in, they were all kind of circled around these two bodies that they dragged towards the beach. So they were all roughly in the same in the same area. Uh, there's like five feet between each one, pretty much. Um, hey, remind me, two weapon fighting I, means I can use a bonus action to use my second weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you make an attack with but your I as an action. You add... make your attack with your main hand, and then with yes. two weapon fighting, you use your bonus action to make a swing with your off hand, but you don't add yeah. your Proficiency, proficiency bonus to no. damage, to right? damage, yeah. Yes, okay. you do. But you yes, do? you do. You do. You Wait, what is it you don't... You do, there's something that you don't add. You, no, yeah, so, normally you don't, so normally you don't add your stat to the damage. So uh -huh. if it, your main hand would be like 1d8 plus dexterity, your mm -hmm. off hand would just be a flat 1d8. Right. However, School of the Viper and School of the Cat do... There you go. Because it's our special Ooh. thing. Because that's your so thing. You, so, so you, you just attack as normal. So you just attack as normal oh. then. Beautiful. All right. So I guess I'll run up to Butthead that's trying to Butthead. attack. Trying to drag friend away. 
Okay. And first hit's gonna be my short sword of wounding. Are they, are okay. they both short swords? One's a short sword, one's a dagger. Because I think, I don't know if you've added this or not. Technically, you get a plus one to hit when you're dual wielding. Or school to cat? Yeah. What is your attack bonus usually? Like, how do you so, derive be, that? What's your dexterity? My dex is 16. Plus three. So, plus, plus three. three. Plus four for proficiency bonus would make it plus seven. So yep. then and I then... have not added that, so it's a plus eight to hit. Yes. So that puts me at 19. That to does hit. hit. And short sword of wounding is 1d6 plus threes. Ugh. Uh, five. <laughs> um, it, but it, he, if any friends have any healing, f bad boy, uh, it won't work because it can only oh, because be recovered from short right, or long right. rests. Nice. Um, oh, and it takes 1d4 necrotic damage at the start of its turn, of its next turn. each time I've wounded it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think there is there a saving throw involved in that because uh, uh, there Kai is in after the one d four damage they can make they a can DC roll to see if the wound lasts con right, that's how that or works. medicine check yeah to see if it keeps going yes yeah yeah, yeah. okay beautiful. so for now five damage and then next turn will be one d four and then can make the saving yeah okay second beautiful. hit is with my dagger you get my two dagger. hits with your you get two attacks well. with your main weapon. We're oh, level, is that? You get two level ten, so you get you get your attack action is one two, and then your bonus action is one. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> um, I don't think a twelve hits though. Uh, no, a twelve does not hit. No. Okay, and then you're, dagger. You're basically doing the same as what Denim does in combat with the dual wielding. Oh, dagger hits. Dagger is twenty three to hit. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Let's see if that hits. It also says one d six plus three. I, I don't know what it's, it's a special dagger. technically 1d4. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. Do you have a normal dagger? It's a silver dagger. Uh, I don't yeah, know. No, that should just be normal. I don't know why it would say plus uh, 1d6. I don't know why you have a dagger because I'm pretty sure School of the Cat you would have. you. It gives you two short swords. I wanted but. a dagger. Yeah, I mean, if she chose a dagger. Because my character and... wouldn't walk around with yeah. two short swords. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she just chose to have a dagger instead, but that would be a d4 instead yeah. of d6 as a, as a damage die, yeah. Um, I'm doing yeah, everything I can to help, okay? That's fine, it's fine. It's <laughs> four piercing, but since it's silvered, you know. This is only the warm up fight, guys. You guys gotta relax. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, was that it's there, four like, points the of the piercing damage? Were in. Yeah, four piercing. Okay. But like so I no... said, it's a silvered it's, dagger, you're, so. you're just like hacking away at this at this. Uh, at this drowner, and it's it's it's, it's barely friend. it's clinging on for dear life, <laughs> and now it's starting to look like it still has uh, Demon grappled, but instead of like brute forcing him towards the beach, now it's more of like it's hanging on to him so that it doesn't completely <laughs> fall over from all the just, the just wounds that it, it's that has been afflicted with over the past like six seconds, but it is still alive <laughs> barely. It's but it's still alive. <laughs> uh, is that well, your turn? That's, yep, that's, that's what I got. Hey, Brianna? Oh, all right. Whatever one is closest to me, doesn't matter who's left, gonna take my super <laughs> big, like, almost absurd level, Final Fantasy character level size, uh, Paragon Greatsword mm -hmm. off my back, and... Did you get a melee the... with them, uh, with your surprise round? I forgot. I did not, so I need it's to get not. into melee with them now. Okay, okay. That's good, because, um... Good. You don't start your turn in melee with them, no, which I didn't, is good yeah. for you. Because all I did in the surprise round was cast Fairy Fire from 30 feet away. So, All right. Uh, I Ooh, will attack prepared. with my Great Sword and mm -hmm. Fast Style. Uh, I'll let you choose. which. There's one that is currently, uh, you know, the one dragging uh, uh, Demon away, who's looking like it's, yeah. it's clinging on for dear life. Okay. There is one uh, wailing... <laughs> on um, Wilhelm, and there's one more kind of like adjacent to uh, to the to, to Demond. So there's two of them on Demond, one of them on. on I'll go the for the Demond. ones on Demond, especially the one who, if there's one who looks like he's already pretty close to the edge. 
finish him off. Yeah. So mercy, mercy the first attack is a 23 to hit. Yeah. And the second one is a I, 13. Let's just roll damage for the first attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this is two. Guys, uh, definitely uh, running on fumes, great. as they say. So, um... There we go. <laughs> Uh, oh, almost max damage. So 16 oh slashing damage. You just, while this thing is still trying to just sor sort of drag Demon away, you, yeah. uh, it's a great sword, you said? Yes. <laughs> you just like overhead swing your great sword and just going right past Demon's head, just cleave the head, in, <laughs> the head of the drowner in two and pull the sword okay. out and it finally lets go of them and then just <laughs> falls down Good. to the floor get out of here but Demond, you're, you're no longer grappled so can i use my second attack because there was two near Demond then mm -hmm. all right i already rolled for it so it was a i rolled a natural two but plus 11 so 13 <laughs> does not hit unfortunately as i figured yeah couldn't get the heavy sword swung around in time. Take some nah. maneuvering. Mm -hmm. uh, um, any bonus actions? I don't think so. I don't think I need to use a bonus action. I'll say because we only have four uses of our, our. Do our Witcher signs come back in a short rest or a long rest? Blech, rest. Long rest. Uh, yeah. I now, believe. Uh, have a peek as well because I have not had this document open since the last time we played. I don't think you get. I think you get unlimited Witcher signs. I'll be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I think Witcher do. signs I, four on my sheet. Signs so I don't cannot, know what be, that means. Uh, cannot be used consecutively. However, one sign is used. Uh, oh, yeah, as, long as, you, okay. as long as you rotate them, so you can't use two yeah. back to back. You need to like kind of rotate them. Yeah, I know what the four That's meant is like for how many signs I know. But instead of knowing four, yeah. I know two improved yeah. signs. Yeah. That's what I. Okay. Yeah. So gotcha. you can you can um, you can't spam the same one over and over again. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, yeah. use a sign each turn. You just have to then vary it. A bit. Oh, then then fuck it. Go uh, with ahead and some use exceptions, it. if you like empower some of them, you you do get the chance to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Using fuck it, button. I'll go ahead and use a Quen sign, I guess, then. Fuck so, it. Uh, fan favorites, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's so that's useful, why. you yeah. know? The best one. <laughs> All, All right. right, so I'll do that, and that's me. All right, uh, last but not least, Demond. Definitely <laughs> least. Uh, because you still start your turn into, in melee with one of them, I would like for you oh, to make no. a constitution saving throw. A con save? Yes. But anything that gives me any advantage on this? No. And um, I'm not great at these. Oh, I am great at these. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that's a 23. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Nothing happens. I, don't even I was looking anything. at saving throws and I was like minus three, and then I was like, oh, that's charisma. That makes so much sense. <laughs> My boy is sitting at a five charisma, baby. You all wonder why he's quiet. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm. There's one in melee with me, right? Yeah, there's yeah, one. There Sorry, yeah. I'm laughing at something that happened in chat. Uh, no, Who did I it? Saw, I saw. I Who saw. Did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? It wasn't me. I don't even know how. This I, is know exactly. I know exactly. I know who it was. I know who it was. I would assume it has to be Duke. Like... Uh, so, uh... <laughs> yeah. so this boy in melee with me is getting the wombo combo treatment. Go on. Is there any way I can position myself to give myself advantage? Uh, yeah, you can kind of shuffle around and be flanking with uh, Brianna. Brianna oh, is also the of this, this uh, dude in the back of the ribs. Drowner. Uh, oh, that's cocked, bitch. That was nearly a natural twenty. Uh, double sixes, so sixteen to hit. Uh, both of them hit, yeah. No, that's my first. Oh, attack. you were, sorry, yeah, with advantage. So yeah, it hits. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to bother rolling the poison. Uh, so, eight points of slashing. Yes. And four points of acid damage. Mm -hmm. Second attack is an actual 19. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, six points of slashing, another four points of acid damage. Mm -hmm. Bonus action attack with... Flame tongue not lit up. Not lit. Not lit at all. Uh, you have a bonus 20... action because you could 
light it up, right? If you wanted to. This is my bonus action. Oh, it's true. I'm stupid. Stab with it. I'm I could light ugly. it up, but I can't be bothered. I'm gonna stab okay. with it. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Yes. Uh, and another shit roll. Uh, so that is five points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. I've gone from massive damage to fucking mid. Um, such as the duality of dice rolls. But because I have uh, the slasher feet, this thing now has 10 foot less movement. Okay. Very good. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay. Let me go back to the top of the initiative order. With two drowners left standing, the one that is in melee with Wilhelm is going to take another two swipes at him. Uh, you're at max HP. You're at full HP, right, Wilhelm? Mm-hmm. Wait, was I... Well, what I don't think... I have restrained, right? You're restrained, yeah. So they do get a You get advantage. Yeah. Drowning. <laughs> you do get an advantage. Uh, let's say 16 plus 5, 21 to hit. Yeah, that fucking hits. Second one is a dirty 20 to hit. That yeah, hits. <laughs> no, it's so sad. But I get resistance to both of these, so it's fine. True. Yeah, uh, oh my resistance. god, I rolled out of my fucking ass. Uh, first attack oh, is good. 13, <laughs> halved to 6 because of your six. resistance and your first charge of your Quen. Second one is uh, 11, so 5. Points of damage. I have a. I just have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Are these are these magical like slashing? <laughs> He's no. finally They're figured just... it out, chat. Cool. He's been wasting his bonus actions. Cool. Uh, I resist yeah. all. No. He has resistance to non-magic bludgeoning, <laughs> piercing, and slashing yeah. because he's a bear warrior. So oh, he's been <laughs> using his bonus action to quen, and it makes no difference. I don't know if it's going to be some other shit, because sometimes it's like, oh, they're magical clothes. And it's like, but oh. Quen gives him a nice little shiny bubble around him, and his yeah, armor makes you feel look, good. See, now good. he looks okay. pretty and clean right. for so one. Does, does Quen does hold in the smell? Use up both of your, uh, <laughs> no, your instead, boosts of Quen, I guess. They're both instead gone of, now, but... Instead of, like, a white, my Wilhelm's one's brown. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. There's some weird stains um, on his Quen You're just pig pen. <laughs> 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 Next up is uh, the other drowner because I literally rolled the lowest initiative. For, I rolled for them is like a natural seventeen or some shit. So they're all very. Uh, Jesus. Uh, is going to attack Brianna. How rude! Wait, no, it's not. It's going to focus hey! on Demond because I don't Demond. Are you at max HP right now? Nope. There you go. Yeah, because it gets not advantage any. because of a perk spiked. called Blood Frenzy. So they get advantage from I'm bleeding, creatures which gives that a raising hard on do not have all of the hit points. Natural 20! Uh, oh. Cool, cool, cool. And... Uh-oh. Uh, 19 to hit. Uh, the 19 just hit. Yes, Austin. Okay. So for the natural 20, you take a base of 12. 15. That'll be fine. Uh, plus 7 is 22 for the natural 20. Cool. Slashing damage. Cool. Uh, and the second attack is 10 points of slashing damage. Cool. I'm officially bloodied. And you're also grappled again. <laughs> cool. Oh, <fucking> guy. <laughs> cool. Uh, but that is its turn. Uh, William. Am I still uh, drowning? You are restrained and still drowning. Don't make uh, I would like still for you drowning. at the start of your turn to make another... Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Targus must repeat the saving throw at the end of its next turn. So you have a turn. Whatever you can do while, while restrained, but you do have a turn. Well, then fucking... At least you don't have to quen. There's, there's fucking dickhead in front of me. I'm gonna fucking hit him! Go on. Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I hate my life. Oh, a couple of... You're killing me, Quaver. Your boy got a 19, and your boy also got a 1. Let's go! <laughs> the opposite way, usually. So, uh, 14 Definitely doesn't hit. 14 to hit? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Only okay. just. It's only a, just. It's a nat 1. It's a nat 1, so it misses regardless. Fuck you. <laughs> Punish him. Punish him. He's no. already drowning, man. He's I'm drowning, dude. Punished enough. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that number? Uh, that... We'll make it a uh, 22 to hit. Yes. Cool, 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 
cool, cool, cool. That's cool. wheel. <clears throat> yas, yas, Quinn. Uh, yas, Quinn. He's just encouraging that's, himself. Over yeah, there. literally. Uh, that's twenty points of damage. Ooh, baby. All right. Ooh, spicy. Very good. That's actually very low roll. <laughs> Big is that your uh your turn? And I will uh I can't even think I can best actually do anything. Oh right. I can. Oh. You know what? Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Okay. I can I can bonus action Igni. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll do that. Why yeah. Uh, Igni involves a deck save. Horny's not the only 15, one with firepower. Fifteen foot cone doing one d eight fire. It doesn't actually say. I think it's I a. I believe we decided on it being a death save. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it'd be, it'd be a whiz save. If a save throws required, it's a save is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh no. Wait. Well, no. no what? We. No. So before we last decided session, that yeah. for Igni, oh, we decided that deck uh, save. Would be a deck yes, save. That makes sense. That makes Equal sense. Equal to whatever uh, DC based on your normal spell uh, save DC. Yeah. Cool. A 13. Just makes the save. <laughs> mine is literally the low. Uh, mine is 12. Oh, really? So... That's Because it's 8 plus proficiency plus wisdom. I have no wisdom bonus. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so it's 12. Uh, so it. And this is improved. So it does 2d8. Yeah, we'll say that. And this, we're uh, it. If yeah. it's improved, the half, half is 25 feet. I would aim it like. So it like just goes uh, off to the Am I about wild. to get a bit warm? No, I'll aim no. it so yeah, it goes to the wilderness. The one I'm still close to it. So. No, it's, no, it's, it's going it's... fucking. I fucking like clip it that way. So all in, all the trees on fire. It's fine. No, you're aiming it towards <laughs> the water. By the and you're speech, fine. So exactly. well, I'm, 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 I'm making damage. some glass. All your damage. Uh, nine Please. points of damage. Half to two. Okay, so four. Four. Okay, I mean it's looking pretty rough, man. You're you're getting there. Thanks. Good job, it's buddy. It's cold out. It might not be that bad to be on fire. True. Yeah, true. Uh, could make you a... make that uh, a con save for me now, please, at the end of your turn? Yeah. I can. Mm -hmm. We can have fried fish for dinner tonight. 13. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> uh... I'm just going to die from drowning before like I get anything else happens to me. You dropped the zero hit points. <laughs> <laughs> wow! He drowned on land. He dropped... <laughs> Woo! You, you only need two inches of yeah. water. To just stands there and with his oh, last just, like just swings one more time with the sword, lets out an igni, and then you, just. Am I sure from zero? You straight up just died the way that was one of the favorite ways. Um, uh, my first camping one character would kill people, drown them on dry land with control water, and all you yeah. do is hold a little bit of water over their nose and mouth. You uh, and drown you anyone on dry land. land. You drop the zero hit points, so you are considered unconscious. Am I making like yeah. death saves on Is he currently like, still drowning as am well? I stable? Am I stable? Am I stable or am I like making death saves? Uh, no, this is a uh, like death save territory on your next turn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. With that out of the way. Uh, oh yeah. Shut up. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, that was this was the guy next to you. No, this was your turn. I'm stupid. Yep. Um, so that would be Quinil. Um, okay. So uh, is is there still a drowner next to um, uh, Wilhelm? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, fantastic. Looking, looking See, bloodied, but uh, it, it is still there. Yeah. I'm going to firebolt that guy, and I'm going to, hopefully, if it goes down, I'm going to begin moving in to try and save Wilhelm. Okay. And then also... Pinch my nose, I guess. Um, <laughs> Give him mouth to mouth. To mouth. <laughs> it's a life, baby. Is that third time? No. The die shot. giveth, the die taketh oh, away. <laughs> it's oh. that one. I was gonna oh, say. Oh no! Like, this was another crit. Served. My God. No. Oh no! Does that mean he hits? He hits Wilhelm instead. <laughs> Thankfully, he <laughs> fell down. <laughs> No, because that would be disadvantaged technically because it's a ranged attack on someone that's prone. So like, we're not going to go into Is that. Is there mess, a point right? in like? So we'll just say that uh, <laughs> you shoot your fireball, but it kind of just one. like gets dragged. Very strange. It kind of gets carried away by the wind, and it just slams into the ruins of a house, setting one of the houses on fire. 
of like one of the, the, the <laughs> remains of a house on fire. And, you know, it's just gonna, Midget kinda just stopped being on fire this house and the you two made it back The on. two survivors that were huddled in the corner <laughs> of this house. Come running out. Um, Everybody, get down. They're back. They're lighting the houses on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you'd like to do with the turn? <laughs> um, I... I'm going to continue skirting around the combat oh. to try and get closer to Wilhelm. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? Try being the operative word. Hmm. At this point, could I get could I get into the melee, actually, instead and actually engage? I don't know if it's been enough turns for me to get close enough. Uh, You wanted to be at 100 feet max. So if we say you were at 90 and, and you, used been... your, you could have, yeah, you could this turn use the rest of your movement or the full movement to get into melee with this guy, if you wanted to. Sure, all right, let's do it. And then I'm going to hop into the melee, and I'm going to use my bonus action to Axie and touch one of the drowners. Ooh. I'm going to need you to make an intelligence saving intelligence? throw. Intelligence? These intelligence. things are stupid. What do you mean? Hey, there we go. That's an 11. I, that comes out to a total of... 17. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I rolled an 11. That comes out to a total of uh, 9. So, um... <laughs> Um, so that one's stunned. Okay. Good. So it just kind of stares at you and it has like this haze over his eyes and just kind of... That's what I made you so Idiots. Things are about to become very bad for you in a matter of seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath you, he's drowning. <laughs> like the reverse of what he's going through. <laughs> so what else you'd like to do with your turn? But... No, I, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. I just love the idea... Corneal just like stunning a monster and then standing there and explaining what's going to happen. <laughs> just just oh, yeah. Okay, so, this is how it's going to go down. If this were, minute's if really important for you. If in a moment, barge, this would this would be it. Uh, are we in a moment, please? Demon's going to stab you. So we have Rayona a stunned one him. and what else? Uh, the one over, like leaning over. Uh, There's one currently uh, grappling me. Is can I be be even? Are you okay? No. 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 God. <laughs> I love the sound of your voice as much as the next guy, but fucking shut it. God damn. No. <laughs> uh, so there's one currently in melee with uh, Brianna and Demond, and there's one currently in melee with a unconscious Wilhelm and a Corneal that just got into its melee. So the one in melee with Brianna and Demond should be in melee with me. Sorry? I went to go... I don't know why oh, yeah, my no, you did uh, walk yeah, up close. So I you went would also to be... go... Oh, in that case. Yeah. I would like for you, yeah. because you started to turn a melee with one, I would like for you mm -hmm. to make a constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. Because you are in its drowning aura. Okay. This is going to go well. Oh, 19. You're fine. Well. Don't even notice anything. Thanks. You're chilling. You don't understand what happened to, I don't know to go what home, to really be problem is over there. No. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, oh, good, good. Um, the one that's in melee with Wilhelm, though, yes. like, how does he look? Is he look going to hit friend? Uh, it definitely plans on hitting friend because he's still standing over him, like, menacingly. Guard a little more up because uh, Cornel also showed up. Where is he? Very much bloody. Is that the one that's stunned? He's stunned. Oh, wait, how, no, how he's far is he? Yeah, he's looking very dazed. He he's, okay. Just kind of out but of But how far is he? Uh, like like a, like a fifteen physical. like a fifteen feet hop. Okay, I'll go hit him with my short sword then. Uh, you, <laughs> so are you going to you choosing to leave, leave the melee of the one that you were with in to then go to the other one? If you do, no, I'm gonna shoot him. If I shoot him, repeat that. You're my cutout. I hate my mic right now. If I shoot <laughs> him, I yeah. don't know why it does that. I have no. F Just oh, did it again? <laughs> That's comedic timing right there, dude. It has like a set time limit, and after that, it's like nope. Yeah, what the hell? Um, apparently. Wait, are you using voice activation on Discord? Your no, your setting for that might be too high. But I haven't touched it. Yeah, I am. Just, though, just but <laughs> Discord is piece of shit. Um. <laughs> anyway, your um, question. Will I be at disadvantage if I shoot with? Technically, yeah. You have someone in your melee, therefore range attacks are at disadvantage. Fuck. Well, wait, but he's stunned. <laughs> Which would so negate neutral? that disadvantage. That would be a normal, ah. normal roll. Yeah. He's good though. There you go. Okay. 
23. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And... Oh, bitch. <laughs> Four damage. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you roll? A one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I asked. <laughs> uh, anyway... <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Right. Uh, uh, wait, okay. Two weapon fighting, that doesn't count for... I think the two weapon fighting things, attack it? is based on melee attacks, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Um, Can I smack the close one with my with something, or... No. Um, uh, not... Uh, no. <laughs> Unless you okay, have a bonus don't... action specific thing, but two weapon fighting doesn't apply here because you use the ranged weapon to attack. So unless you have like a, a spell or or a, or a yeah no because if I do, do if I do art it'll push my friends so I guess the anticlimactic four damage is it <laughs> okay I mean good luck <laughs> it happens uh, Brianna uh, you also start your turn uh, yeah, yeah. in melee with one of them because you were still SC1. there so I would like for you to also yes, make I a do. Constitution saving throw okay not great uh what's my fire Oh, shit, my modifier is dope for that. Okay, 18. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, cool. Let's try and finish him off. This time yeah. I'm going to do... Of them, both of them look bloodied. The one that you're like in melee with looks bloodied, and the one yeah. that is in melee with uh, Cornel and, and, and Wilhelm is and yeah. stunned and bloodied. So they're, they're both okay. on their last legs. All right, I'm going to try and do... I'm going to do heavy style this time. Uh, and go for a tip. Um, so the first attack... Is a twenty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need uh, to ask? <laughs> for for yeah. for eight, no math nine slashing damage. Nine. Mm -hmm. And then the second attack is the same thing, twenty-seven. Uh, yeah. for Jesus, ten slashing damage. Yeah, you completely just you, you great sword, correct? Yes. You take your great sword and just chop down like in its like top right oh, yeah. shoulder and cleave all the way down to like its left lower like thigh it's diagonally completely oh, cut wait. in half and it just hold i lied what more could i don't you want to do to that do? Oh. i take it back i take back that whole action <laughs> sorry no attack I'm not killing it. um how far is wilhelm from me 15 feet you're all kind of like feet. flustered i will i'll take an attack opportunity if i leave but it's gonna have to happen uh, do I have to touch him to do it? Yes, I do. Uh, I am going Attack to... opportunity is a, uh, 22 to hit. Yeah, 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 that hits. 100%. Oh, um... Like, grab a death. Oh, this uh, is bad. Yeah, this is bad, my because... Quen, my Quen is still up, so I'll be resistant. But yeah, so you take, you won't get to uh, leave. 11 points of damage, half to five, but... Okay. Because it attacked you and it hits, you are grappled, so your movement is zero. Is so you cannot move away after rolling me. Uh... Sorry? Is this the one that's grappling me? Oh yeah, no, it can't grapple you because it's already grappling me. Oh, no, yes. no, you're, like, you're, you're completely right. Okay. That's my bad. So you do get attacked. Like it, like okay. let's go yeah. of, of Demon with one hand to just quickly so yeah, much at you. Happened. But then you do get to fuck off. That's good that you remind me yeah. of that because I forgot that this one was like okay. also grappling you. Uh, my, my in bad. that case, so oh, I go over to Wilhelm and I, I, I like while like kind of just like covering my my nose, be like. No, 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 come on, get up, get up, big boy. And I take my newly painted nails and, like, brush them along his face, almost, like, flirtatiously. And you, uh, my nails glow, the polish glows red. And uh, do I roll it or just assign hit points? A number of hit points. All right, uh, I give you five hit points from my nail polish as healing energy flows from my nails. That's your fucking face. sick. <laughs> is that just like a like a max amount of hit points? I have points 10 hit points in, nails? in the pool and I dole them out. Yeah, so, so it's I've given like it half. Hands. It's like lay on it's hands. It's lay on hands yeah. with a nail polish. That's sick. But what nail polish. Fuck? That's really awesome. cool. That's so I, fucking cool. I would cool. say Wilhelm will probably never wash that side of his face again, but that's not really <laughs> anything anyway. special. That's a given. Like, really it's just, a, just a reminder for everyone for like appearance. It's like. Part of why Brianna is so hyper annoyingly cliche feminine is because everything about her appearance is anti stereotypical feminine. She not a she's not a stereotypically attractive lady. 
We say that. <laughs> it's so. like Brienne of Tarth, but with makeup. That was heavy inspiration for part of the character, yes. Oakley doakley. Um, oh, right, that's my no. action. And then bonus action. I will. Hmm, do I do? Which one do I do? No. Because we, I did this last time when I used my improved like Erden sign. Mm -hmm. We discussed it doesn't impede my movement, but I can't remember if we discussed. Does it also impede other? Or does it recognize witchers in general, it, or yeah, is it just because no, Erden is specifically made to trap monsters, yeah. not humans? Okay. Then kind of the also, since since thing. Wilhelm's still, I'm assuming like prone on the ground. I'll use my bonus action to put my Erden sign on the ground, so monsters' movements get reduced by half mm -hmm. if they enter. So they can't move too fast to come get us. Okay. That's my turn. Beautiful. Demond. Uh, I think Hello. because you resisted, you are immune Am to I the immune? drowning aura for the next 24 hours. So you're good. You're chilling. Uh, yes, yeah, so what's your turn? There's one I mean, this still like grappling you and he's looking super rough. And then and... I am going to... Mechanically, I'm going to bonus action turn on flame tongue. Yeah. And then stab him with it. Go on. Thematically, I'm going to stab him with flame tongue and then action it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. No, no that's fine. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's a 16. Hits. Uh, so, I'm going to stab. Oh, no. With disadvantage, uh, 14. Oh, 14 to hit? No, just misses. Because I'm restrained. You're grappled, right, so. yeah. But you're grappled, uh, not restrained. So, and I don't. Does grapple give you disadvantage on attacks? I don't think so, right? No, it just makes me. No, it doesn't. Room. Okay, yeah. so 16 so, then. 16 then, so it does it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna, while grappled, just with my. <laughs> in the back and then Igni and light it. Oh, yeah. Light it up. Uh, so. Roll your damage. Six points of slashing, six points of fire. Yeah, that's enough. He was already looking very rough, and you completely just stick your sword in, activate the you know, activate the fire with with igni. I guess it's kind of like a like a flavor thing. Well, yeah, because I don't use igni as a sign, so just completely like instantly cauterize the wound that your blade is causing, Ooh, but it just it just starts searing and it smells like two week old old fish being fried up. It's it's not pretty, and it just. <laughs> collapses and then all that remains is this very dazed looking drowner just kind of standing there idly by Corneille and Wilhelm. I am sprinting at this motherfucker. Go on. And I'm gonna I mean there's nothing that says that I can't use both swords in my attack. So I'm gonna use Dragon's Breath this time. Go for it. It's advantage. stunned so I have advantage, right? Super advantage because yeah. this guy's stunned as fuck. So Twenty four. Yeah. I mean, what's your minimum uh, damage output here? Uh, seven. Yeah, how do you want to finish him off? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna left hand, stab the guy behind me, ignite it, just run like three paces and just lunge forward into the drowner's neck with right. the other scimitar. Beautiful. Uh, and with that, all the drowners have been eliminated, uh, and I oh, suggest yeah. that we quickly take a break here so that everyone can yes. go to the bathroom, get a snack, get a drink, whatever, and then we'll pick I this require up a in, refill. Uh, in a few minutes. Um, thank you so much for being here for the first half, guys. Uh, we're still raising money for charity oh, for all the information. I had one more suggestion that's something we could have maybe promoted off the top if everyone's not opposed. It, it's Mira. Do you want to drop your, your sponsored Starfleet oh, link in the chat? Can you still yeah. have some days for that? Because Isira has a, a sponsored little opportunity happening right now. Play a game it, on your it, phone for like half an hour and uh, yeah. Ismira gets, gets, a, gets, gets, gets a little paycheck, guys. It's it literally no took me half an hour. I made an account. Go. I used all the premium Oh, no, so I got deleted. Get fucking trolled <laughs> XD. We'll try again. Uh, it, so it's, you download the, the game using the link. You then play said game. Well, now until, until you get until another ship. If you get um, once you unlock the second ship, that's all that's needed for the sponsorship. It starts you off with a bunch of pre premium currency, so you can use that to just speed run the entire thing. It took me about 15 that's what minutes. I did. <laughs> there you go. So you know, play a game for 30 minutes. You know, go to the bathroom. You're like, oh, I got a, I just had a hearty dinner. I'm gonna 
enjoy my time in the bathroom, play the game, and Azmira <laughs> gets a bag. So, you guys, it's oh, no thanks. brainer. Um, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes. Great time. Uh, still raising money for charity. Explain more charity for all the information. Special effect, great cause. Uh, if you donate, you can uh, give people of your choosing DM inspiration to give a little bit of an extra oomph to something during the game. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Be right back. Hello, no, hello. I want to die. Uh, oh, that's that's fucking <laughs> isn't it? Great. Excellent <laughs> <laughs> stream. Koiba can't type. Very yeah, true. that's what you need to know. Very true. Um, you know. We are back from our break. Uh, welcome back, everyone. As Bye. our group of witchers dispose of a uh, particularly vicious group of drowners that were snacking on some of the corpses that um, were spread about the beach of this uh, small dock port village. Um, you are now still, I mean, <laughs> Uh, Wilhelm, you, you you kind of like cough up some more some last bits of water out of your lungs, and um, you all look around, and you are still in this like snow covered area, um, houses in ruins, one of which has been set on fire uh, on accident by a uh, slight Weird. fire Who did that? spell mishap. <laughs> Crazy how that happens. Um, Those, but they're still must have learned fire magic. <laughs> uh, they're still just snow covering the roads and uh, rooftops of these houses. Um, bodies spread about, uh, blood kind of smeared all over the place. Uh, but Demon did spot uh, a few sets of heavier footfalls coming from assuming humanoids in uh, heavier armor uh, before he spotted the uh, drowner. So that is something that you've already spotted. Is there anything you'd like to do? while you're kind of recovering from your fight with these drowners first. I mean, I'm literally just like... So I sit up from my unconscious state and just... Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, that's... that's like when you pushed me into the river. <laughs> I just As you're to... getting up to you, I do see me kind of like trying to just like wipe my, my hands off on like... Oh. Oh. And you're like in the snow or something. <laughs> like, um, take a minute to sit down and think. And, uh, we we need to find where that wherever that lady stayed, the the white haired lady. Yes, yes, that's probably the best place to begin investigating. Um, also, Koiba, did you add an extra two when Laura healed you? Because oh. all witchers gain oh, an extra two HP. So when you got seven HP. hit points. Oh, oh there you go. Whenever we I did not heal. know that was a thing. Nice. Whenever um, we heal, you get an extra two. Oh. You were told that um, she stayed at the tavern, and there's one building that looks slightly larger than the rest of them that has um, a, a, a sign that was once probably hanging above the door, but has now since kind of been smashed and uh, fallen off of its um, the beam that it was hanging from uh, in front of it, which you assume that's probably... That what... That, Building was once probably the the tavern, but unfortunately now is nothing more than a house or a building in uh, in ruins, smashed to pieces. I'm going to drink my greater swallow, okay. which is one of my whatever oh, special ones. Sounds gross. Mm. A swallow was in the bird, not you know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well. No, I just I heal up forty four. Have a then rest. No. Sounds good to me. What? So I, I heal for 12 plus an extra 2, so 14. Just need to top it up. Cool. I mean, yeah, that sounds good to me. Because fuck, I'm knackered already. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to look around while you guys rest. I feel fine. I, can, I, I can also accompany as I am unscathed. Well, we'll uh, get, get into the tavern where it's four walls, you know, and then we'll so, um, Jermin, can you are you good to to watch him? I don't think we should leave him alone right now. I'm just gonna unbuckle the top of my leather armor and look at like the six different claw holes through the side of but my. You two can rest together. Yeah, uh, if some of you Pick want up to snow and start packing the wound with snow. 
Yeah. <laughs> if, if some of you want to take the opportunity here to short rest while the rest of uh, those that don't uh, look around, spread around and look for clues, uh, you can. I will. If there was any doubt at REMZ's Witcher School. <laughs> <laughs> you got one right there, one crying over there. So you're all headed into okay? uh, the, the remains of the tavern and um, Demond and uh, Wilhelm are short resting. Are the rest of you gonna look around or what are you what's the rest of you doing yeah look around in the tavern specifically oh as we get there and while we're looking around mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back into my makeup bag oh my gosh, and girl. um i'm gonna just like oh can you can you hold this and just pull out like a shard of glass that i've smoothed down the edges so it's not sharp that i use as like a mirror and ask ari to hold it up for me and then use it and i'm gonna pull out a bottle um with a silver liquid in it and I'm gonna do, in the words of Taylor Swift, draw on a wing sharp enough to kill a man in some liquid silver eyeliner. And as I draw the this liner on- This is what you on, used in the previous one shot as well, right? No, the lip gloss no? I use. I never use this. Oh, shit, okay. Um, and and Cor Corneal didn't seem to be fond of that because of the necromancy vibe, so we've gotten rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, uh, as I draw on the eyeliner wing, a similar silver color seems to go over my pupil and my iris, and my eyes now are kind of, like, silvered out. And I can now see any invisible creatures or objects that may be in this building, as well as I can see into the ethereal plane, and this lasts for an hour. So I have silver oh, eyes fuck. for an hour, and can see invisible shit. Okay. Your eyes look like Neri's. <clears throat> yes! <laughs> <laughs> All of your magic items are way better than mine. <laughs> uh, Mr. DM. Hello. They're not combat oriented. They take Four time to apply. Mm -hmm. On the official Witcher class document, Accelerated mm -hmm. Healing simply states that we add a plus two to any time we recover HP. Correct. For a short rest, is this for the total or is this per hit die? For the total, because it's you use however many hit dice you want to use, but it counts as one healing thing, like you're okay. healing once. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna use. I mean, also like uh, heal quickly, coming. like quicker or some shit. Probably you're just fucking. Your witch I mean, so probably... says accelerated healing. You get an extra plus two. So. Oh, I thought I saw something about short rests, but it might um... be something later on. I mean, no. getting the extra plus two does make it. Yeah. Well, right. I, I fucking forgot about that shit. So I just rolled eight hit die. Okay. Fucking whatever. <laughs> I forgot sure about add. I forgot about adding my like con, like modifier to each roll as well. Cause I fucking never roll hit die like ever. Like I roll like two at most. Oh, you add your like, con eight. modifier to your hit die when you. Yeah, roll? I don't fucking know yeah. that either. Oh, yeah. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't even know that. That's interesting. Yep. Well, yeah. So nice, fuck it. Sure. I just used eight. <laughs> It's probably only you like a wasted sick. hit die or crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying, <laughs> not set. Hate it. Right. Uh, so you two are short resting. Um, Brianna, you, uh, you you applied your eyeliner and uh, can literally look <laughs> everywhere. Um, <laughs> what is you guys are, are, are doing here? What, what are you what are you doing in your, uh, in your I... search? Aside from looking for anything invisible, now that I can see it, and it would have it would glow with like a ghostly aura to me if it's mm -hmm. invisible or something. I'm also looking for like hidden things in floorboards or walls where people might hide like valuable. So I'm looking for like specifically maybe an object that's out of place and okay. places like under floorboards, behind if there's <clears throat> any like artwork just or paintings me. or in lamps or sconces, like just where people could hide things in a tavern. Uh, make an investigation mm -hmm. check with advantage. I want to look for anything protective a witcher might have installed in a place. I rolled a 19. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check as well, RMC. Um, um, four. Ooh. You uh, just got so <laughs> I don't distracted know. What's a witcher? By, <laughs> by, by, by Brianna's awesome looking makeup that you completely forgot <laughs> what you were looking for and are just completely and my like, eyes oh are my very God. unsettling right now <laughs> um brianna uh with a 19 you look around wow. and you do find uh a part of the roof had collapsed and as you kind of look around it you do see that there's two more bodies crushed under Aww. what once was the roof 
uh, you look around by the bar and you find yourself a a, a small pouch with uh, 20 crowns in it. Crowns being the currency of the land. I oh, got some money. Um, other than that, uh, don't find any items or objects. What you do find is you kind of like your witcher senses Notes? kick in. Paper? <laughs> Your witcher senses kick in, and you can almost see like a faint greenish, um, almost spectral trail kind of floating about. Um, you're not sure what this is. Um, actually, make an intelligence check. Natural 20! Oh my god, okay. Hey. For a total... Um, you is so smart. get 21. the sense <laughs> that uh, the magic the, the wild hunt uses to appear more spectral and ghostly leaves a trail behind that is normally uh, invisible to the naked eye, but because of your ability to literally see into a uh, fucking ethereal plane, <laughs> your eyes catch this. And there's just Ooh. this trail of like, this is where Wild Hunt has walked. And as yep. you kind of look out the door, you can see it leave the door and you can see it yep. leaving the town as well, heading somewhere. Okay. So you definitely- I, I, see, I go, oh, 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 it works, it works. And I get very excited. Um, um, <clears throat> sorry, I, is another Cornel prototype doing while this wasn't happening? sure. Is Cornel doing anything in particular? Um, I want to wade through confused. the ruins. <laughs> To try and find where the like the in rooms might have been, and investigate um, those areas. You you see a staircase um, that leads downstairs, and as you kind of like the part of the staircase are, are are smashed, but as you kind of like make your way along the rubble, you do see that it leads into like a, hall, a corridor with several doors on either side, and you reckon that's probably where the the bedding um, would be. Yeah, I'd like to start investigating those to see if we can determine which one. Okay. Um, uh, then I would like for you to make a, Witcher. an investigation check as well. Fantastic. While he, while he's investigating, I'll explain the trail I can see, and that I can I I think I can track where they went when we're done here. But we should probably wait for the other two, you know, to be like okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. <clears throat> You look around, and the majority of the rooms um, seem like they have not been used uh, for a very long time. And you gather that, you know, this is a very small settlement. Uh, they rarely get visitors, so a lot of the rooms don't really get that much use. Uh, you also notice that the downstairs is uh, mostly intact due to the fact that, uh, you know, the top floor, anything above ground completely smashed to pieces. But underground, a um, little less affected by uh, the brutal savagery of uh, whatever it may have been. There's Wild Hunter or not that attacked this town. Um, you do find one room where the bedding looks like it's been recently used. Um, the bed isn't made. Um, you can you can kind almost kind of um, a, a faint scent of like sweat kind of penetrates uh, your your nose. Like this 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 room in particular has seen use recently. Uh, or more recent um, than others, um, and you see in this room as you look around. It's a very, it's a, it's a small room. Uh, there's a, there's a single bed, uh, a small desk, and a set of drawers. Uh, it's nothing super fancy. Welcome in, raiders. Ah. Uh, it's raising money for charity. What we'll do next? Something for charity for more information. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> we, um, and that's about it. Um, as you kind of go around the room, is there anything? You want to do now that you found a room that like um, looks like this has been used re more recently than others i would like to pull out my griffin school medallion and tap okay. into the detect magic and see Ooh. if i can feel anything about this room uh, i'll say that um you do not detect any magical items or anything, but what you do, for the sake of this, I'll say that you do detect traces of uh, magic being used in this room recently. Very faint, like, residue of, of magic being used. Specifically, because I think Detect Magic also gives you the um, uh, the class, like right? School. Or the school, I mean. Yeah. Right? So, um... And the school of magic that you pick up that has been used here is conjuration well 
All right. Well, that can have implications. So I'll come back up the stairs and hop over the broken section. Okay. <laughs> so if it, we it seems oh, go ahead. oh my apologies. It seems whoever we've been, we're led to believe was here before the attack. It, I suspect it was likely their room. Somebody had performed some sort of magic in this inn for the purpose of summoning. So maybe the magic is what drew the wild hunt people here. Oh, maybe maybe like they can feel air. the signature versus you're not here. I'm in the you're I'm, resting. I'm in the hotel. I'm in the hotel. I'm in the tavern. Yeah, with right. you guys. I'm just I'm just on the bottom floor, just kind of existing. I thought you guys were still staying somewhere. Like we went separately Fuck, to the no. tavern, and you. No, two I were... went into the fucking oh, tavern. We oh, okay. Okay. In the tavern. to come along. Yeah. My bad. That's yeah, fine. My bad. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I swear. Sorry. Can't you smell me? True. But I, I do agree in that um, it feels like these are definitely linked. So we what? can follow this this trail I can see when you're done resting. I will need to uh, reapply this, but I have like six use. I have about six uses left in here, so we're good. Marvelous. <laughs> While we're taking our short rest, Dutch. Hi. Can I cast uh Erden at the front door and mm -hmm. then concentrate on it so it remains up yeah smart we're gonna do that and then while rolling hit dice demon just takes out the flame tongue ignites it and just holds it against the wounds on his shoulder starts cauterizing his own wounds yeah it's fucking metal dude goddamn uh... <laughs> all right just staring at wilhelm the entire time well, so like, with that, uh, I, I give you like all well, my arm that's got like a damage, but I could just hit us there for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, with that, um, as two of you short rests and the others uh, have found that there's traces of some kind of conjuration magic in this tavern, um, and Brianna can see a trail left behind Incredible. by the people responsible for the complete destruction and. Uh, uh, killings that happened in this small uh, port and village. Um, uh, you don't know exactly what the connection oh, we got, is. We got another donation. I see. I just see. I just. I just see. Sorry. To, um. Heck and we got two donations. We got oh two. Gosh, guys, 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 guys. Pixie, d, d for a great cause. Appreciate you. Benetron, great cause. Good luck with hitting the goal. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want, guys, um, you can choose a player or DM uh, for those that donated uh, to get DM inspiration for them to use whenever they please. So, uh, you know, if, if you can just type it in chat, if, if you know, uh, Benetron and Pixie, if you guys want to give anyone in particular DM inspiration, you can because of the donation to charity. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If we yeah. had sound alerts... It'd be cool. We could have made just the the toss a coin riff anytime <laughs> someone donated, just for this one shot. Just for this one shot. Just for that. <laughs> um. So yeah, you're not sure whether what the connection is, but you do know that uh, there was magic being used here. There's traces of magic being used, conjuration uh, in particular, um, which most of you know is. Um, I was going to instant follow. Give the inspiration to Laura. Laura, you have the inspiration uh, granted to you by Benetron. So use that wisely. Um, you're not sure what the connection is. There's traces of magic being used, but there's definitely a trail um, left behind by uh, the people responsible for you to pursue. Uh, spend about an hour in this tavern, meaning that the short rest has gone through, and those of you that needed a bit of a patch-me-up have gotten the opportunity to do so. Uh, what is it you would like to do next? that trail in the words of Miguel from Rotel Dorado. <laughs> Seems good. Looks like the uh, hunters have become the hunted, eh? <laughs> and, uh... I'll, I'll have to reapply the eyeliner because it's only, it lasts last? for an hour. An hour. So then after okay. short rest is an hour. So I'll put yeah. on another use. And I'm keeping track of my uses. So I now have five uses of it left. Okie dokie. Uh, so unless someone else wants to do anything else... Uh, you all set off following the trail and the the trail 
takes you west. You kind of follow the coastline, uh, but at some point the coastline kind of starts bending southwards, and the trail follows it. So these the, the people that you tra uh, that you're trailing um, seem to have been traveling along the coastline uh, until eventually, about an hour later, you start feeling an intense cold, colder okay. than you felt at the ruined port. Um, oh. You arrive at the Elvrum Lighthouse, overlooking the cliffs below at the southernmost tip of Artskellig. When you arrive, you can see a terrifying black ship that looks like it's made of skeletal bodies and metal nails floating Ooh. next to the cliffside. And I'll share an image on the stream overlay oh, to kind of give you uh, pictures. an idea of what the ship oh, looks what like. This is, and I'm not happy about it. Oh, it looks cool! So this is the ship that you see Ooh. just floating next to the cliffside. Um... Uh, just, just hanging about. And... We can all see it, right? Yeah, yeah, all of you. Yeah. On the ship, you see a man in full black plate mail and a helmet to make it look like its head is just a oh, giant good. skull. Uh, oh, which good. is... Uh, this uh -huh. is what you see. We, we're we all putting this together, right? Like This yeah. is the individual you see oh, uh, on the ship. Um, oh, sexy. <laughs> Keep the helmet on. With bone. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I hate it here. Um, and no, you, don't, don't lie. you kind of just hear him yell in a language that, that, that none of you really understand. But he just, ye he just yells, Ardif Manam! And and when, he does, and when he does that, uh, the ship and his crew... Jesus. The ship and his crew just summon this large green portal and the ship starts taking off through it. But remaining on land, uh, a small group of these wild hunt uh, fighters stay behind. Uh, one of which is wearing a fur-lined fur plate armor with a ribcage over its chest plate and a long helmet with a drawn-out skull face. Uh, mm. And a round, almost like compass-like no, uh, circle at the back of its head, wielding a large metal staff with a glowing purple crystal in it, which is uh, this individual... Mr. DM. Hello. And while you're showing your photos, That's cool. You said it's a language none of us speak? Correct. So it isn't Elvish? No. Ooh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Or Sylvan? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Or Crystal or Infinity. Accompanying this uh, individual, there is uh, five other soldiers wearing similar armor minus the fur, the fur lining. Uh, and wearing what looks like a more Viking-style helmet with, like, two metal horns, almost. Uh, which is this. Ooh, um, creepy. So five of them, and then the one with the longer faceplate and the staff. And they immediately draw their weapons. And I would like for you all to roll initiative once again, oh, please. Oh, baby. They, they see us? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <gasps> I mean, that guy on the ship just start, started yelling. And at that point, they, 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 they saw you, and they are... You are roughly 120 Damn. feet away, but they oh spotted gosh. you immediately as you got closer and... Oh, got ready. Ready. Ethan, 120. I pulled a you. <laughs> it's not pulling on me. It's That's pulling on you. Oh, oh no, oh, did, I think I pulled him too? worse. Oh, no, no, you didn't. I, I rolled a one, so there's no way. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I guess it depends <laughs> on our dexes. Oh, oh two yeah, not no, one. No, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, you oh, all no, suck. No. You all suck. You're bad. <laughs> Skill is I, I rolled good. Wait, wait, I rolled pretty well. Using, I'm using my inspiration to re-roll oh that I got God, from the donation. So smart. Oh, I feel like, that's, you I feel like that's a waste. That's a waste. That's a little. That's better. Okay. It's a three. three. If no, she goes, if she goes earlier, she can save me. Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's I rolled true. better. I'm in the double digits now. <laughs> with the modifier. Okay. In the double digits with the modifier. <laughs> I, guys, I think I rolled the wrong dice. I'm in triple digits. I don't know what I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For initiative, huh? you roll a percentile huh? dice. Yeah, I roll percentile. And, got 100. I was like, oh. And you got max? Yeah. yeah. No, 99 plus uh, modifier. Oh. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, come oh, on, dude, my, like, fucking my pen is dead. <laughs> new one. Well, it is now. <laughs> did he just say, go, <laughs> gonna go grab a new one? Probably. <laughs> Did you just them. say a good new one? Getting Jesus. together with the guys to get a good new one. Right. Anyway, you got a good new pen, Dutch? Yeah, I uh, my internship does like promotional products and stuff, so we got a little welcome package, and it has like they printed a bunch of pens with like my name on it and shit. It's kind of cool. Kinda neat. 
Don't you don't just don't so. I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> who's gonna like? Who's gonna look up some like random Dutch name and be like? Me, oh, I know exactly where you live already, so yeah, it's you all good. Me, motherfucker. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> On the plus side, I now finally have your last name, so I can send you an invitation. <laughs> yeah, I still need to give you my fucking address and shit. Yeah, you no, just address it to I that. I have your address heat. somewhere, so. <laughs> well, you send it to her then, fuckface. Uh, anyway. Uh... <laughs> well, I sent him Christmas presents. Cute. Uh, hold on. Fucking shit. Since oh, my presents. God. There's so many different fucking wild hunts bad guys in this book, dude. God You damn. did this. You did this to yourself. I did do this. I don't give a heckin' hoot. Fuck you. Love that song. All right. Uh, time for me to roll some initiative as well. Hold on. That's not good. We don't want that. So have you like... considered not having them go? Uh, I considered, considered it very briefly, but decided that uh, that's very boring, isn't that's it? That's dumb. So, can we get some donations to make them re-roll? I don't know, man. Yeah. Can we? With disadvantage? <laughs> that's not how that works. Sure. With money, it's how anything works. True. True. Seize the means of DM production. And donate to a charitable cause. True. Hold. Uh... Hold what? You're... I have a hold cat on. to hold. A Money. little baby kitty. Oh. If we need to fill the space, Speaking it of... is a delight to be here. I love you all. Oh, oh you're so cute. Up. It's not going to oh, fucking save you, Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up again. Flattery gets you nowhere. How very Canadian. Look Mr. at this cat. You have to Thank save you, please. Look at her face. She's so oh, sad. Oh, my Look God. Look at the kitty. All right. Okay. Can I get <laughs> some uh, initiatives from you guys, right? please? Yeah. Uh, anyone Luna roll Bell. a 20 or above? I rolled a 20. Oh, I rolled a 20. 30, 20. Oh my god. Oh, we're dirty 20s. Dirty 20s. Hey, only, Daddy, we're fine. They what's can your, uh, carry us. What's your, what's your dex scores like, gamers? Plus four. Plus four. Plus one. Plus one. Three. Plus three. So it will be Demon, REMZ, and then we'll have. I literally rolled a 20. It's like, I'm probably going like first, maybe second. And it's like. I'm going third. I'm going third. <laughs> uh, the fact that we had. No, no, no. We had three dirty 20s and then two nat ones. Yeah, uh, yeah. I rolled a nineteen. Once, no shot. Yeah, yeah. but then yeah. Laura, that's why you, Laura spent a reroll. Ah, <gasps> yay! Oh, true, true. Uh, I just so... got food delivery. Nice. <gasps> Everybody's favorite James. James. Hello, James. So, Cornel, that one is that what I what I pick up from this? Uh, yeah. Oh boy. But if you want my modifier on top, it's four. I don't give a heck and hoot about your modifier within that oh. one, buddy boy. <laughs> uh, Laura, you it's an ability check, not an attack roll. I did. I rolled a 12. Wah. Wah. Cry more. <laughs> you rolled a 12? Okay, what's your next? Plus three. Uh, Alright. Somehow, I'm very scared for this fight. You should be. <laughs> uh, I wasn't kidding when I said we're playing uh, Death March difficulty today. Um, Alright, so the fight kicks off. You are all 120 feet away from this group of Wild Hunt soldiers. Uh, this first one is going to run up 30 feet, so to a 90 foot distance. And, ooh, hold on, ooh, hold on, can I do something spicy? I don't like that. Dutch just realized ooh. they can do something and it scares me. Yeah, yeah, I just quickly. <laughs> oh, they trip over in the snow and die? Oh, shame. So I'm gonna have to fucking Wilhelm in a second. I'm gonna yeah. just trip over, break my neck, instantly dead. I mean, you've already drowned once. Ain't that fucking interesting? Drown on snow. It's like the worst way to drown. Uh, and is then going to use his. Uh, 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 uh. Use your words. You got this. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Stop. Real uh, talk. Use their bonus action to cast Misty people. Step to teleport themselves another 30 feet closer. So this one is now oh, 60 off. feet away from you all. And is then. I hate him. I'm going to use action to dash to get another 30 feet closer. So this one is now 30 feet away. And he is then going to action surge. And he will chuck two hand axes. Uh, there's five of you, right? Mm. Yeah. Six if you count the rat. Uh, he's a mouse. Uh, he's a <laughs> I just reread my character. Um, 
<laughs> is going to those hand axes are going Over to be thrown, year, are going to be thrown at REMZ. Oh, both of them. Fuck. Uh, both of them. Yeah. Well, do you have to roll a percentile dice to see if you hit the mouse? <laughs> no, I'm not that much of a dick. <laughs> um, oh, that first one is going to fucking miss. That's a 7 to hit. Second one would be an 18 to hit, though. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Disappointing. Uh, did you do? <laughs> so you take... Uh, five points of slashing damage, as well as six oh. points of cold damage from the hand axe. And as soon as the the one hand axe flies over you, but the one hand axe that hits you, like kind of like cleaves itself into your shoulder, and then immediately disappears. Oh man! I was and gonna re ask and if I reappears <laughs> on on the soldier's belt. What a bit! Uh, hold on, we just got another okay, cheeky. So we got another cheeky donut. Donation. Donation. By by Sir Duke thirty three. Oh, nice me. Who is he? Who is he buffing? Uh, Duke, who do you want to give DM inspiration with your dono? Uh, but that is this guy's turn. So that is uh, numero uno, and he is currently thirty feet away from you guys. So we need to write that down. And now we get uh, these monsters sound like cats. A Witcher, <laughs> a Witcher trio. Uh, first off, Demond. What's the landscape like between us? Uh, so the apart from um, this one that's up close, they're 120 feet away at the bottom of the lighthouse, uh, right? It's a bit snowy. There's like a, a layer of a few inches of snow, but otherwise it is uh, quite uh, boring. Not many, like not many things on is it. You're, you're heading towards terrain? a cliffside with a lighthouse. So there's a lighthouse in the distance, like roughly next to you know 120 feet away, next to where this gathering of uh, of uh, wild hunt individuals was. Um, other than that, there's no, like, trees or anything. It's just, like, a flat surface headed towards, so like, a cliffside, really. There's not really any terrain that I could hide behind. Not really, there? no. Uh, it's just kind of, like, an open battlefield kind of vibe right now. Bitch move. Okay. I'm going to... Excuse me. I'm going to move up into this dude's melee. The one that uh, came closer, yeah, the yeah, one, yeah, the one that's thirty foot away. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use my. Let me just double check if that's a bonus action. Uh, it doesn't specify drinking the potions. Are we treating them like healing potions? So yeah. bonus action. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna down a potion of thunderbolt with my bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna fucking eat a prick, am I? Go on. Uh, first attack's a 17. 17 misses. Oh, he's a bitch. As you swing your uh, sword? Dagger? Sword. Uh, scimitar. My scimitar. dragon's rat scimitar. At uh, this guy's uh, this guy's armor, just, just very thick, very, very heavy. It just kind of doom, bounces off of it. I'm gonna swing again. Uh, 19. That does hit. Good. Okay. Shit roll on the slashing. So, mm -hmm. 2 plus 4 plus an extra 3 for the Thunderbolt Potion. So, that's uh, 9 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. And then I rolled max damage on the acid. Okay. So, that's 12 points of acid damage. Ooh. All right. Anything else? Good job. That's my turn. All right. Ariemzi, you just got a, uh, a hand axe thrown at you, and Demond has run up to this guy and started beating him up. What do you want to do? How far is the one that threw the axe at me? 30 feet away from you at this point. And the rest of them are all still 120 feet away. Uh, you know you want to. <clears throat> Who's the... Biggest one. Uh, there's five of these like normal soldiers looking individuals with you know with the like the horned kind of helmets, but there is the one with boy. like the big staff and the compass like circle in the back of his head who's also 120 feet away. He seems like the one in charge of this group. He seems like he's the odd one out. Yeah. So, Ari looks down for the hand axe, doesn't see it, looks at the guy that hit her 
sees he's getting attacked by friend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so she fixes her eyes on big asshole in charge okay. and magic missiles him. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is that a, that's on 20 foot range, right? Pretty sure. Yep. yep. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, even have, don't have to roll. Auto hits. <clears throat> Easy damage. Where'd the last one go? Okay. Uh, is, this a, is this a fifth level again? Yep. God. They're damn. all at fifth level. So 14? Yep. Great fucking item. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking awesome. So you just shoot these, there's this array of magic missiles just choo -choo 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 at this guy. And um, anything else? Bonus action improved Quinn once again. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'll just wait for everyone to come over to me and friends. <laughs> just gonna hang me out. Together. Um. <laughs> As a reaction to your attack, it's going to use a legendary action. What a bitch. Uh, Wait, the... Oh, the navigator. Big boy. As he's called. Uh, called Mass Phase, and three of his allies, soldiers, that were also still like at that range with him, get teleported, and they <laughs> appear right beside, like right around you. Uh, That's so cool. Of the group cool. of you that have been clustered Fuck. still... 120 feet away. So three of the four soldiers that were still 120 feet away just appear right beside you. One in melee with Corneal, one in melee with Remz, and one in melee with Brianna. Uh, Wilhelm, you're the only one that is not in melee with anyone at this point. Oh, very easily could be. So they just they just suddenly just appear right right before you. Uh, and that was part of uh, this 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 boss type looking individual's uh, legendary action. Um, that was also your turn. One legendary uh, action down. <laughs> this round. He gets three of those so, around, so... <laughs> so there's now, three, there's now three with the group, right? And one yeah. with me 30 feet away. Yeah. And then one still at the lighthouse? Yeah, with the navigator still, yeah. Alright. Uh, well, I'm... I'm going to bonus action drink my thunderbolt. Make a note that gotta add plus five to everything because I'll see my plus two from bear, so it's just easy to. Uh, and then I'll go up to the one that is next to Corneal. Okay. And just start fucking wailing on the bastard. I assume I can't get in like a flanking position with it, can I? Or you could flank you on to... Corneal with the yeah, I mean, yeah, technically yeah. you could. Can I? Well, then I'll, I'll flank. Go for it. I. I'm an intimidating person. I can act as a flank. <laughs> I was just waiting for Wilhelm to pull the, like, I'm going to attack Corneal, flanking with my ally. Oh, and you have yeah. uh, the demonstration, by the way, Koiba, because of Duke's yeah. mission. I've just seen. Um, I don't know if this is going to hit or not. I don't know. Uh, 32. <laughs> nah, man. That For some reason, it's <laughs> like they have a certain AC, but there's a couple of exception numbers oh, that, that also yeah, don't 32 hit. 32 is one of them. 32 happens to be one of them, dude. Koiba wonders why he always gets <laughs> teleported away in combat. No, a 32 I... hits, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Banish him, Dutch. Banish him. <laughs> get, get, get him out! I mean... Uh, if he can teleport allies, he surely can also teleport foes, that right? That is 27 points of damage. 27? Okay, God. Da uh, is that magical? Yep, because it's with my magical greatsword. All right. It's a plus two greatsword, baby. Good to know. All right. And then I will swing on this guy again. Okay. Uh, it's only a 24 this time. Uh, hold. Oh, darn. <laughs> well, I'm uh... to hold on a 24. What the fuck? Hang about. <laughs> what? Why well, am I having to hold on a 24? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> He's looking to see if he has a shield. No. I'm looking on, to see la, how la, the post la, works. No. Um. Repost, they have to miss. You use repost when they so. miss you. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure from fighter maneuvers. Yeah, but this is like, this is a monster thing. You know what I mean? This um. is always slightly different. You don't know, Laura. Uh, oh, Laura. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it does hit Roy damage. Fucking, you're damn right it hit. The fuck? <laughs> but the good news is it used its reaction for little old me to get away. That's uh, that's a 26 points of damage. 
Oh, never mind. Doesn't even get a reaction. It's fucking dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking That's shit, That's good dude. news for me, because it can't react. <laughs> God damn. All right. Oh, this guy's just... I'll then spend the rest of my turn. I'll just move up uh, to the one next to uh, 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 Brianna now. That's so, fucking dead. Just fucking, just go, like, kind of step on that body, and just move up to the next to Brianna, just sort of trying to look really intimidating. Like, bring it. I'll <laughs> okay. give you a high five as you go by. I, like, it's one of those ones where you go five five and I kind of realize a bit too late, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like, oh, the, the opportunity was missed, I'm sorry. No, fuck. No! <laughs> I feel, I will never forget this day. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, um... yeah, that'll be my turn. Just get me, put myself in the flanking position for Brianna. Oakley dokley. Uh, give me just a second. I fucking, I fucking suck. Think uh, bad things about to happen to me, gamers. But <laughs> 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 teleport is just to a different. It was nice complete... knowing you, Will. I am being, I am put to a completely different game universe now. I'm in like Hades now. <laughs> he appears in Dungeon Select. <laughs> just in no, I just realized I forgot to add one idea. picture to the scene. I'm just quickly half-assed, like adding in there as well, just in case it comes up. Ooh. Uh. That's not good. I don't Luckily, know. I can add sources without them being visible right away, so I can just sneakily do that without anyone seeing any spoilers. <laughs> you know? All right. We're good. Sure. So that's uh, Wilhelm's turn done. Having cut down one of the Wild Hunt soldiers already. Uh, it is now the Navigator's turn. AKA the man that seems to be the one in charge of this little pack. And he is going to use an action to summon two white frost elementals. Um, 60 feet ahead of him, these two like smaller green portals, similar to uh, the large portal that ship went through appears and from each portal steps a uh, white frost elemental which looks like this if you want to look at the stream overlay real quick there's these big oh, lumpy creatures terrifying. made of ice and mm -hmm. stone uh, Ooh, and they both boy. appear 60 feet away from all of you i believe um they need to roll initiative and just join join the initiative when order you say somewhere. 60 feet away from all of us well 30 feet from you because you move up oh. 30 feet, right? Oh. Um, but yeah, so... I have made a tactical error. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in danger! Were made. <laughs> oh, boy! What oh, is boy. There... I did not expect to be closed off from the group 30 feet away. What is their dex? Find you. Fucking terrible. One I'll of remind them... you about when I'm getting fucking Eiffel Towered by Snow Elementals. Eiffel Tower! Denny's laughing just gets me every time. Yeah, it's him. Denny's not used to a D and D experience oh. quite like this. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh my god. And then I can't wait for Denny to guess on actual dungeon slips. As the navigator does that, these two elementals appear and they roar, and it sounds like just a bunch of ice. You know, you know that like super loud like sound that you hear if you step on like a frozen lake and it starts to crack oh, and it like travels yes. under 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 the like surface of the like ice power, that's what like it sounds like snapping. when these creatures just like start to roar and scream it's that like sound that you just hear echoing Ooh. it sounds like the cool sounds when you throw rock on ice instead because that's cool <laughs> <laughs> fuck you like that sound a lot <clears throat> um as bonus action awesome as a bonus section. It's going to use an ability called Permafrost Mantle, and you see that this Ooh. individual creates an icy mantle, similar to the effect that uh, it looks like when you use your uh, your Quen. It's like this icy layer appears around him, and that is his turn. He's not going to move. He's going to stay put. Uh, that makes it one of the just summoned in elementals' turns because they happen to roll initiative to go right after this guy. And I have to keep scrolling like back and forth to this fucking book, dude. God damn it, I could have made this a lot easier for myself. Um, movement speed of 30 feet. So yeah, this guy is gonna run up to uh, Demond because it's the only guy that he can reach. Um, and is going to... Um, I 
make two slam attacks with its big, icy, rocky hand. Just boof, boof. It was nice knowing you all. <laughs> <laughs> um, natural 20, dude. I'm not even fucking You joking. didn't have to come over and pound me, man. Ah, it's like... about it. And the second one is a 24 to hit. Yeah, Aye. believe it or not, that hit. Um, Uh-ohs. So, man. You guys rolled in that twenties. I can do that too. All right. <laughs> not so, in one D and D. Not in one D and D. My ass. One D and D doesn't rule exist. About one D and D is the fact that monsters can't create my fucking balls. They can. All right. Uh, Fuck yeah. Off. It makes uh, it more fun. So wild that they would. Anyway. I you understand think... why they did it from an optimization point of view, but also they're trying to make it more creepy. friendly and less uh, scary for you. Well, that means you take faster. fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And 13 points of cold damage from that crit. Okay. And then from the second attack, so you take... Uh, oh my goodness. Um, oh no, don't do that. Another six points of bludgeoning damage and another seven points of cold damage. Okay. I mean, I'm alright. And that now. is its turn. Uh, and now, and now we're going to... One. Sorry? And uh, there's still another one, right? There is, but it's, it's not a turn yet. Uh, Brianna, okay. it's your turn. Oh. Okay. So, big big boss man who looks different from the rest. Mm -hmm. He didn't teleport. He just teleported his cronies to us, right? Yeah, so one or of his he... cronies is in melee with yeah. you right now. Yeah. Okay. While still just kind of like in a defensive stance to that one. Is mm -hmm. he big boss man 60 feet away? 120. 120. Yes. That's fine. Um, okay. I, again, like, keeping a, keeping my eyes on the one in melee with me and not jumping a guard, but, uh, the hand has the ring on it. Again, just in, like, flourishy magic gesture, pointing off in the distance towards man. I will use two charges for my ring to cast ball lightning, and the range is 120 feet, and a <laughs> large crackling sphere of lightning appears, um, like, in front of the, the big boss man, the navigator. And then as I, so as I extend the hand, it appears. And then I like flick the hand again and the sphere, because as a bonus action, you move the sphere mm -hmm. and it moves right into him. And he has to make a deck save for okay. me. Nice. All right. Please have oh. shitty decks in that uh, big old armor. I mean, that's a natural 15. So Ooh. 19 total. Okay. Hate him. It's he. I think it's all or nothing. It just says on a failed save, the creature takes damage. Okay. Like, yeah. So. so the lightning crackles around him, but nothing happens. But the sphere doesn't go away as long as I maintain there? concentration okay. for a minute. The sphere stays right. there. Cool. Yeah. So he has a big old lightning ball in his face, and that's my turn. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Nothing happens. Um. Soldier number three, which happens to be the one teleported to you, Brianna, is going to whip out his icy great sword, or his frost great sword. Sorry, my bad. Uh, and is, is going icy. to make an attack. And because it magically teleported on its uh, to get to you, it gets advantage because it's the first thing he does after being teleported. He gets advantage. On his oh, next attack. Fuck that. Um, I can chat that power for can my chat, friends. Give us, can, can we have more inspiration, please, <laughs> chat? 22 to hit. I would assume, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's your AC, not mine. <laughs> a d20. Yes, yes it is, Ryan. I'm drinking from a mug that is shaped like a d12. <laughs> uh, Brianna, 12? you take... Uh, 12 points of slashing damage as well as there's my d8 there's one d8 uh, 3 points of cold damage that is part though we learned the hard way the mug is not dishwasher safe so the mug can't <gasps> crit anymore there is no 12 oh, on no. the top. I thought you were going to say we learned the hard way not to roll it um, when it was full no. yeah, that's uh <laughs> Uh, 15 point no 12 points of damage total to you Brianna I believe 15 no 12 12 12 12, yeah. 12, 12. 12 cool okay uh, and that is its turn soldier boy number 5 
still, still you. <laughs> I hate that we're the, we're the same person. And it's I still hate all the way it. over there. Um. So he's going to run up and use his action to dash to run sixty feet. Then he's 60 feet away from you lot and 30 feet away from uh, uh, Debond. And is then going to Misty Step as well to appear in Demond's melee. So now Demond is like surrounded by two of these soldiers Yikes. as well as this Frost Elemental. Demond might be in a bit of trouble, uh, but that is its turn. It doesn't get to attack. It's a little. Uh. But the soldier in melee with R.E.M.Z. now gets a turn. Oh no! And is going to also take out his uh, frost great sword and going to attack you with it. Uh, Any damage is halved. That would be uh, sixteen to hit. Damn it! That just hits. Oh. <laughs> and it's going to pump in a wrathful smite as well. They can oh, smite. They sure Look fucking can, motherfucker. I quit. <laughs> oh boy. I just uh, want to. I'm just gonna start making a new character sheet. I bet. Um. You're just gonna get invited back once you die. That's it. You're gone. <laughs> in your new person in. Uh, what, like a you, games of RMG, witches. You take a total of eleven points of slashing damage. Hell. Half. Ah, uh, well. Uh, is it? I have quit. Yeah, so yeah first I'm just thinking. Hits. It, this is all part of one attack, so don't have it yet, because I'll, uh, I'll I'll have it. So that oh, okay. slashing, uh, one point of cold, so that's twelve plus one d six psychic damage. From the smite, so fifteen points of damage total. So seven. Half to seven. Uh, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. No. Unless do you have anything that protects you from being frightened? You, uh, not that you, I can think of. I think no. witchers get like a level 14 or something. Or 11, maybe even. They get immunity to being frightened. Maybe, because I did see it in, in the document somewhere. But uh, We don't have it, that, it, unless it's, it's a 13. school feature. We're not there it's yet. 13, so you're not there yet. So yeah, no, okay. So you uh, yeah, I, make, a, make a wisdom save. You couldn't make that level 13. I believe yeah, in you. Did you. Go is. Yeah. Roll high. It's not high. Or... Four. Uh, oh, you are yeah. considered frightened of this uh, wild hunt scared. soldier, which means that uh, attacking it will have disadvantage, and you cannot move closer to don't it. Don't I have to run away? Oh, I just can't move closer. You don't to have it. to run away. You just can't get closer to it. So since you're already in this melee, uh, the really only like uh, 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 thing here that fucks you is the fact that you have disadvantage on your attacks against it, or against anything when this is in your line of sight. But you have disadvantage on your attacks. Um, so all in all, you know, isn't right. too bad, you know? It's, it's all right. Freaking. This um, die is out. <laughs> <laughs> it is now the turn of the other elemental that got summoned. Just as far as initiative goes, Corneal is really all the way down there. <laughs> you, you be damned, right? Wait, no, you're, aren't no, you like... On... I wrote, I'm first. Yeah, no, I'm, I said initiative-wise. I said, oh, sorry. Oh, all the way down there. <laughs> so, like, yes, my apologies. This I... second elemental rolled a two, but still goes before you do. <laughs> Son oh. of a bitch. Um, ooh, a 240-foot range with this advantage? Well, it's going to fucking try. Uh, it's going to hurl ice as it summons this like large block of ice in its arms, and it's just going to... Chuck it your way, uh, Corneal. Uh, with this uh, advantage... Is it an attack roll? Uh, technically, yes. Okay, well, I mean, if it's already a disadvantage. I was going to say it has disadvantage because I have the Cloak of Displacement on. Oh, but... yeah, no, it's with disadvantage because of the range. It's 60-foot uh, range normal, but up to 240 Double if they disadvantage. get disadvantage. So it's just going to try it with disadvantage. My dude's and, really uh... going to, like, quarterback a fucking... Hulk Pretty much, yeah. Him. And I did roll two fives! That's crazy! Does a 12 hit? Probably not! I just roll. like boogie <laughs> scoot a couple steps to the left. Yeah, he just walks to the left. Just like to the it left. travels so slowly Slide because it has to, to go, right. come from so far. Mm -hmm. You just see it and you just like 
Everybody wants like, like five foot, five feet to the left, it just <laughs> slams into, into the ground yeah. where you were. <laughs> really, is that I, like... yeah, I take the absolute <laughs> minimum amount of steps I have to to not get <laughs> yeah, hit by it, dude. <laughs> Uh, and that is its turn. But, Cornel, sure, just like the time has come. It is your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> All right. Um, you get to play. I'm. You get to play the game. I'm going to, after receiving big, big ice ball my direction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to begin like waving my hands in a fashion. Uh, first, I'm going to bonus action throw the shield into the air and let it spin around me again. Hell yeah! Um, and I'm going to yell out, "Demond, could you please move?" And I'm going to ready an action to okay. do a wall of fire ring around the enemies that have surrounded him. Once he's out of range, I'll okay. cast it. Okay. Get out of the way. All right. If he's out of range. If he does. <laughs> so it's you, only you, so uh, you just yell, Demon, could you get out of the way? And you start writing the spell for when he does. It's, Fucking Demon goes the wrong way, still somehow manages to be in it. <laughs> it's a 20 diameter circle that I'm going to cast the damage pointing inward. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to create an Sick. oven. That's fucking cool. All right, yeah. Pizza oven, the bad guys. Uh, so yeah, you ready that action? Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait till Demon's turn to see if that actually happens. Um, would you like to move, or are you just gonna stay put? Um, I would like to strafe away from the combat that has piled up beside me. That's uh, very smart. Uh, the guy in melee with you has been uh, killed by, uh, I believe it was by Wilhelm. So me? you are free to move. Uh, as you please. Yeah, so you, you strafe away. Free to roam about the castle. Cool. So you're holding that action. So we'll go back to soldier number one, which is the one in melee, or one of the ones in melee with uh, Demond. He's going to die. And he is going Rip. to... It'd be a perfect way to get cremated if I do go down. True. Ah! <laughs> uh, he's going to take his, take his frost sword friend. and try and attack you, uh, Demond. It will be flanking because there's try. a fuckload of me. other things around you. I fucking did it again. Thank God for that. Oh, Advantage no. but double fours, so that's an 11 oh, to hit. Okay. That doesn't fucking okay, hit, does it? That does not hit, no. And that's a turn. as old as time. <laughs> <laughs> that's a turn. And now, Demon, it is your turn, so. I'm going to use my action mm -hmm. to disengage. Okay. I'm going to run 30 feet back. And as that happens, <laughs> as Demond is running thirty feet back, Cornel, you this is this is your time, and you just whoo, cast Wall of Fire. Oh. So you, Demond, do you like while you're running away, you can see behind you this circle of flames just appears, and it's like how how tall is it again? The wall? It is twenty feet tall. But twenty oh. feet tall, just almost like like vortex of flames, just like surrounds the three yeah, enemies buddy. that were in melee with you. Um, that is that deck saves, or is that just guaranteed damage? I yeah, forget. deck saves from the lot of them. Okay, so that was Hell two yeah. soldiers in there and one elemental. If I remember correctly, there's nothing to stop them walking out of that, right? That is correct. correct. It's just damage, okay. right? If they walk through it, they take damage. It, well, because if it was going to yeah. hold them there, I would be tempted to well, stay. But... My plan is to get in there and start uh, arting them into it. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That's sick. What the hell? All right. Uh, I hate that's how your brain soldiers, works. It's so clever. Um, so good. The soldiers, one rolled a 13, one rolled a natural 19, so 24. Uh, and the uh, elemental rolled a 5. So The DC 17. Yeah, so one of the soldiers yeah, makes it. it. The other two enemies in there do not. All right. Uh, that's 25 fire damage. Oh, my goodness. And uh, half on a, on a made save, I'm assuming? Uh, that is correct. Um, okay. Any creature that ends their turn inside the ring or uh, enters it uh, for the first time on a turn mm -hmm. will then take another 5d8 damage. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. 25. 5d8 noise. Hold on, I'm doing math and it's hurting my fucking brain. Does walking through it take damage as well or no? Nah, no, I mean like, you don't take damage on the start of your turn so they can yeah. just easily walk out. Okay. I don't know if like that act of like walking through that flame did damage as well. Okay. No. Unfortunately not. But if okay, we could okay, 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 okay. But if we could push them back in. Uh right. Through. So that that happened. Damage has been uh, tallied. There's just three creatures being surrounded by this like wall of fire. Um Demond. So you run away, you see that happen. What is it you want to do with your uh your action? This has changed. Wait, no, you going. action to, to disengage, right? I used my action to disengage. Yeah, so you have a bonus yeah. action if you want to use it. Uh, um, 
during my run, mm -hmm. seeing this, <clears throat> I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Improved Erden okay. on the circle. Oh, are you going to Erden like around the fucking wall of fire? So they well? can't move away from the fire! They oh can, but it, it, they it's harder. have reduced movement. Yeah. Um, okay. So... Teamwork makes the dream work. You uh, genius, you. <laughs> so... Uh, they smart. take 1d6 arcane damage when they enter the circle. Yeah, so that's and now. And also at the start of their turn. So that's, yeah, so they take 1d6 damage now as well as at the start of their turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a two. So they okay. all take two arcane damage. Uh, and they all have their speed reduced by 10 feet. Okay. So even if they come out, Jesus they might fuck. not be able to get over to us. <clears throat> okay. Uh, question. Can they see through the wall of fire? The wall it's is opaque, opaque so right? it is not see-throughable. <laughs> so that makes it so that they can't miss his out, is it? That's, uh, <laughs> <'cause> Mrs. <laughs> if there are effects that require you to That's see, yeah. Mrs. Seth requires them to see where they want to teleport to, ah. so they do be yeah, stuck in there. Um, how, how tall is the column? Can they misty step out the top? <laughs> they could. It's a 20-foot tall thing, and Mrs. Seth is... Just fall back in. But the thing is, it's a 30-foot teleport, but it needs to be an unoccupied space that they can see, so that won't apply either. They're just stuck in there. They're just fucked. <laughs> they are just you literally would have to walk to the, yeah, to walk to the edge of it, then teleport. Yeah, they would have to the walk to, to the edge of it, to like be in the wall itself, to then teleport out, which is just not going to fucking happen, is it? All right. <laughs> Ooh, these boys are toast. Okay. Uh, like, damn. Yeah. Is that your turn, Devin? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's everything I can do. Although, okay. All right. I'm gonna <sighs> stop. I don't want to move the full thirty feet back. I want to move twenty-five feet back. Oh uh, yeah, sure. So that I'm so that that point you'll be yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you're like five feet away you from beat. the rest of your friends. Yeah. So I'm not in melee with any of the monsters. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. Uh Okay. So it's now um, has to unfuck this. The navigator I'm sees so all this happen. Right now. Dude, that's Wombo Denny, Wombo that's baby. that shit's that's sick. Great. That the whole firewall so thing is awesome. Uh the navigator is uh looking at the battlefield before him and uh Oh, he he has to make another deck save. Well, it's not it's not his turn. This is a legendary action oh, kind of thing okay. that he just okay. uh, uh Demon ends his turn, so now he gets to just be do something because he's a dick. Um He looks at you, uh Cornel, because he, you know, being a fellow magic user, he knows. He knows what you did. <laughs> and he's going oh. to no. hurl no. an ice orb at you. Ew. Uh Ooh. the navigator hurls an ice orb at a point it can see within 150 feet of him. So yeah. You're 120 feet away, so he, he can reach that. Uh, and it is centered on you. Um, a 15-foot radius sphere. Ooh. You moved away from the battlefield, right? On your turn, you were like, I'm going to... That is correct. Yeah. So I moved so, 30 so feet. Like you are the, the only one oh, being affected by this then. I would like for you to make targeted. a uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Excellent. Yes. I feel like you're great oh. at these, right? You're really dexterous. Uh, yeah, but this guy is a strong fucking magic user and has a high DC. <laughs> I don't think yeah, Emil is dexterous. Let me just say this isn't gonna end. You don't know. <laughs> don't want to make assumptions. Hey man. Yes. Twenty-three. Ooh. Twenty-three. Uh, you make the save, so you take half damage. What's half? Uh -oh. Sixty-two thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Unfortunately, it is eight d twenties. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey Google, roll 300 d8s. Uh, you would have oh taken God. 30 points of cold damage, but now you only take 15 points of cold there damage. There you go, it's chill. That's great. Uh, as this ice orb just like have to make a... hurls at you and just shatters and just like splinters of ice just <laughs> just, just cut you open from all, from all angles. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so that was Demon's turn. Ariamzi. And... Uh... Oh, sorry, I'm going to make a concentration check for the spell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh -oh. DC yeah. 10. Please don't fuck this up. Uh, don't 11. I just succeeded. So the oh, fuck it out. Out. Very good. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> You're right. killing himself um. again. <laughs> Ooh, is anyone in melee with me? Uh, oh. Yes, one of them is. Are they being a bitch? Always. <laughs> what a question. 
Are they being a bitch? Are yes. They? <laughs> yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yet. All right. Rank them in the kneecaps. Rank them in the kneecaps. I will attempt to hit them. I've been having such bad luck. Yeah, I believe you. Uh, you got this. Now's the time. Is it? Uh, you is have this advantage like this? because you are frightened. You know what? Okay. So I'm magic missling the big asshole again. Fuck it. Yeah, that works. Let <laughs> me disadvantage if you miss. When in doubt, use free damage. It always hits. <laughs> yeah. I was just discouraging magic myself down to oh, death. I just, just like, god fucking damn. <laughs> this bitch. This okay, is the okay, last okay, I'm okay, inviting okay. her to a D&D. <laughs> <laughs> Just sorry, I'm, really I'm gonna start horrible. giving everyone counter spell. Just always. But you, you you say that and you've committed to a campaign with her, so ha uh, ha. Shows nah. on you. True. Uh, that's twenty damage Mother to big boy. Frick her, dude. All right. Do you reckon there's like a magic missile build? Almost um, definitely. And okay. I'm gonna bonus action. I can switch up. I don't have to keep the same sign up, right? I can switch it. Yeah, you can do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, you can. You can. So swap I'm gonna them up. bonus action improved. Ard. Ooh. Ard. Because fuck this guy that's on me. What that do? Hold on. It does 2d8 force damage, either in a 15 foot cone or immediate radius. So I'm gonna do immediate radius. I'm assuming that'll be a five foot radius around me. I'm not sure. Uh, and then. Hmm. So that's a strength save. It says here. So. Yeah, strength save. Uh. Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay. Yep. Oh you, fuck! Are they strong? Well, oh, natural fucking one. Oh good. <clears throat> yeah. The two d eight force damage. Mm -hmm. Do they get pushed away? Uh, I guess yeah. it's just two d eight force damage. Do they get pushed away fifteen feet. It knocks them down. Does it? Yeah. It pushes them fifteen option. feet away and then down. Yeah. Oh nice. Okay. So. And that's only six damage, but force. Did you say this is improved, Dad? Yeah. Did you roll 2d8? It's 2d8 damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said only six. Okay. <laughs> six. Okay, so six well, points of damage. Well, this one. guy gets knocked 15 feet back and falls prone. Sucks to suck. <laughs> That's so toxic. I love it. Damn, all right. <laughs> That's my turn. That's your turn? Well, yeah. You're up next to <laughs> seen these cool users of abilities. We've seen, you know, this epic, like... Oh, no. Wall of fire with all the things. So I'm just gonna hit the thing that's in front of me. Uh, I'm just there's gonna. Nothing in front of you now because you killed it. Unless you. No, you... I moved. You no, moved I moved up, up to the one. one. Let me just one that's fucking killing. Uh, 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 uh Bree. So. Yeah. Uh I'm. I assume I put I put myself into a flanking position, so I'm going to roll with it. Of course, mate. Each. Of course. Uh, that is a twenty-nine to hit. Yeah. 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 I guess. I guess, Ridiculous. dude. I've been listening to the fucking... 20... <laughs> That's 24 points of damage. 24? Mother fricker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. And then I'm going to <laughs> attack again. <laughs> uh, oh, it's only, uh, it's only 19 this time. Oh, that still hits. Don't worry. Cool. Uh, yeah, can I roll some like good damage, please? Instead of like, nope, never mind. I should have opened my goddamn mouth. Rolled the worst I've rolled all day. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's twenty points of damage. I'm not the worst damage I've rolled all day. Twenty points of damage. I get plus fourteen to my damage. I rolled three d six. I rolled six total on three d six, and then get plus fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy in your melee, and hey, you, see, you yeah. see Wilhelm just cleaving him in half through the thick armor as it just falls, just kind of like, just like spreads apart and just collapses, and just you see just this caked in mud still, Wilhelm just kind of like <laughs> smiling at you from the other side. I do exactly what I did last time. I just go wherever the next closest one is, which I assume is the one that's now knocked prone. Uh, you would assume correctly, yeah. I'm just oh, gonna I fucking saw. walk to him, walk in front of him, and just wait, staring, oh just God, staring wait. him down, just All like right. he just looks up at you. It's <laughs> <laughs> still happen to your friends, okay. buddy. <laughs> is that your turn? Yep. 
Oh no, I will um, bonus action uh, Quen. Uh, okay. I have a feeling you have some magic and I'm not about that. Uh, it is now the navigator's turn. He needs to roll something? Now more? he, yeah, another deck save because he's still in lightning ball territory. Uh, Ten, but uh, I guess I'll use the first legendary resistance he has to no, make this anyway, you know? Okay, well at least I'm making him use up that shit. Yeah, I sure. just want to roll. This damage could be so good if I get to roll it. Hopefully, at some <laughs> it's point. It's the fact that he says the first that scares me. They usually have three, I think. So yeah, or two. You have any amount? He, he could have creature. thirty-two. He could have thirty-two. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> just Every what's the creature called? Five pounds of charity will remove a legendary resistance, guys. No, you know it's what? Just, I just love the no. idea of like <laughs> you've got when you've got like a party of casters. Putting an enemy in that only has like 30 health, but has like a hundred legendary resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, um, and on his turn... It's gonna use a, uh... Sorcery point. Uh, surrender. <laughs> yeah, he's going to, uh, use... <laughs> Three sorcery I points dislike. to I dislike. use the heightened spell ability. So that target of his next spell that wouldn't need to make a saving throw is forced to have a disadvantage. And is then going to let's see what kind of spells do we have here, boys? Is that lucky? Hey, okay. Weird thing. Doing. Only has support spells. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Healing word. <laughs> uh, no. It's vicious mockery. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah. He points at Wilhelm and goes. It's going to. Your, what was your sphere again? Your sphere was like lightning and stuff, right, uh, Laura? It's lightning. Yes, yes. Well, it's going to take a page out of your book, but it's well, going to bitch. cast Otenbook's no. freezing sphere. No, he's not. One look. Uh. Uh. Fuck it! It's explosion of sixty foot radius sphere, Mitch. And it has a 60 foot, foot radius? Range, so, 60 foot radius That's sphere. Huge. So, it that sends means it's it flying. That feet in diameter. So, <laughs> Demond, Wilhelm, Ariamzi, pretty much everyone. Right. <laughs> Literally there's no, everyone. There's no pretty much. It if is it just centers everyone. directly in the middle of between all of you, like you're all within 60 feet of it. So, yeah, well, 100% uh, everyone mm -hmm. needs I, to make a constitution saving throw. Well, it'll be con. So, it's fine. Real quick, a big man not good because at Because he used heightened spell. No. Ooh, disadvantage. How would that work? It says we here. No. When it casts a spell that forces a creature to make a saving throw to resist the spell's effects. Uh, forces a creature to make a saving throw. Yeah, and because it hits all of you, all of you have disadvantage on the save. Yeah, that's yeah it's, not. Works. Oh, uh, it's not. Oh, wait. It's not. It's not uh, like the next target. It's like yeah, forces a creature to make a disadvantage. Yeah. Disadvantage so all is of you make a con here. save with disadvantage. And I've got, yep. I've got good con. Uh, Thanks to uh, disadvantage, uh, I rolled a 12. I had a 19. I had a 17. I now have a nat 1. <laughs> oh. oh. 18. I, 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 seven's not going to do it, is it? With disadvantage? 19 or so 18 much. for me. I hate uh, you nice. so much. Same. Seven. I have never hated you more <laughs> okay. than I do right now. You've never even hated me. <laughs> That's what you think. Oh, oh, okay. uh, the truth comes out. Rude. I'm gonna kill your rat. Who of you? No. Who of you rolled <laughs> under sixteen? Oh my See, goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no, this is the smallest no. one. She is we're five foot, just... ninety pounds, soaking so... wet. That's why we're out people. of the way. We're all just gonna turn to Ari Emzy. <laughs> Tell our tale. <laughs> yeah, it, it um, man just got fucked over. Yourself. Those of you that failed the save, mm -hmm. no. take 30, 3 0. <laughs> oh, points Sorry, of cold damage. That well, that's half to 15 because of my uh, Quen. There you go. Uh, 15 for our uh, for REMZ. I dislike that. And. No. Hold. We're stunned. Hold. No. Hold. Hold. Don't stun no. me, no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm holding. I don't know uh -huh. what. Uh -huh. Shut the fuck. I'm holding. <laughs> A lot of text going on, right? Um, do it. No, that's it. Oh, All of that for that. Oh, 
Fuck Bring up a fucking page of additional text, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget the anything. Which is additional text. <laughs> I'm... a note that's like, by the way, if you hate your players, use this spell on them. <laughs> well, I gotta check and see if that wall's still up now. Yeah, uh, 30, Ooh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 15. 15 yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to roll you, for the lightning spear. DC 15 for you as well. Yeah. Don't fuck this up. And is it a straight roll? <laughs> or... It doesn't matter. Hey, he's, done it. he's done it! He's done it! Hey. 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 So the wall of fire still exists. Let's go. And, and the lightning ball is still up too. Lightning ball is still up. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good shit. That's your third nat 20, Denny? That's my yeah. third nat 20. Damn, dude. All right. Oh. I'm nearly on Never throw hey, away that one, dice so ever. Yeah, use that. that fucking forever. keep that one. <laughs> if you hate if you hate your uh, campaign at any point, you just want to do a TPK oh, uh, with your players. Just, now... just... Unfortunately for them, these are the dice I always use. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, it is now the elemental's turn that is stuck in the wall of fire. So it begins well, its turn in the wall of fire. Does that do anything to it? Like, it... No, it has to uh, end its turn or re-enter it Ooh. in it any takes, turn. It takes 1d6 arcane damage. Oh, okay. That's Go a six, it. baby. Hey, there well, we go. Pain damage. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever. Whatever its movement Worst. is, it's minus ten foot. Uh, okay. So that gives a twenty feet movement. Uh, How big is it? Is it twenty foot radius? radius? It is a twenty foot radius. So it would need to move twenty feet to get to the edge, correct? <laughs> it would be in so. the edge. It so it, it, it. it ends its turn still in the range because it can't do shit because it can't see through it. Like it's it still could, there. It so, could yeah. dash. It's yeah. a dumb big stone yeah. man. Yeah, no, he's going to dash, but like he's gonna that makes him walk through the wall and still take damage, right? So it doesn't fucking matter. No, no, no it doesn't. As long as he doesn't walking through the wall turn, doesn't though. deal damage. Hold on, yeah. I'm gonna make this decision based on their intelligence score. Would it be smart enough to just kind of run through, or is it just kind of stun locked there, like oh, dude, big rock, don't know what to? Minus, like, oh, well, like minus three intel intellect. It doesn't know what the fuck it's doing, dude. It just sees nothing. It just kind of stands there. It just it just ends a turn there. It's way too stupid to Only make that decision. Only than Wilhelm. So it does end its turn. Wilhelm's got in, a twelve. Um... <laughs> He's got six on charisma though. He's got... It has a five I intelligence want to score total, so it is not very smart. And it takes 23 points of fire damage. God damn. 23. Right. Mr. Snow Cone. Alrighty. Shit. That's that guy's turn. Uh, Brianna, you're up. A dilemma. Nobody okay. in your melee. Nobody. Nearest bad guy is 15 foot away from you, uh, knocked prone, and has a Wilhelm just glaring at it. Oh, knocked prone. Yes. Okay. Thanks to then RMZ's uh, Ard. I will, bonus action, I will drink my white honey mutagen. Ooh. So I'll have advantage on my next save. After taking that big ol' hit, I be scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, <clears throat> and you. then I will go up to the guy who's prone and try and just like, ugh, great sword into him in the ground. Yeah, right attack with advantage because it's pr he's prone, so... It ain't going nowhere. I rolled, I rolled the same on both dice. Dude. Oh wait, I I should reroll because I didn't declare what style I was doing before. Wait, cool. um, Have you used your DM inspiration by, uh, yet, by the way? Uh, get advantage on nope. the initiative. Oh, no, I haven't no, used mine. Oh, Pai, 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 sorry. Oh, so nope. you still have the inspiration. Nice. Just, uh, okay, good to yeah. know. So I'm no, gonna so I'm gonna use the no, evasive style. So until my next turn, I guess, because he basically styles as plus one to your AC when I'm two-handing a sword. I guess that's just till my next turn, because then I would change, like, you declare a style. When you, you basically, one. you can change it every turn. Yeah. Yeah, so right now I'm evasive but style. But if you say my evasive AC style now, one. that lasts until yeah. you declare a different okay. fighting style, essentially. Okay. So evasive style. Natural 20. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Alrighty, <clears throat> and is that with the great sword? Uh, it is my paragon great sword. A lot of damage on a crit, baby. Let's, uh, let's fucking have it. So I already have twelve damage, and now I roll the two d six because it's two d six. So, oh, that's kind of shit. So twelve plus five plus five ten twenty two slashing damage on that one. As I <laughs> Jesus into the Christ, is he still he's still not dead yet? Still alive, but barely breathing, as uh, the scripts once said. All right. So then we pull the sword back out, and I'm going to go and try and decapitate him. Hell yeah. Ooh. I'm not a natural 20! Jesus fucking oh, Christ, yeah. dude! Yeah! 
Pick some more guns, yeah. make it not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. So that is for a total of 12 plus 10, 22 plus 5, 27. Damage. Uh, one in four hundred chance. I mean, bearing in mind that she, she does have advantage. I'm rolling so, with advantage yeah, both times. I don't know what that does to the odds, but you know, it uh, <laughs> makes it one in two hundred. Because I'm rolling two dice. No, still it's... very unlikely, but you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah no, no, so this guy, it. you just completely jam your greatsword just like right between like the the where the helmet ends mm. and the like neck plating yeah. of the chest piece begins, and just jam yeah. your greatsword there and just. <laughs> And the, the head just comes clean off. All right. Cool. Uh, that means That's that my just turn. For, your, for your guys' reference, there's still two soldiers up. Yep. Uh, and big two boy. elementals and the main man himself. Yep. The navigator. Uh, That's, I'm done. That's my turn. <laughs> but the two remaining soldiers are stuck in a wall of fire, and one of the elementals as well. Hey. So, <laughs> there's one elemental still like 60 feet away, hurling fucking ice rocks at people, and the rest of the bad guys, barring the navigator, are all just are collected trapped. in this fucking <laughs> cylinder of flames. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, and they take damage from that on their turns, right? Uh, if they end the turn in it, yeah. So the elemental just took like 20 odd damage before still beating in it at the end of his turn. Uh, yeah. Or, or if we push them back into it, they'll take damage then. They'll as take well. it Because again, they enter right? it for the first time, I guess, technically, yeah. Yeah, like and on a again. turn. It doesn't have to be on their turn. Yeah, that's nutty. Right, right. Fuck. Oh, I see that's just some art bullshit's going to happen. Um, <laughs> is that your turn, uh, Brianna? Yes, yes. Okie dokie. E the soldier in the fucking ring of fire is a bit smarter than the big fuck-off lumbering rock creature. Is he and though? is going to use his full movement. Uh, minus 10 feet, I guess, because of the Earden. Oh, I would... So is yeah, it going to move, like, yeah. use 20 feet of oh, movement? Oh, he also takes three points of arcane damage. Okay. Uh, three, <laughs> 20 feet of movement to get on the edge. Yeah. So he's standing in the wall. I'll say that because he's on the edge, he can see out of it now because he's like literally in it, and he's going to use bonus mm -hmm. action to uh, blah, 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 shadow shadow step. Misty step. Called? Misty step. That's the one, uh, and appear right next to Demond, uh, and is going to use his action to attack with its uh, frost great sword. And because it just teleported, it gets advantage on his. Oh, he's a bitch. Attack. He's a bitch. So that is. Roll low, please. 11 plus... 5? 16? No! Misses? Alright. No! Thank God for that. And that is its turn. Praise the gods. Uh, number 4 is dead as fuck, so I need to remove him from this list. Bye. Uh, the <laughs> elemental that just hurled a fucking rock of ice at uh, Cornel is... I don't he's just gonna this. fucking do it again with no, this advantage here. but he's just Stop gonna that. do it again it's just gonna do it again you know it's just kind of doing it uh with this advantage makes it a 16 to hit that's a miss there you go and again <laughs> th this big block of ice it takes so long for it to get to you that you just again just move away a few steps Right next to this you. This one, the animated shield did have to come up and kind of like tilt it out of the way. <laughs> nice. And that's its fucking turn, man. It just it's, it, it'd be chilling up there. And now it is your turn, Cornel. So. Ooh yeah. Oh, I'm uh, Let's be having. What? It. Oh, ab. All right. Um, have him. Have him. Oh, Fuck him all. Put this together. All right. Let's so. Go. Let's see. Yeah. Um, when the elemental spawned in, they were sixty feet away from the the caster, which was yes. also also sixty feet away from your where, group. So they're like in the middle of the battlefield. Yeah. Um, where is the ring of fire? Uh, thirty feet away no, no, no. from from the group. So ninety feet away from the caster, thirty feet from the other elemental, uh, and thirty feet away from the rest of the group. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to. <laughs> um. Crap. Okay. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to bonus action Quen, uh, just because I'm taking a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to action dash and go uh, put the ring of fire between myself and that other elemental that's not in it. So okay. that way it either has to move or I'll at least be out of its line of sight. Okay, so yeah, you're basically blocking line of sight uh, of it with uh, your uh, ring of fire or your wall of fire that is also ring, a ring of fire. I guess. Okay, cool. And I'd also like to move closer to the ring of fire. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all gotta stop saying ring of fire. I'm gonna get Johnny Cash on my head too much. <laughs> Y'all just stop. And it burns, 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 let's, burns. Let's say um, I'm gonna get ten feet close to the to the the wall of fire. Okay, okay. Is that your turn, good sir? Yes, it is. All right. Um, the other soldier, who is also caught in the uh, ring of fire, or uh, wall of fire, sorry. The circular wall Needs to take a d6 fire. damage, I believe, Ethan? Yes. Okay. Roll that, That's please. That's a six, baby. Boy, oh. that means he doesn't get a turn, because you get five hit points left, so he's dead. <laughs> So he Bitch. begins to want to move towards the edge of the fire and then just suddenly crumbles. And you don't, don't see this, but he just <laughs> falls down. Just <laughs> um, Okay. He's no boy dice. So. Uh, that makes it uh, Demon's turn welcome. instead. Okay. <clears throat> well, there's a dude in my melee now. There do be a dude in your melee. How is he looking? Bloodied. Hmm? Bloody Bloodied. Yes. He's bloodied, you see. Yeah, he's a bit. He's, he looks a bit like his armor is black, but you can still see like some of the soot on the more shiny bits. Like he's been, he's been singed a bit by a certain uh, wall of fire. So, to my knowledge, not knowing that one dude died. Uh huh. How many people do I think are still in the ring of fire? Just <laughs> an elemental and a soldier. I don't know the soldier's dead. Yeah, so there is, in reality, there's only an elemental in there still, but last you know, there were two soldiers in there and an elemental, and one soldier came out. You saw. Okay, let so. me just check something. What's the range of this? Cool. I'm going to move right. around to the side of this guy that's trying to shank me. Uh, are you staying in his melee, though, or are you leaving his melee? Yes. Okay. I just want to move to put him between me and the wall of fire okay and then thinking that there's two people in there uh-huh i'm gonna point the dragon's wrath forward and unleash a 30 foot cone of acid oh my god okay Dexterity acid. Falls, please so the the elemental in there and this guy make dex saves a lot of d6s both of them fail the highest roll was a fucking eight for the soldier okay so uh, the minimum I can roll on this is an 8. It's likely going to be much higher than that. Mm -hmm. So. That's all your damage, man. Oh. Holy fuck, is it 8d6? Yep. Um, Sheesh! I'm digging up more damn. d8s. Uh, d6s, sorry, not d8s. It's. I'm digging out d6s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight. Wow. Well. Right. I mean, this should sound really good. Oh, fuck. I lost one. Nice. Good job, man. Proud of you. I'll roll that one again. Uh, six, 12, 18, 20, 26, 28, 31, 32 points of acid damage. Oh, and yeah. And you take full damage if they fail. You Hell see yeah. the, the the guy right in front of you just begins to like just like melt. You can see his armor kind of just like <laughs> getting singed through, and it just he just right, 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 and and falls down and crumbles. You hear this again, this like loud sound, as if you know that that similar sound of like the, the ice breaking on the, mm -hmm. and traveling under the surface of the ice, as the elemental inside the cone just begins letting out a scream. Uh, 
32, you said? Yes. Fucking hell, me. So as far yeah. as you can tell now, uh, the only people alive are the navigator and his elementals. One okay. of which is stuck in the... How far away is the navigator from me? I mean, you walk 25 feet back, right? Uh, I was... By moving to the get this guy in between me and the circle, I would now be 30 foot away from where I was. I would now be next to the group again. So 120 feet then. Okay, 120 feet. Aye. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know if they're dead in the, in the wall or not. Uh, so I've got 25 foot of movement left, so I'll move 25 foot up. Mm-hmm. And I will bonus action, drink a swallow potion. Alrighty. Yeah. Hit the mic on accident, shit. sorry. <clears throat> is that your turn, good sir? That is my turn. Okay, let's see if the navigator deems it time for another legendary action, shall we? He um... just watched us do some pog shit, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna yeet another ice orb your way. This time centered on. Oh wait, is this this thing? Yeah, this is the thing that it's like. Oh no, never mind. This is not that thing. Uh, do 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 do. Wilhelm. Is it the point you have to see? Uh, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna be in it. No, no, you're fine. Hello. Uh, this is not the 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 the, the, the ice sphere. This is the ice orb. The one thing that he hurled at you earlier. Um, oh yes. It is a 15-foot radius sphere, so if he centers it on... Uh, he can get it so that it hits R.E.M.Z., Wilhelm, and Brianna, because they were all kind of like... R.E.M.Z. was 15 foot away from the guy that she knocked Why? prone, and Wilhelm and uh, Brianna moved up to it. So if he centers the ball to be right between them, it will hit all three. So I need Ariemzi, Wilhelm, and Brianna to make a dexterity saving throw. I get advantage because of my white honey that I drank. Frick yeah. Advantage on my next save. Hey, so it's a dex save? Yes. 19. The advantage only marginally helped me there. Uh, 16. In 19. I don't have high hopes for 17. That. 17. Okay. Uh... Wilhelm I'm sorry. Makes a, Wilhelm makes a save. The other two fail. Ah! Waste of the white honey. Wait, 17 fails? Yes. Fuck the DC for this is quite high. I'm so glad I'm not there. Uh, those who fail the save take 22 Wait. points of cold damage. <laughs> <laughs> and those who make I'm the save, looking. so Wilhelm takes 11 points of cold damage. Really bad. Then my 22? second point. Yeah, I'm not looking too yes. hot. So I'm then blind. my second point of Quen activates, so I actually take five. 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 Yeah. Someone kill that man, please. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Which I'm, that man? I'm Which trying. One? He won't get hit by my lightning. I didn't mean the navigator. Yeah, I knew oh. it. I fucking knew it. Right. Uh, <laughs> REMZ, it is your turn now. Oh, wait. If the navigator just went, did he no, roll a dex no, it save? Was, uh, no, 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 that was a legendary action at the a end of the oh, yeah. oh, I need to roll a, a concentration check. So if yeah. I took 22 points of damage, the DC is 11? Yes. Yeah. On just 10 or is half it, of the total it, damage. What taken. do we add to the dice? It's, con. it's just a con check. Not a con save? No. <laughs> no, it's a check. It's just I think D20 it's a check. Oh, yeah. my lightning It's a concentration balls. save, but it's God. actually a constitution check, which is, makes zero yeah. sense, but whatever. My lightning ball's gone. I oh. only rolled an eight. Pretty sure. Wait, let me actually double check now. Roll. If he'd ever actually failed yeah, that, that he could have had to take 4d12. Yeah. It, it is I don't think that's true. Con, but... No, it's a... Uh... No, it's a con save. It's a con save. It's a con save. I make it, because yeah. I have a higher... So I rolled a 12. Yeah. No, I turned it around. It it's a concentration check. But it's actually yes. a constitution saving throw. Woo! Right. So I'm fine. I just barely squeezed by then with my saving throw. You add your saving throw, your 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 saving throw number for that. Language Talk. is hard. Linguistic. Yeah, just make it all the same bullshit. fucking word. If it's a constitution save, make it a concentration save. Or vice versa. You know what I mean? It's not that hard, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Just, like constitution, just make it constitution. Why would we do right. that when instead they can make dwarves medium but humans small? Uh, no, I had to turn around, oh. just my bad. But uh, that does mean we'll that your, uh, your your orb does stick around after all. It's still all. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ariemzi, you are up. 
I'm giving him another magic missile. Hell yeah. <laughs> just keep I hate my fucking so rolls. Just hit use all those spell slots to just fucking or charges or whatever the fuck it is you're using. <laughs> No, you're using charges from your uh, your your cloak or cape. What was it? Yeah, cloak of stars or something. Fifteen. In points of damage. Yeah, hell yeah. Is and... this the only damage he's taken so far? Yeah, yeah pretty much. He's only been attacked <laughs> or hit by the. That's REMZ doing missiles. all the work. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Diamond's and then half his side, improved... whittling away at him. Improved Quinn, as well, for bonus action. Okie dokie. Not that it's gonna save me if I get hit by anyone, but you know I gotta do. Yeah, we're we're, a so. we're looking a wee bit rough. <gasps> Wait, can Ready? I heal myself? You, you can, can, but I think it's, it's an, an action, action because it says it's an action for me to do it, like to touch the nails and heal other creatures. So I'm assuming it's also an action to like just touch yeah. yourself somewhere yeah, and heal. Yeah. <laughs> so I think yeah. it's an action. <laughs> All right. Well, bonus action, Quinn. Improved. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Wilhelm. But things get dire, okay. you can't use an action to power up your so, name. <laughs> so... How... How close is the nearest thing to me? Elemental mm. or navigator? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, on... That you can see? Yeah. There's a large frost elemental 45 feet away from you, just hurling it ice... Would, hurling it, ice it, rocks it, at fucking Cornelius. <laughs> he fucking would be 45 feet away, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, he was 60. You move 15 up. Basic maths, mate, isn't it? Yeah, but that's slightly out of my range, which is fucking cringe. I Fuck mean, it. You do know that there is still something in that wall of fire, but you know, if, do you want to walk in that? Because that's thirty feet away. But you know, it's, it's, I'll leave it up yeah, to you to, to decide if you want no, to. Fuck <laughs> that. No, fuck that. no, instead, driven by Bubble, seeing this fucking, I'm gonna look. Is there a path I can take where I don't enter anyone's uh Maybe. fucking melee and just come hand towards the navigator? As long as you avoid the wall of fire, like yeah. If you avoid yeah. the, um, if you like walk gonna, around the elemental that you can see, gonna, you, gonna you, can, dash. you can get forty feet closer to him. Uh, or that if you dash, no, not forty feet. If you dash, yeah. that would be sixty feet. You'll have to do an extra like a five feet loop around him. So yeah, you get fifty five feet closer to your target. I will just head 50, 50 Sorry, fifty. Straight for the navigator, just gonna look, try and try and look him in his eyes, and just give him this fucking stare. Great sword out, just yeah. kind of slow walk, fucking forward, okay. just like just looking. Um, I can't. Can I re up? Can you re up, Quen? Or do you? Can you not do it twice in a row? I can't remember. How, I don't know how the fuck does this shit work again. Uh, I Quen. Uh, I think any of the signs you have to alternate. Must reactivate the power on the following turn. Oh. This may be activated oh. as a... Oh. I see, right, because it kind of stays in effect until it gets used, so you just use yeah. your bonus action to keep it. Signs up. cannot yeah. be used yeah. Con yeah, 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 consecutively. Yeah. Once a sign is used, but... it cannot be used again until your next turn. So you can't, like, Quen, then take an attack of opportunity, then Quen again. So... Yeah, no, but... Yeah. The way this is written, as long like, as it say hasn't you get hit used. once, so there's one charge gone, but Quen is still up, you can use a bonus action to up that extra charge. Oh, no, again. no, no. So, no, so my, my Quen's gone, so I can't use oh, it again. No, now, the, now you have to actually actually like alternate, I believe. Okay, yeah. That's how yeah, I, that's I that's interpreted awesome. it, at least. So, that's just so I can... Is, is there... Where have my 60 foot of movement up? Is there uh, someone within fucking 25 foot cone? Yeah, the elemental that you like walk past. Fuck it. Yeah. I'll just 25. I'll just Igni that one then. Fuck it, yeah. For the bonus action. Fuck it. I mean, you need to get deck save, whatever the fuck we say it is. Uh, yes. I mean, this oh, is boy. a large fucking. Yeah, it's a 5 minus 2. It's three. 9 points of fire damage, baby. Uh, Alright. Or an 8 and a 1. Very good. <laughs> Exactly <laughs> average. Kidoki, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. That right. will be it is my... now the navigator's turn, so does it deck need to save. do another deck save? I mean, if he moves away from the lightning ball eventually, he's up, but he hasn't moved, right? No, he's still he just been yet. sitting there flinging uh, shit. He's tanking it. 
Five that plus four, terrifying. so nine. So he's going to use a second legendary resistance to just not give a fuck yeah, about it. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Little bit. Hey, the fact that he's just tanking, it terrifies me. I really um, want like a command where we just, whenever we're getting tilted by legendary resistances, just that voice clip of Duke losing his mind. Oh, fucking legendary resistances just comes up. <laughs> fucking um, nothing. Okay. <laughs> it sees your challenge, uh, oh, Wilhelm. <laughs> And he, because you were 105 feet away, yeah. move 50 feet closer. You're within 55 feet. feet of him. You move 55 yep. feet. So he's going to yeah. walk up 30 feet and then Misty Step himself as a bonus action to get in your melee. Oh, yes. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, I know. And then he's going to attack you. And just attack you twice with this big fuck off staff that he has. Just dunk, dunk. I have a question. I'll probably have an answer. What's up? Is this going to be magical damage? I mean, any attack made with a magic weapon is technically magic. Magical oh, it's such bollocks. Damage. It's yeah. such bollocks. <laughs> uh -huh. so, it isn't magic stuff. It's the stick that casts spells. It doesn't fucking mean uh -huh. it's magic. God, I hate this fucking game, dude. Oh, it's I like, uh, quarter staff and it's enchanted. Therefore, it's, it's got to be magic. Oh, it's enchanted. It, okay, it's fine. Yeah. It's so, that, like... Fuck Fuck you for real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> is he like oh, is he oh, like the other the monsters? The first one. Yeah, the hit chick go fucking crit me right now. Let's see what God. happens. <laughs> oh my God. Almost dead as well. Natural 19 just, on the second one. Just to tilt the Koiba a little more. Yeah. yeah. Is he like the other ones where they got advantage for coming out of Misty Step? Uh, no. <laughs> what? Okay. No. No. <laughs> no, because if Dutch, if you crit me, it wouldn't matter anyways. The 22 and 26 to hit. So... Oh yeah, those are... Uh, those, uh... Okay. That's it. Because I can't be crit. Bitch. At the same time. Same twin. Dude, you seem to kind of crit. Uh, I'm going to need you to bitches. calm it down, son. No, I'm freaking out. Okay. All is for wussies. True. I'm just amping myself up so I can just get my own natural 20 on this guy and fucking dick uh, him. Do you have your quen? No, you don't have your quen up. No, I don't! Because... <laughs> oh, it's the fucking rules! <laughs> <laughs> God, dude, uh, for both attacks, you take a total of 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's not too bad. As well as... Oh, no. Oh, see, well, then... This, oh, God. this makes sense that now was... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, you take 48 points of go fuck yourself damage because it's a fucking staff of magic. Go fuck yourself. Oh, I dig it. How much do you say? Purely magical, of course. How much do you say? 48? Oh, that's 42. You fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. 42 points of cold damage. Oh, oh my god. Are you, are you still up? Yeah, I'm oh. fine. Get in the bin. <laughs> what the fuck? Why am I getting in the yeah, bin? Yeah, fine. Why am I getting in the bin? How are you still fine? You have like shit combo. It's a D8 bludgeoning damage, but you know, it also happens to do 5d8 of cold damage per hit, you know? That's just kind of what it is. Yeah, let like, maybe not get in melee with this dude. Hey man, you I have 13. You fucking challenge That's this guy. the only damage I can do. Fucking step up, motherfucker. Hey man, hey, man. hey man, I've got 13 health and a death witch. Let's fucking go. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, <laughs> guess what, buddy? This really? guy's gonna fucking make your wish come true. Oh. So. Woo. I can't wait for this ice elemental to turn do around and kill me. Do we him or do we we made him in the ring of fire. <laughs> Which one? The, the one Woo! that's outside? It's or... not in the fucking cone. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, no, this is the one in the cone. No, I like this. This is the one in the cone. Oh, okay. This is the one in the cone. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, I, just, I, saw, I, just... I saw elemental. And I... It's the wrong one. It's number two. Number two in the cone. Damage. It just Come fucking down. Down. Bring, it, bring it back down, guys. We're all up here. I'm going to need you guys to be like down here somewhere. Just no. Bring the energy. Five points. Again, another drink real quick because I fucking Shut up. <laughs> just angry. <laughs> Fucking love the guy, dude. I love him. I love him so much. Did, did he hear know. five points of arcane damage? <laughs> oh, uh, five, five points, points of arcane. arcane. This guy's so close to being dead. It's not even uh, fucking funny. It's hurt. It's health. panicking. It's gonna dash and runs out of the dome. I'm gonna run a d4. Oh. A roll a d4 to see whether he goes north, east, south, or west. To one, so he's going north, so he's running towards where like the, the bad guys were, towards the cliff, so away bad. from you, Cornel. So towards Wilhelm. 
No, Wilhelm is more like on the left of it. So he's just going to go straight north. He walks out of it, looks around. And that's his turn. Rihanna. All right. Um, so now I could close. I could be, get within melee of Mr. Navigator because he teleported close to Wilhelm and I was close to Wilhelm before. Well, he I killed Wilhelm away, so. You'd have to oh. dash, but you can't. You'd do have it. to dash to get in his melee. But, but that, that dash takes my action, doesn't it? Correct. Yeah. Uh, okay, instead, I'm going to move my full 30 feet towards getting closer. But as I move, since it's an action, I'm uh, going to. 30 feet would bring you in melee with the elemental that wasn't in the in the fiery vortex of doom. But I want to. I want to fight Big Man. Yeah, well, he happens that to be on the way man. to Big Man, so he's there. Okay, fine. <laughs> How far? But what, does it take my full movement? Yeah, get, thirty feet. Oh, it doesn't matter. Thirty feet, pretty much. Oh, uh, see, but that. But now, see, the point is like this made me feel fine about using my action to heal because I couldn't hit something. But now you're telling me I could hit something. Yeah, I'm just, just use your action to heal. You could hit. If you still want to heal? You can. Like, don't worry about it. You nah. can hit anything if you're unconscious. Yeah. That's okay. True. I'm gonna move towards the navigator, ignoring the ice elemental. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to get in its melee. I want to Yeah, no, you can. You can shit. kind of, like, skirt around a little yeah. bit. And, and then I will use my action as I'm striding over the last of the glow fades from my nail polish. Now they're just a nice normal red and not a magical red. Uh, give myself the wee baby five hit points that were left in them. But it's okay. better that than might nothing. be enough to keep you alive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and then bonus action, because I used up the white honey, I will drink my other... I'll drink my thunderbolt, because it lasts for five minutes. Okay. So that's my turn. All right. Uh, the elemental that is pretty much between Brianna and Wilhelm now. Uh, doo -doo. I'm gonna roll d20 odds and evens odds it hits doo -doo. Wilhelm evens it's gonna target Brianna I, I'm sorry Koiba but that do be odds <laughs> it's, it was nice to you boys five which um, is a historically cremated right um we want to burn him that would make the smell stronger yeah but do we want to <laughs> leave him in the ground <laughs> it's gonna walk. Leave no, it's gonna legacy. stay where it is, but it's just gonna it's just gonna chuck a fucking big fuck off block of ice at you. Ooh, of course. How about no? <laughs> Fifteen to hit. Misses. There you go. So Ooh. it it hurls the block of ice. It's, you see it coming, thick. and you kind of brace yourself with your thick heavy thick heavy armor and just <laughs> just tank it. Just fucking tank it. The, the extra like ten layers of shit caked on you. Just adds to the protection <laughs> your armor gives. Why you years to get on there, you prick? <laughs> <laughs> Burning away right. your grime. No. Freezing away. Just... Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boop, boop, boop. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Uh, that is its turn. Corneal, you're up. It's your boy. All right. I'm uh... Get it again with another Fortnite video. <laughs> oh, why? Damn, why you call me out like that? Um, I'm going to uh, bonus action drink the uh, the swallow potion I have on me because uh, staying alive is nice. That's yeah, no, pretty good. Drop the second one. Overrated. Okay, a max and a min, so we got seven HP. Okay, you know, it is what it is. Well, yeah, yeah more is better. Sometimes um, maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Sometimes indeed. All right, <laughs> so that's drank. I, I'm going to. Uh, let's see. We've got the wall of fire. I'm ten feet of it. Uh, I would like to like navigate around the wall of fire to the point where I can see the navigator. Uh huh. How much of my speed will that take? Uh, due to your wall of fire. Mm -hmm. Because you use it to block your vision, block it so that the other elemental didn't have vision off you, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to keep the wall between me and hostiles. Okay. Uh, if you were to move like 10 feet, kind of like along towards like towards the west, you'll have a visual on both the elemental and navigator. Fantastic. Firebolt of the navigator and then move back. All right. Yeah, fuck it. Right. Roll your attack. Uh, for a 27 to hit. Sorry? 
27? Yeah, yeah, that will, I guess. All right, 16 fire damage coming his way. Beautiful. All righty. Very good. And then you just use your movements, the rest of your movements to just skirt right back. <laughs> There's nobody even in your wall of fire anymore. You're just using it as cover now at this point. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it <laughs> had multiple purposes. It. What? Beanie? Can you, what? Can you reposition it or is it just. Unfortunately not. Keep us no. warm, though. You can I know because the fire is on the inside, so on the outside you don't feel anything, right? It's just it's yeah. just a colored beam of whatever. Just go in the middle, you'll be warm for the rest of your life. <laughs> your very short, short life. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, back to top of initiative. Uh, Demond. Uh, I mean, it's a shit show. It do be. <laughs> People are hoiting, but uh, it's. I'm gonna you know. move 30 feet forward. Aye. I'm going to. You move for yourself. Now I'm going to stow my blades. You moved yourself. Uh... I was back where everyone started. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm gonna move 30 foot forward. Beautiful. Over right. to, I guess, where Corneal is. Uh, towards. If you go towards the uh the the the, the wall of fire. Yeah? I mean, I, it's sort of in... I have to go around one side or the other, right? So... Yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah, Um. Uh, I, I'm gonna stole my two scimitars. Mm -hmm. I, mm, I don't know. No, fuck it. Demond wouldn't know that. Uh, I'm gonna draw my longbow. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot twice at the navigator. Okay. Once. Hey, Demons, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, because you work well with poisons, are you good with alcohol as well? His other character is. <laughs> Dead silence. Um, one's a 19, one's a natural 20. Ooh, okay. Uh, 19 does also hit. This is not magical, by the way. Fair. Because I thought about it, and then I was like, no, Demon does no idea if they have magic resistance. Understandable. Um, you know, the one that 20, I guess, negates the resistance. So the first oh. one, uh, oh, I get an extra. Oh, no, it's only melee damage, Thunderbolt. So the first one is the crit. So that is 18 points of piercing damage. How much? 18. Uh, Half to nine, I suppose, right? I don't know. Is it half, Mr. DM? Yes, it is. Okay. The second shot is 11, half to 5. Okay. And then... I'm slowly will... but surely whittling away at this guy. I will bonus action... Don't worry. Improved Quen. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, see. Do we just chuck another legendary action in there real quick? You know? He's fuck currently it. got two arrows jutting out of him, so... And Koiba's just, no, no, nodding. It looks... Let me open more turn. It looks at the elemental that is within 20 feet of him and kills it. Offs it. And it is going to put a staff up and you can see it sucking out uh, the energy out of the elemental. <gasps> is it healing from right, its minion? It it. Uh, the elemental takes some necrotic damage. He's fucking healing himself with... What a He's like He's... vampiric touching this shit, but from a distance. Yeah. The He's elemental takes 11 points of necrotic now. damage. What a bitch! And the navigator uh, regains three sorcery points. Three sorcery? Oh, he's not healing himself. <laughs> I feel like that's almost worse. It was just health, yeah, I guess, yeah, whatever. Yeah, right? no, the I three don't like sorcery points. He's healing our negative lives. True. Yeah. Oh, and, it's, oh, and suddenly now it's like, oh no, now he can just fucking twin spell or like power up spell again and just yeah. kill him. Yeah. Uh, RMC. Uh, uh, run. Okay. I Double abandoned my one. friends. Is anyone in melee with me? Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, sorry, go no. again. Is anyone in melee with me? No. Since Am you were kind of where uh, Brianna was, so you're going to have to move 50 feet up if you want to get into melee with... Uh, uh, 30 feet up to get a melee with the elemental, or 50 feet to get a melee with um, the navigator. 
person you were scared of is dead, I think. Dead. Yeah, okay. the, the guy that, you're, that frightened you is dead, so you're no longer frightened. Excellent. Um, Excellent. You yeah. know what? I got two more. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, magic missile, this baby. Fucking, this fucking shit. This, this, Where this, did this my fucking go, shit, though? dude. God damn I do the, I do the challenge. challenge. This item. I do the challenge, but like this fucking... Annoying little fucking gnat in the back just hitting. You should <laughs> just give all of your bad guys shield from now on. Yeah. No, because it's auto hit, so would a yeah, shield, that, the shield, shield, shield spell just stop shield literally states... is the actual counter. Oh. Yeah. Shield, shield is, like, is game... plus five to AC and immunity to magic yeah. missile. Yeah, <laughs> immune to the magic missile because that's fuck funny. you, that's why. <laughs> uh, so that's 17. I mean, you Pippin, uh, hold. Pippin he is now chunk. officially yeah. bloodied. Finally. Ooh, and officially don't worry, boys. It's my turn. I have <laughs> my improved Quen up already. I don't have to do another bonus action, right? To, I mean, no. not that I'm going to use my bonus action for anything else. But... No, uh, you already have it up, so you can just uh, leave it there. I'll go ahead and move closer to the person. No, I won't, actually. That's a terrible idea. I'm going to stay where I am. Okay, fair enough. Smart idea. Uh, well, no, I wish I did that. Uh, I'm going to bonus action use uh use Qu my improved Quen. Get that the fuck back up. Wish I had okay. it last round. Mm -hmm. Oh no. There's no one uh, no one around me, right? I no one I'm flanking with or anything. I'm just one beyonding this guy. No one else has moved up, right? You sure. I'm on my way there, but I'm not there yet. I'm 15 feet away, I believe. Hold that. I'm now. good. I'm That's not there. Right. Close enough. So I'm just gonna straight roll, hit this guy. Uh, I mean, that's a dirty 20 to hit. Yes. Go on, Koiba. Go on, Koiba. Come on. Okay, now's, now's the time for big numbers. Not this one or two bullshit I've been rolling every fucking time. Not this one or two bullshit. That's actually really fucking good. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 29 points of damage. Oh my oh, fucking ooh, goodness. Spicy. Okay. That's the elemental? No, this is the no, big main guy. navigator. This is big boy. Navigator. And then I'm going to attack him again. Hell yeah. Uh, that's a 23. Yeah. And then... Oh, fucking hell. So we D6. I'm trying to get everyone there. A little go. Everyone gets a go. And then... But 27 points of damage. Mm-hmm. Dutch wants to die. <laughs> mm. I think this is my last turn, boys. Dutch is looking at his legendary actions. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I, know exactly what, I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, How do oh, I squish this worst. little rat? <laughs> yeah, it's my turn. Uh, that is your turn? Yeah. So that 27. It's the navigator's turn. <clears throat> Bye. Bye, guys. Dex save. He's going to... Dexterity save. As an action. Yeet. He's hey. Oh, deck save. Hey. Sorry, 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 sorry. Go on, go on. <laughs> Wait, no, he fucked hey, up fire there. Did. That's not. That's no longer there. He moved up. Oh, oh true. He okay, true. he moved. How far did he move from the lightning ball? Like fifty odd feet. Okay. But Fuck. yeah, fifty-five. Fuck. He's going to double twat Wilhelm with a staff. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Uh, 18 to hit on the first one. Misses. 27 to hit on the second. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have that weird thing as well. You had earlier that 32 missed. No. Uh, 27 yeah. for me. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. So half to six. Mm -hmm. As well as 10, what, 13. Half a million. 13, mm. 20, 28 points of cold mm. damage. 28, half to 14. Yeah. Nice. He's still up. <laughs> no. I'm gone. He's dead. I'm unconscious. That's the first. Oh, no. He Ripperonis. And I'm now that he has position. no one in his melee oh, God. and looking extremely oh, rough. What a cunt. He's going to leave. He is going to try. Use his oh, sorcery no. points. No, he's oh, not. To activate quickened spell, so that he can cast Fuck a spell off. that normally has a cast of an action as a bonus action instead. Fuck off. And he's going to cast plane shift, and this no, I'm kidding. I big can't green <laughs> glow appears around him, and he what a dick! 
Hey man, we made him run away. We made from him. sight. Uh -huh. And with that, the elemental that stays behind begins to crumble. As that is the fight over. No more bad uh -huh. guys left for you to fight. It seems that can for I, now... Can I go stabilize Wilhelm before he bleeds out? It seems that for now, with the ship being... Tele you know, you saw the ship leave through a portal. And any trace of remaining wild hunts defeated or made forced to flee away. It seems that for now, the threat of the wild hunt on Skellige has come to an end. What would you like to do? Stabilize Wilhelm first. <laughs> Yeah, Ramsey I'll put down is, the like, wall. Doing the stressed face holding and using the nail polish <laughs> to heal for ten. That was a rough fight, y'all. Damn, that was, uh, that, was, uh, that, was a, that was challenging. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have to roll. Do I have to roll a medicine check? Or are you going to give me a free stabilize? Uh, <laughs> I've been mean enough. To... I'll give you a freebie. <laughs> Evan walks over to Wilhelm and pulls out his last vial of poison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Imagine. No. He pulls out his uh, last potion of swallow. Okay. It doesn't do anything with it. Just pulls it out. Or just... <laughs> I mean, he's well, waiting to see if anyone else does anything. So I stabilized him. There you go. Yeah. I helped. Oh. Is his coin purse clearly visible? <laughs> such a dickhead. You're such a. Hey, guess what? There's. You really have to visible. dig their nasty clothes True. to get to it. Ah. Uh, does Wilhelm have a coin purse? No. He has no money. Yep. So we we'll... just lives in the wild, my guy. Uh, be I'll look at the rest of the group and go. <clears throat> I guess we won. Well, the, the king guy said didn't say we needed to bring back any proof or anything, right? Because we can't really prove that they left because we scared them away. We can at least bring back okay, uh, a okay, piece okay, of okay. a weapon or a piece of one of their armors. However, we still have the matter of whoever was at. That village. True. <laughs> we can <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Let them finish the dialogue and then I will heal you, okay? <laughs> True. I guess we have a lead. That That's more than they had before we got here. Well, we should probably check out this lighthouse, right? Why were they here? Oh, True. I'm really tired right now. My brain's my brain's not, not working very well. Understandably. I mean, you <laughs> brute forcers tend to get a bit more banged around, so that's understandable. Oh, and as okay. as we're talking, I dis I dismiss the lightning sphere and a fucking waste of time. Um, <laughs> while breath. this conversation's happening, mm -hmm. I'm going to pour my potion, my last swallow potion. Into Wilhelm's mouth. I debated <laughs> drinking it myself. I am, however, <laughs> going to attempt to pickpocket something off him in return. Okay. I... Does he have any potions on him? No, I drank them both. <laughs> you like you don't have any other ones? No, my inventory is anything quite... interesting to them and at all. I have a long sword, a quarter staff, some studded leather that's just in the bag. <clears throat> like crossbows, crossbow bolts. Uh take all his crossbow bolts. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna take his crossbow, Look, just his crossbow, crossbow bolts. bolts. Dickhead. <laughs> absolute absolute dick. Watch no bitch. Demon doesn't like people, okay? He's trying to like make it a trade rather than just drinking it himself. How much do I heal for? Roll forty four plus four, it's an improved one. Oh, I'm rolling it? Ooh. Yeah. Big nice. Yeah, or it's a... my last one. Holy shit, 12. Why do you think I was being a bitch? 14, 14 plus 4 is 18 plus 2 is 20. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Mm. Uh, we take two extra whenever we yeah. heal, so I actually healed for 12 oh. earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone just remember. Well. Bearing in mind, Demond is currently bleeding over you. <laughs> I just, I kind of feel this like drip and I think it's like something else. I'm like, what is... Oh, it's my blood. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so well, as you kind of fuck go? take your time to uh, to heal a bit where necessary, um, what, you, mm -hmm. what would you guys like to do? I think we're investigating that lighthouse. lighthouse. Okay. Did, we... Did you get him? The uh, uh, lighthouse away. is of uh, what seems like uh, not 
elven design, but definitely uh, inspired by elvish design. So it's it's kind of made as like a hybrid between a very classical uh, like human architecture uh, lighthouse, but it has some. The roof has been made in a bit more of a spiraling design to kind of give it a little bit of an elven uh, tinge to it. Uh, the light functioning, you know, shining over as it's getting dark, you know, shining at the sea to make sure that ships don't fucking wreck uh, into the cliffside or the rocks or anything. Uh, there is a door that leads to an inside. Um, do, you, do you go walk up to the door? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. sort of brute force walk up to it. I limp up. And just like, I'll, I'll give it like a sort of hefty shelf, just a little like, mm -hmm. to see if it's open. Um, if it opens or locked, if it's locked. Make a strength check. Just, just. Your strength? Mm hmm. Uh, 17. You push it, and it does give some resistance, but. Just due to your natural strength, with your normal push, do kind of like <laughs> it, uh, it away. Uh, it seemed that there was a body kind of like leaning against the door. Uh, an, elder, an elderly gentleman um, who seems to have had his throat slit, um, kind of just slumps forward uh, onto the floor, uh, still kind of like bleeding a little bit. So you guess that this probably happened right as you arrived, like. He Aww. got killed by the wild hunts right before they decided to board their ship and, and get out of there. Damn. <clears throat> what would you like to do? Uh, oh, once we get in mind. the lighthouse, mm -hmm. I'm going to do my eyeliner trick again, and my eyes will take over with that silver color, filling my iris and people, and see if there's anything mm -hmm. invisible or any traces of ethereal plain remnants left here. Remove another use of my eye. Anyone else doing anything? I'm just gonna be sort of doing a little just perimeter check of like the area, seeing what else is here and seeing if there's anything majorly <clears throat> weird. Are we yeah. all inside the building? If you want to be, yeah. I'm gonna add in the door then. Excuse me. Good call. Also, this wanna... is curious. Uh sorry, just to make an observation. How would it have been one of the hunt if this guy was leaned against the door? Somebody either exited out the top of this place or they're still in here. Big ship. Or teleported through the wall. We touched that. That's a okay. big boat. Fair enough. Maybe they were able to exit through the top onto the boat. Yes, but anyway, let's take a look around. I um, see anything. Make an investigation with my check with advantage because of your eyeliner. Is it lit in here at all? Uh, yeah, lit. there's a torch like in a in a sconce that is lit up, kind of lights up this room. I got a sixteen. <clears throat> sixteen. Um, you look around and it seems like like this man was the light, the keeper of the lighthouse, and he also lived here. Okay. Uh, but you do see that there's a note sticking out of his pocket. Oh, I'll yoink that. What's it say? Um, let me scroll through my document so I can actually read it to you because uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's here somewhere. Um, it does... There is. Yorick, thank you for providing me with... Um, housing for the past couple of days and for the insight in my research I'm going to be leaving now uh, see you when I see you and it is signed is name? signed with a letter the letter C I'll show the group and go I have a guess this is from our friend that we're looking for white haired sword lady Maybe she stayed here. And again, they're following, like, her. Because she's related to this. Why? Mm -hmm. I haven't got that far yet. <clears throat> well, oh. Research. Actually, I'm going to pull out 
the amulet again and cast detect magic and see if I can find another aura of conjuration here. You do. I don't know what, who is casting, but wherever this situation ends up, there is also, there is also res residual magic. How fresh is it? Can I tell? Uh, fresher than what you found at the tavern. A uh, few days, maybe. Almost feels like a. I can't be certain, but it feels like it's a beacon. Or, I don't know. For them, make a maybe. Is that cool to me? Tracking. Uh, are you proficient? Ooh, ooh. Proficient in Arcana, perchance? Yes, I am. Could you make me an Arcana check, please? I'm also. You bet I can. Can I assist? Uh, yeah, sure. You kind of like, you kind of. Actually, you don't fucking speak, fuckface. No, you can't. How are you going to fucking help him? Let's be fucking real. <laughs> I mean, right, staring drunk roll. at him to give him advantage. Seven <laughs> speaks when it's important. Oh, My okay, dude well. has a five charisma. All right, fair enough. How I'll would you like watch how you will. to. You hear uh, uh, Corneille kind of like talk about, you know, wherever this person goes, there's this residual magic. Do, 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 and you just, you kind of figure like, oh. And I guess use a few words to give input, um, giving uh, Corneille advantage on this check. All right, I'll roll this. <clears throat> Still choking on water. That's going to be a 26. 26. You know that... Uh, a part of conjuration magic, uh, portals are a part of that school of magic, whether it's a teleport or a portal to another plane or whatever it may be. Um, mm -hmm. And you know that if someone summons a portal, it does leave residual arcane energy behind. Um, you reckon, your best guess, because you're all pretty high, is that this person is traveling via portals... And that same residual magic that you pick up on is what the Wild Hunt uses to track this person. There you go. I assisted before I even asked to help because I said tracking. <laughs> so you reckon <laughs> because of this, you kind of come to the conclusion that this person is definitely not summoning them. It is more of like a, she is using portals An to get around to places effect. and uh, maybe doesn't even realize that she's being tracked this way because she keeps you know for them to be able to track her down she needs to teleport first so by the time that they get there she's already gone um kind of thing so she doesn't maybe doesn't even realize that she's being followed or or whatever okay they can well, only ever track where she was not where she went exactly right okay so they're tracking down this individual how do we track somebody who's teleporting they're doing it somehow clearly well, surely what they're doing is not working, so we should do something else. Because they're getting here, like, when she's gone. We need to preempt this chick. Or f at least find out maybe what she's doing. If we need find us. Well, she's, she's one of us, right? Like, can we talk to our, our mentors or some of the people from, like, where we train and shit? And maybe they'll know who she is. Maybe we you'll give school. us... Yeah. We assume one of us. Hmm? Not loads to go on, but better than nothing. So, we need am I to get that from... <clears throat> Interesting. I mean, that is true. This is somebody who can conjure portals. How many of us can do that? I can't. Well... I can teleport to one place, but that's only because of my cloak. Hmm. But In we yeah. also all have, you know, magical items. Maybe she's, she can't teleport, but she acquired something that can make her teleport. Would hmm. items leave a residue? Especially because it looks like it needs, yeah. like, Still doing this spell. It needs recharge imagine. time because the letter implied she had to rest here for a few days. So maybe her whatever she uses to teleport, it it needs like you know a nap. When she's she's also researching something, right? According to that note. Mm-hmm. 
What could any... she be researching here? Are there any papers or anything here? Like, is there any form of academia? Yeah, uh, there are some books spread about. <clears throat> uh, and as a matter of fact, what's your passive uh, perception? 16. 16? Damn. I roll a perception. You um, see that there's one book kind of like opened up uh, on the desk. Um, and as you kind of like glance through it, um, it's a book about elder blood. I will pass this to Connie. Okay. Take a look at it. Um, as you kind of quickly gloss through it, uh, you kind of read the like introductory uh, paragraph, um, and you learn that uh, elder blood is uh, a is the blood or genes in a certain gene pool uh, that are descendants from uh, Lara Doran, who was a, a very powerful elven sorceress. Um, and you also know that uh, el people that carry the elder blood do um, are born with magical abilities. Um, And you also read, I'm just skimming through this real quick. You also read that um, what do I want to give you? I don't want to give you too much. <laughs> it's my issue. I want to give you a little um, <laughs> read the whole book and memorize it. <laughs> yeah. Use keen mind. Yeah. <laughs> There is a prophecy tied to people that carry the Elder Blood. Uh, it is said that anyone that carries the Elder Blood brings with it nothing but death and destruction. Oh, good. So, hmm. Perhaps okay. then, Which is they're not sure. If this book suggests, if this book is something that this person was clearly investigating on, perhaps the elves aren't tracking the conjuration magic. Rather, perhaps they're tracking the blood. If this person is supposedly elder blood. Oh. I mean, blood, tra blood tracing is not uncommon. I, I've heard of it done before. It's, that seems more viable than tracking the signature of a portal. I mean, like, how... And how common's elder blood, really? Like, Probably not very. Like Dutch overall, how like is it well known of like? I'm not, I don't want to nearly say like oh, one in twelve thousand people are elder blood. Like you know a, what I mean? Is but it is, like it, a myth? is it a well known thing that there are people out there with elder blood, or is it almost almost like more myth? You know, like previously like the wild hunt we knew as um... urban legend, is it more of just folk tale, or is it quite a? Quite you a big bloodline because uh, there has been uh, like not like disasters throughout history that were linked but, to people with elder blood. Um, you know that <clears throat> uh, elder blood, like every generation that descends from hmm. this this individual carries the the gene. But only once every two or three generations does the gene activate. So once every three generations, somebody with active elder blood uh, will it's roam around. Super fucking rare. Yes. Right. Omega rare. Yeah. Okay. So, like, occasionally one person might have it. I mean. Why do they want? Why do they care, though? Like, what's it to the wild hunt? There's some bitch with elder blood walking around. It's a powerful person to take. Perhaps oh. you have to find them and ask. Yeah, they kidnap people. Mm. Maybe they want her. Well, do we know yeah, any witches sense. with elder blood? Or do they keep that under hush? She can teleport further than they can. Definitely. 
Brianna. Mm. Make a history check. I'm proficient in that. Natural 20! Oh boy. Dang. You, obviously, <laughs> you being part of uh, the School of the Wolf, you are familiar with a, with a certain Geralt of Rivia. Uh, you know. <laughs> True. Um, True. The boy. And you also know that for a while, <gasps> a very young child resided at Kaer Morhen. Uh, a child Is named... Is white, though? A child yeah. named Siri. Oh, uh, that okay. was years ago, but yeah. you did okay. catch catch some conversation that you probably weren't supposed to hear. That um, she was being kept there to be trained, but also yep. to be kept safe because of some mm -hmm. uh, deal Geralt made years and years yep. and years ago. Okay, um, so this is complicated, guys. But she does <laughs> have go into story white time. hair. And she has been trained in, in the years to to fight like a witcher, which yep. does mm -hmm. include fighting with two swords. So, yep. specifically, oh. the wolf. So, yes, as remember, oh my god, I am so totally stupid. Okay, I can't believe this was this was huge gossip at like School of the Wolf. I can't believe I forgot about this. So, there's this guy, right? His name is Geralt. Super hot. Really good at what we do. <laughs> like really good. And yeah, so he Geralt. brought. He brought like a girl, like a child, to to where we train and everything. Everyone's like, dude, what the hell? Like this is this is not a place for kids. We're not babysitters, okay? <laughs> and it was really weird because everyone's like, this is so strange. But the reason he brought her here, there's some whole, you know, he made some deal and he has to protect her. And then it was very big and hush hush and like, oh, don't talk about it. But I think part of the reason why she was so special and why he was protecting her was she had elder blood. And also, I was like, well, you guys look like you could maybe be related because they both had white hair. I just can't believe I forgot this. This was such a, like, big deal at the time, What, guys. what was the child's name? Siri. With an S or with a C? I think with a C. With a C, know. yeah. Yeah, with a C. A C. Yeah, that doesn't know. <laughs> well, I think we may have found out who our uh, wanderer is then. now we have to figure out how to intercept them are there any notes in here if they've been staying here maybe there's a suggestion as to where they might be going next the maps did i see anything like that when i was looking around no but now that uh Corneal mentioned it you can try and look for it again i have another look around if you want sure uh, can i help him around. just look around as well I'm, I'm more looking for like map articles and like location markers i guess Sure. Yeah, I'll just assist. <laughs> I'll assist you. I assume your investigation is way higher than mine. <laughs> mine. I mean, mine's one. My so investigation's not awful. I mean, I get plus better. one. So. <laughs> that is. This athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what did you roll? Sorry. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You look around and you do find a map. Uh, you find a map uh, of the same area that also, you know, the city of Novograd is in. Uh, I think it's Redania, off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. um, and you see that there is a circle drawn around uh, the city of Oxenfurt. And beside it, there is written University. I will show this specifically to Cornell. It just occurs to me, isn't Cornell like a university in yes. the United States? No, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Cornell University. <laughs> oh, no, oh I'm really. such an academic. How perfect. <laughs> well, I feel like that might possibly be a good lead, because what good would a university be to a lighthouse keeper? An educated lighthouse keeper. Maybe he's looking for it to make a career change. You're all correct. Yes, there is a variable where he could possibly actually be looking to go to university. <laughs> but the odds being, I'm going to put a wager that that's where our target is going. Doctorate of lighthouse. 
How far away is that from here? Far. Far. Uh, it is. Uh, Oxenfurt lies southeast of Novigrad, and Novigrad is the city yeah. that was like uh, close to Yantra, where you previously. Okay, now. Uh, that's a different continent. Yeah, completely different. Like. Yeah, it's it's on the four. Kingdoms. It's the mainland of the continent, whereas Skellig Isles is like an archipelago of yeah, islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That lie further west, so it's uh, it's a bit of a travel. It's a bit of a trek. Well, I think we may need to go collect a reward and perhaps take a ship elsewhere. Seems like a good idea. Ready. Hopefully, we get there in time. Uh, we'll say that you uh, travel back to uh, Kertolda. And uh, in the middle of the night, you, you get there at like midnight. <laughs> uh, walk into this this large meat hall that is the like main hall of the castle, and uh, the king sits on his throne, looking at you. Stands up. All right. What can you? What, what, have, you, what have you done? I I decided to kind of just stay up and wait for you here because I I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to be able to speak to you as soon as you came back. So tell me, was it? Them? Yes. They gone? For now. Yes. Okay, well that's good, right? Where do, you, you don't sound very excited. Well, we... We have um, a lead, and we need to chase it down. Because we think we know where they're going next, but... I don't think they're gonna bother you here anymore. Uh, all right, well, that's good. Um, so, I'm, I, uh, first first things first, and he just, he claps his hands, and uh, a squire walks in and hands you all a coin purse filled with 300 crowns. Uh, payment for a job well done. I am really uh, appreciative of uh, uh, you guys showing up here um, to help with this. Uh, are you headed off right away, or do you have time to, to have a few drinks and get a, a proper rest, or do you... Are you a... We have time to rest and drink. That is for sure. Definitely. Uh, I I agree with um, uh, Demond, but um, we don't necessarily have the time. But I feel like resting is going to be necessary. Okay, maybe by have I meant need, but I was trying not to sound, you know, like needy. So. Well, all right. Um, there is this food and drink sold out on the tables here. Uh, if you guys need to eat something, uh, I've already made it. Um, Oh, hiccups. Make sure that the uh, tavern has a few rooms reserved for you if you wanted to spend the night. Uh, don't worry about paying them. I uh, already took care of that for you. Uh, so please enjoy. And um, if I don't see you anymore, thank you very much. You are forever welcome in all of Skellige. And we're very appreciative of your service to these islands. Thank you very much, Witchers. I'll uh, make sure to... Um, call upon you again in the future in case of emergency i'm very is appreciative he, uh... i was gonna ask if he was like walking away but you kept talking so i took yeah well, i mean <laughs> after he does his spiel he's like all right i would join you for a drink but it is late and i'm knackered so uh by all means help yourselves to the food and drink on the table here and uh, you'll find your way to your beds at the tavern down. The 300 gold the like to be divided amongst us? Oh, no, that's each. each. Okay, well, cool. 300 crowns. Crowns. Um, yeah, yeah. And he heads off. As he walks away, I want to sneak up and, like, just <laughs> behind him. Wait, behind the king? Yeah. Hell yeah. Make a stealth check. <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. I love it. Um... <laughs> Stealth, 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 stealth. Uh, 22. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw? Oh, oh no. <laughs> he, he's one of those guys who punches when he's scared. <laughs> like oh, in a haunted no, house. No, 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 it's not good. It's a 10. <laughs> 10? You sneak yeah. up behind him and you just bat and he just... You bastard! <laughs> and just like instinctively elbows behind him and just <laughs> yes. blocks you in the nose. He's like... Does it help that I'm Why five foot? Why did you do that? You said you have the hiccups. Jay, bro, bollocks! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. So awesome. <laughs> and she gets punched. 
I I appreciate the sentiment, but away. by the gods, do not sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry, are you alright? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm dead. That's I'm so going funny. to bed. I'm sorry about your <laughs> nose. All right, put some ice on it. Are your hiccups gone now, though? Yeah, they fucking are. <laughs> Jeez, I, I did it for the fuck's Jesus, but you know, it's, it's, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's the fucking local, hell. Like, town drunk in Skelly. <laughs> the king is the town drunk. <laughs> no, Jesus. Oh. And he, he like, wa very apologetically, like, walks off. <laughs> and he just, like, instinctively, when he got scared, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right. So, um, you guys have some food, you have some drink, and eventually make your way to the tavern for a uh, well-deserved rest. The next morning, you wake up, and uh, what is it you decide to do? You have a couple of choices. Um, you could all travel to your respective schools for winter, as is customary for witchers. As uh, in the winter time, witchers tend to go to their school, spend the winter there, relax, recharge the battery before they head out again uh, after winter. But given that, uh, given the things you learned, you could also decide to do something completely different. So, what is it that you all decide to do? I'll leave that completely up to you. I'm down to go to the university and follow the lead with the group. Yeah. If it's uh, nice to have friends. If everyone else wants to do that, Ari's fine with it. If they don't, she's also fine with going home. It almost feels like our duty at this point is the ones who might very well be the lead experts on the current situation. That's true. Subject matter as experts. <laughs> Demond will tag along, but he will write back to the fuck, what's the name of the school of Viper Place? Ooh, yeah. I am. Couldn't care something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's not. It's no? Gothur Gavad. Ah, same thing, mate. Uh, <laughs> Viper Keep, or Bloodgate Keep. Yeah, that's smart. REMZ will do that, too. Oh, yeah. No, um, I won't, because that was destroyed. I forgot about that. True. Well, <laughs> I... well REMZ has the person that trained her, at least. <laughs> I will write back to one of the, like, four of the School of the Viper Witches that are still alive and not in prison. Mm, yeah, what's going on. <laughs> e, e qualifier. Yeah, I mean, like, there's really like, like three one of the or four one of the four being you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like there's there are very few that aren't in prison. Anymore. Excuse me, <coughs> or just dead. That's a die. You're you're a dying breed. In in game, Letho states that he knows of two other Viper witches that aren't in prison in twelve seventy one. Nothing. Nothing quite like reading about the school of the bear and it just says was a school. I mean, yeah, nothing... it's because in like you take keep in mind that this takes place before the events of The Witcher Three. So right, I see. this is the year okay. twelve seventy two. So right, uh, or twelve yeah, twelve seventy two. Not completely fucked yet. I don't think mine yeah. is because like this king that you dealt with is dead in The Witcher Three. Because uh, The Witcher Three takes place in the second half of like this year that you're currently in. Uh, this king, king by the way, dies. Warn you. This king dies fucking bad. He's just like nice. decided it's my time, so he just decides to like go fight a bear and dies that way. He's like, I'm, t I'm ready yeah. to die, and he just goes fight a bear That's and dies. Yeah. It's like super it's, customary. It's very it's like, Viking, like yeah. It's like oh, it's it's my time to go. You know what I mean? Does it scare him? And then he punches it in the face. No, it fucking <laughs> <won't>. <laughs> <laughs> right. So sorry. other way around, probably. Um, you lot, uh, because. This is not exactly the ending I had in mind, but I just kind of rolled with it because it's made it way cooler. Nice. So what do you do? Do you all hop upon your separate ships and go your separate ways? Or is there perhaps something else in the future for this ragtag group of witchers? Um, I think 
this is turning into a campaign and <laughs> we're gonna stick together it's a trilogy and chase down this lead it's a trilogy it's a mini series <laughs> if, if we're sticking together does that mean i have to bathe more definitely Preferably. it would be most preferred yes Bugger. we don't want things to smell you coming or either that, or you let us dump a bucket of cold water on you every morning, and I think you'd prefer to do it yourself, so. Furthermore, last time we dumped you into a river, I don't think you want us to dump you into the water that we will soon be traversing. God. <laughs> <laughs> we can ski behind by a rope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> I, As flashbacks can... from the drowners. Oh my god. My god. <laughs> <clears throat> that's that's fine. Hey, shall we then? Letho is still Let's around, alive right now, right? Maybe I believe so, yeah. Twelve seventy-two. Yeah. I will write to Letho. Right. So it seems that for you know, this group of witchers has some unfinished business, um, and perhaps we'll find a paycheck or two on the way there as well. You never know. There's always contracts in every town on your way there. But um, it seems that this group of witchers decides to uh, skip out on spending the winter at their schools, as is customary, to uh, follow up whatever it is that they're following up on at this current moment. Ooh. So perhaps next charity campaign, we'll see them again oh, yeah. and uh, continue this. But for now, Maybe. this has been our second Witcher one shot. Uh, I would like to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the donations to charity. Thanks for all the follows and the rage. You guys are awesome. We fucking love you guys. Uh, Can't wait for players, thank you so much for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll start, uh, you know, the next charity campaign, which will be like probably like March, In March, April -ish, April -ish, yeah. ish. Uh we'll, uh, we'll we'll pick this up again if that's okay with you guys. Hell yeah. 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 I can't wait for everyone to find out there's a contract on all of them. <laughs> that's uh -huh. why Demond is still here. Oh god. Um, this was awesome. I had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was uh, great. Yeah. Profane be, is live uh, right now, I think, if you oh, want to cool. raid. Profane is live. He's doing the charity select stuff, so we're just going to pass on the torch to him. He's playing Sonic Frontiers, I think, because that game came out yes, recently. Yes, yeah. a big it's Sonic it's fan very fan. weird watching him play. It's a weird game. It's quite fun. Um, we're seeing him have fun playing a game. Sonic yeah, sounds like a middle-aged man. <laughs> so we're going to raid Profane. And uh, we will see you here again this Sunday for your regularly scheduled dungeon select. Uh, Denny, is Mara, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Thanks for, for having for, me. And again. thank you so much for, uh, you know, wanting to, to chip in uh, in our charity fundraiser by, by uh, you know, wanting to come back for a second with your adventure with your uh, with your characters. Yeah. We appreciate the heck out of you. And um, yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, it's my pleasure, man. My pleasure. We shall uh, see your witchers again. In a few months, I guess. And uh, we'll see what happens then. Check Thank out you. everything Dicely. Uh, you know, Dicely D&D on Twitch and all that stuff. There are great D&D content going on over there. Check out Ismera. She's also very lovely and great. And if you want to see more of uh, Ismera playing D&D, then uh, Laura on Laura's channel. Uh, we play D&D together and it's awesome and a lot of fun. So uh, with that, take care. Idiot. Brush your hair. We're out of here. See you later. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Dum dum dum. Bum bum bum. Gone. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Dum 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 dum. Now slowly like fade out. Just like. Bum bum bum.